I have introduced myself, you have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. Right. And I am here. Happy days. Hello, Lodi. Caught. Kidder. Temetry. Uh, go leap. Uh, Vertigo as well. Marcy. Uh, Quackables. Hello, hello. What time is it for him? It is currently 10.05. So, would have been about 10 o'clock when you wrote that. Doing legs till, uh, it's hard to get up. Nice. Hashtag quadrilibric. Words are hard. 
I've still got half a mouthful of food. I can't. Quadrilipic. I can't talk, apparently. Gag K as well. Appreciate the follow. It's 2 a.m. where you are. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not worth it. I'll be here when you wake up, I promise. Go to bed. We have morning uh, vertigo as well. Wouldn't uh, You weren't here when it happened, but... Oh, thanks, Lamarin, for the sub. Oh, yeah, Lamarin was uh, hilarious on Monday. It's like, here's a casual 20 subs. <laughs> oh, it was pretty funny. It's 20 helicopters back-to-back. -back. Good old air parade. And Cracker Moles as well. Hello, hello. How's it going? Yeah, it's all good. I've been frantically just stuffing my face with food because I ran off to the shop just a second ago. I was like, oh, I'll get some food before the stream. And I had it in my mind that the food was going to take... Well, I had like 20 minutes to get to the shop. Well, from the shop back. And I was like, okay, well, when I get back, I'll have 20 minutes to cook my food. I had it in my mind that I'd have only 12 minutes to cook the food that I needed. I was like, oh, it'll only take 12 minutes to be fine. In fact, it took 18 minutes, so I've been frantically stuffing my face, shoveling the food down my throat for the past three minutes. Like, quickly, nutrition, food, energy. So, yeah, <laughs> that was fun. But, yeah, I'm all, all full now, all fueled up for a big old stream. Bright and early. Yeah, you are here very early. Yeah, let's jump straight on in. You're waiting on Subno oh, Subnautica installing. Oh, fair play. I've never played Subnautica. All I see, like, are people... Like, I get recommended some of their shorts sometimes on YouTube of people, like, finding a giant le leviathan, taunting it, and then finding out it's like an infant, you know? It's a young version of it, and it's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> but yeah, that's all, all I have to go on with Sub. You got a bonus payment from your college course last year, so I'm gonna go to Weatherspoons for lunch and chill. Oh, and get a chili, sorry. Fair. Treat yourself. Right. Speaking of treating ourselves, what am I doing? I think I need the food. How's my weight doing? I'm losing weight. Right, give me all the food then. Knows today is pretty much all going to be killing. So I want to, to start off with usual routine. Fix all the generators, refuel everything, including my cars. And then I want to make a shit ton of spears, because I know I don't really have any, any left. But yeah, that is this job right now, because it's only midday, so I've still got plenty of time. But yeah, I need to make more spears. So I need lots of logs. I'll grab all my knives now as well. Get all that in the right pile. And I'll probably use up my machetes today as well. Because I want to level up my long blades some more. Just a tad. And... Yeah. I might even start leveling up my other weapons today as well. So it might not be all spears. To be fair, let me grab all my weapons. I'm just going to grab everything now and just throw them into different piles. Just so I can grab them as and when I need them. So I'll think what I'll do today. I'll use spears for the most part, but I'm going to try and put a thousand experience on everything. Maybe not long blades. I don't know how many machetes and stuff I have. But um, I think I'll put a thousand experience on everything at the very least. I think that's a plan. Had a great experience to start off the month. <laughs> the sarcasm. Happy days. In the desert, you can't remember your name. I know. Shame. But now I don't have to, like, acknowledge any of the bailiffs. Because, you know. Doesn't Mr. Lamprey live here? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Never heard of them. This is the fish pile. Yeah. <laughs> Also, hello, Ali, as well. Welcome back. OBS not bugging you. I have introduced myself. You have introduced now, yourself. See, this is a very uh, good those of you who were, like, very astute and observant, you'll have noticed that when I wrote on Discord yesterday, 
um, my excuse for not being on stream, you'll notice that half of that paragraph was completely misspelled and didn't make a lot of sense. And that's because I was lying in bed, because I'd overslept, <laughs> and I went into a coma. My sleep depth was too high. I couldn't pull myself out of bed. I was weak. OBS, there's nothing wrong with OBS. <laughs> I literally just overslept. I was like, oh, no, it's OBS, I swear. Like, I promise. But no, I was just, I was so tired la like yesterday. I just knew that if I got out of bed, I wasn't going to enjoy the stream. So I was like, oh, fuck, I'll throw out a weak excuse. They'll know I'm lying, but it'll be fine. They'll forgive me in time. It's a scam. It was all a scam. I know. I have betrayed your confidence. But no. I blame OBS. It was all OBS's fault. OBS did this to us. <laughs> but yes, this is the work we were born I for. we'd agreed never to lie to each other. It's okay though, Timothy, because I'm coming clean now, so that wipes the slate clean, right? That's how lying works, you know? I'm clearing my cosmic karma. Is that what the hippies would say? <laughs> but yeah, I know. I know if I put on the, if I I know what I, if I put it on um on the Discord yesterday that I'm just really tired. I don't feel like streaming. I'd get like, oh please, Lamprey, please come back, stream, and I'd be like, oh then no. you will die braver than most. I would die braver than most. I would definitely get my character killed. Yes, I need sleep sometimes. Yeah, hello Ryo as well. But yeah, uh, and Bonsai. Experience. Hello, hello. He was high. It was because he was high. Do I look like DJX? I'm a good Christian boy, I promise. I don't smoke the marriage weenie. Well, my body is a temple. Instead of drugs, I fill it with food. What the fuck was that? I know, I'm gonna throw DJX under the bus. <laughs> I'm a good, healthy boy. And coffee, lots of coffee. Yeah, go. Hey, I'm trying my best, okay, goal. You've been scabbed for the first and last time. Didn't know I was lying. See, that's how honest I am. I will grasp myself up, but only after I get caught lying. <laughs> Appreciate the followers well, miss. Happy days. Yeah, I just want to get all my weapons from here out. Let's get rid of all... Uh, not the coffee. Coffee for me in real life, no coffee in game. Right, that... Good do. I got a few over here I want to use as well. Jokes aside, I hope you're doing okay. We'll yeah, ride. more good bro. Good stuff. Hope you're doing well. And this will be our horse. It's very early for a helicopter as well. Kickstarting it. Happy days, Gold. You are the first to call that wood in today. Being an asshole and say, but we are a paying customer, we deserve better. <laughs> the sissy toad. We need it now. Yeah, a little pirate as well, a Necronomicon, a lower low. You clearly will be interesting to see you try and uh, clear towns without well, easy access to fishing. See, most of the other towns would be like just as easy. Because, I mean, Louisville's next to the river, West Point's next to the river, Riverside's next to the river, you know, <laughs> Dodoy. Lake Phallus, you know, clues in the name. That one has lakes. Roosevelt has a lake on the south side. Muldra has lakes on the west and east side. The only one that's actually really awkward is Marchridge. Like, all the other ones are pretty chilled out, but Marchridge is a bit of a bastard, because it's in the middle of nowhere. And that is, like, the only one that is actually a bit of an issue. But the other ones are pretty chilled out, really. So let me move, move you off to one side, because I don't want you, I don't want to see you on the other piles. I 
I could have sworn I had more machetes though. Oh, well, that's one more. Let's get my axes there. Ooh, good and ready. While well, you would live in Marchridge, it's beyond me. Yeah, there's like nothing in Marchridge apart from zombies. Like, the, we'll move in there eventually, like, in an outpost, but only because we want to live near the zombies so we can kill them quicker. Uh, with Time 16 Poppy just mollying everything? No, because we're going for, like, a really high kill count and a really high survival time. So the survival time is the easy part, you know, just don't die. But the kill count, it only counts if you do melee kills and firearms. Yes. This, this is, is the, the work, work we were born, born for. for. Yes, murdering everything, but it all has to be done by hand. It doesn't count if we burn everything, or if we run them over with cars. It has to be melee weapons, or it has to be guns. Which makes things more interesting. Yeah, at the moment, no, I'm just setting up my weapon piles, because today I want to use all of them. I want to put a thousand, at least a thousand experience on everything today. I want to start getting to, like, chipping away at everything now and getting them all towards level 10. But because they take so much experience at this point, it's like multiple streams, like one or two streams to go up a level, so... I would prefer just to chip away just a little bit at a time. Just so it's not as... depressing. <laughs> uh, do canned food make your game way faster, though? Uh, depends which ones you're on about. Um, you can always, like, tell which ones are gonna make you fat and which ones aren't, because you can have a look at the nutrients. So if you're eating, like, something that's natural, same in real life, if you don't, if you're not a nutritionist or someone who actually knows what they're doing, you're not gonna know how many calories things have. But since I think, like, the 70s or 80s, all canned food has the macronutrients on the label, so... Same in-game as well, all the canned food has the macronutrients uh, listed. So you can see, like, a can of carrots has basically nothing to it. It's only 10 calories, so that's not going to make you fat. You're not going to gain weight. Even if you ate, like, 10 or 100 of these, you're not going to gain that much weight. Um, and then you've got things like chili that's, like, 260. So that's a little bit better. So, you know, you can gain weight if you ate maybe, like, 8 of these. And you do have big ones, like uh, a can of oatmeal. And evaporated milk has almost 500 calories. Yeah, spaghetti bolognese has 540. So canned food isn't amazing for calories, but you do get some of them like uh, that are a little bit on the chunkier side. So if you're looking for like weight gain, there are a few of those. Because I think dog food is quite high in calories. I think, don't quote me. Yeah, like Golub says, canned fruit and veggies have no cal- Yeah, it's like the same as like most normal food. If it's not in a can, typically it's like meat and junk food is high calorie. Vegetables and fruits are typically low calories. Just like, uh, just like what Gol says. Good rule of thumb. But yeah, let's grab a few more. Dairy is very good for f calories, yeah. Uh, people who buy skimmed milk scare me. Why would you pay the same price for skimmed milk when you could buy the full fat one? <laughs> if I'm gonna pay, like, the same price, I'm getting the full fat milk. Give me all those calories. I think that's everything. Skim milk, just add water, yeah. Oh, see, I like it from, um, Parks and Recreation. Right. Skimmed milk is just water that's lying about being milk. <laughs> also, I'll get rid of that shovel as well, because I don't need that one with me. But I'm not going to use that one as a weapon, because that's actually useful for other things. Does the year count in real life or just in game? That's in game time. Yeah, so we're on standard one hour days because we're going for like a record run. So one hour days are the standard. And we are currently two years, eight months, 12 days, 10 hours and 
game time. But it's exactly the same as the, uh, as my character stats. The same for the kills here. The kills down here are just the ones that you would normally get. But yeah, I'm just gonna grab all of these as well. Just to make my life easier. Okay, so I plan on moving all of this anyway. I just want to empty all of this out. Just for the useful ones. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'll leave the wrenches. Now I can use those for other jobs. That's all of those. Get rid of all those shore blunts. Got tons of shore blunts. And the shore blades, because most of these will get used on making spears later, probably. But I do have a lot. Well, to be fair, I have like four. Well, yeah, I have like 80 knives, so I probably won't use all of those. But yeah, I need some more chipstone to make axes, but yeah. Those are our weapon piles for the day, because I want to be leveling everything up. But let me go and repair my jennies now, because that is the name of the game currently. And I'm going to move those ones today as well, because I want to start driving my car down this way. But yeah, we'll move all of that out of the way. Imagine spending 10 in real life years on Zomboid. <laughs> oh god, if you spend like a decade playing this full time, you could probably get like... Well, how long would that be? You could probably get, like, somewhere between 50 and 100 years in survival time. Be around about that mark. Be very spicy. Pretty sure the follow as well. Uh, K Wack. Quack? Quack? I'm not sure how to say your name. And as a no as well. Let's get rid of all of them. Does the UK have uh, common the common color labels for different milk types? Yeah, it's what do we have? We have green for semi-skimmed, red for skimmed, and then blue for full fat. And if you buy anything other than blue, I will judge you. You know, I judge you immensely. Everything else is a-okay, but no, when it comes to milk, that's sacred. All the judgment. <laughs> Lovely base boss. Yeah, it's very, very spicy. We're just like converting the entire military checkpoint into one giant base. Also, why? Why do you ignore me, sir? Let's get rid of these ones. I need to go grab my gas as well so I can actually refuel the jennies. Uh, grats, by the way, Digital Lamprey's been alive for 701... Oh, we crossed over the 700 hour mark, have we? Uh, <laughs> getting close to a thousand. Good stuff. Appreciate the follow as well, uh, Zahu. Happy days. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all my fuel... Yeah, it's all back here. Grab some of you. Now we completely fuck up an American. We have red for full fire, slash whole milk, dark blue for 2%, pink for 1%, and light blue for skim. Clearly, one of us is wrong, and I know it's not going to be me. <laughs> Do you think it's uh, possible to find gas uh, via foraging? Oh yeah, it's, it is possible. You can find pretty much everything with foraging. Yeah, including gas. You can thank Resident Man Lamarin for that info, because Lamarin does a lot of co-diving, and he very much loves foraging, so 
He's given us a lot of info in regards to what you can and cannot find, but yeah, you can find gas through foraging. Just make sure all these lights are done as well. I'll have to um, go hunting for some more light bulbs today because I'm pretty much out. I haven't got too many left now. It's pro- oh, it's possible, is it- oh, you- if you're asking if it's probable, I have no idea what the odds are. No. If Lamarin comes in, I'll ask him again, but I don't remember him ever telling me the exact odds for it. I don't know. Lamarin, like, I think he knows most of the numbers, at least for, like, the useful stuff. Approaching is quite uh, the most solid gameplay so far. Now, you could survive anything. With only Ranger and Forager. Almost, yeah. The only thing you would really struggle with if you were relying on foraging exclusively would be weight. That's really, yeah. Because you can still find um, non perishables, like the fat foods and stuff. But yeah, if you were trying to rely exclusively on foraging, you would struggle with that, but, you know. Literally just do fishing in its place and boom, you've got everything. You can find almost every item in the game uh, via foraging, which is pretty spicy. Gotta go, come back later. Hey, no worries, Ryo. Appreciate you dropping by for the start. Last generator on the road. It's the world's most quiet generator. I love it. Oh, so are you broken? Nope, I'll take you back with me then. What about you? Yeah, you're broken. And what about you? Yep, broken. Waiting for the special place in the river where you can just uh, fish up a bunch of guns. And that were lost in a boating accident. That would be pretty funny. Right. Yeah, we are good to go. Oh, I don't know what that says, but I see an Italian flag. Happy days. Yeah, let's repair the last two jennies over this way. No, welcome back, Ghostface. Oh, three fans, three generators, isn't there? Got one more over there. Wait for them to show us uh, which fancy shoe factory exploded and spilled into the river. I should have enough for the last journey. And then we're good to go then. I'll probably make a few extra spears, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, actually, if I'll actually do that or not. But, um... Yeah, I'll have a look and see how many weapons I have first. So I may have enough spears already. Maybe. Managed to fix up your Corvette? Uh, I don't... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I don't think I have. Like, we did the van. 
on Monday, I think. We touched it up a little bit. But not the not the core there. And seeing as we're here as well, that's the start of the stream. Why not? I'll make myself look fancy. Another day, another kill. Happy days. You're trying new zombie settings for times 12. Can get the start. Oh, can uh, get a start with all the zombies pinpoint. Yeah, they're a fucking nightmare. You should have a look at the time 16 map if you want, like, a little bit of an easier start. Because the same as, like, time 16. If you're doing pinpoint hearing, you don't have to, but it's, like, it's a lot easier getting started if you just leave town and then work your way back in. Alright, um, i got two light bulbs left. Let me just throw you two over here. You're the best Zomboy player on Project Zomboy, no cap. Hey, appreciate the compliments. Happy days. I am definitely the best at uh, this specific play style. Because <laughs> it takes so much of a time commitment, there's not really that much competition. But no. Overall, nah, there's definitely other players who are better at different playstyles, doing more nomadic runs and sprinters and stuff. But yeah, time 16 long term. Ooh, that is my jam. That is what I live for. Right, but that's all good. Get some sleep now. Is there a mod you use to change the sandbox settings mid-run to turn them to pinpoint later into? Yeah, literally change sandbox options is the mod name. So if you read through those settings on that command there, you can see that pinpoint hearing was the first one that got changed. That was six months in. We didn't do pinpoint straight away on this run. Like every six months we change the settings and just up things slightly just to keep things fresh. You know, just add something new every few months in game time. But yeah, it's the, the mod you're after is the change sandbox options mod. So we ins we put that mod onto the save, we change whatever we're going to change, and then after we're done changing things, then we just take the mod back off. Because that mod gives you a little option on this menu here at the bottom. So it, we take it off just so it's not in the way afterwards. Is it safe to add to runs? Yeah, we've added it like several times on this run and then taken it off afterwards. It's l literally all it does is it's just changing the settings file for your game save. So you can do it manually if you want. You can go into your actual save file and change that text file uh, for the seconds that you want to change. But it's just easier and safer just to use the mod because it's the exact same thing, you know. It's the same outcome. But that's the one that we use when we're increasing things. If you put Jeremy on the street, is he gone? No, he'll stay there forever. Or put him, <laughs> put him in the freezer. I mean, I could put Jeremy in the freezer... But he's a non-perishable item, and I don't think Jeremy would like it. <laughs> time 16, long time represent what what? <laughs> See, you're a different breed, Bonsai. I, you are not a good time 16 long-term player. It's like, oh, it's like, t watching Bonsai do time 16, oh, he doesn't survive that long, I sleep. He does time 16 sprinters, though. Oh, real shit. <laughs> now, Bonsai, or the Beanster now, is, like, the best sprinter player that I know of, mechanically. Like, I got no issue with acknowledging that. Bonsai is a different breed when it comes to sprinters. I don't think I could even try time 16 sprinters. I think I'd really struggle with that. Just getting, a, like, a game going, let alone actually, like, thriving. Because it's not as if you even do, like, time 16 sprinters you do time 16 sprinters and you do integration as well it's like fuck <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot to contend with i don't know if i could do that you'd probably give it a try at some point but i'd probably get my ass kicked right let me just drop off the stuff i don't need anymore and then we'll go and have a warm-up and start killing some zombies uh good to know i think you'll start with fast uh 
I think you'll start with just your fast sprinters on pinpoint to keep it spicy for... Alright, sister... To be fair, let me move you. He's non-perishable because the frog is still alive. He's non-perishable because God King Jeremy is an immortal being. God King Jeremy cannot die. Hundred ten percent said he before he's legit SC two pro APM. I don't even know what some of that shit means. <laughs> and no, bonsai is like there's like there's lots of different ways to play the game, and there's lots of different ways that you could measure someone's skill in the game. But in terms of like mechanical skill, bonsai is the best sprinter player. I don't think there's another person that comes close to being like bonsai with sprinters. Because you could argue, like, oh, he uses exploits and glitches, but it's like all the exploits and glitches that he uses, like, they're not... It's not what you think. Like, when you hear someone, like, oh, they're using exploits and glitches, it's like, oh, okay, that's just cheating then. That's just unfair, they're just not playing by the game's rules. But a lot of the glitches that he uses, they require quite a lot of mechanical skill to pull off consistently as well. Which is even more impressive. It's kind of funny. But yeah, enough covering my nose in brown with Bonsai. <laughs> oh no, definitely go have a look at Bonsai though, because I think most of you have already had a look at him in the past, because we've read it Bonsai multiple times. But yeah, definitely check out Bonsai if you want to see someone who's like the apex of doing sprinters. Alright, let's get rid of all of you. But yeah, I'll use my spears on the first day, because I want to have a little bit of a warm-up first. And then we'll uh, switch to the other weapons afterwards. What about Animal... Excuis? I'm not sure how to say that last part. Um, I recognize the name. I think that's someone that you one of you recommended on Monday. French streamer, right? I haven't checked... I haven't had a chance to, like, watch any of their streams. I think I threw them a follow on Monday. But I haven't seen them online. Uh, so I haven't checked out their streams. But... If I was a betting man, I would probably still stick with Bonsai. Just because Bonsai is fucking mental. Um, like, <laughs> but I don't know, maybe. I'd have to have, actually have a look at that animal person, though, and uh, see how they play with sprinters. Right, but yeah, that's all good. They're all ready for later. Let me move these perhaps out of my way, because I'll start driving my car down here then. Uh, it's about to break sprinter world record, but not with bonsai settings of zero zero. Okay, so he's a good sprinter player. Yeah, fair. No, he's probably better than me with sprinters. Like, I haven't seen him play yet, but if he's doing like 5,000 kills and he's like, you know, being all chill and all that stuff and he's running like n relatively normal settings, if not harder, then yeah. Credit where credit's due. But I'd have to have a look at him and uh, give him a gander at some point. But it sounds like he's playing very similar to how I play, as opposed to what Bonsai plays like. So I'd still say Bonsai would be the better one. Like, even though the numbers are, don't go as high, just in terms of, like, mechanical skill, Bonsai would still be the best, in my opinion. But no, credit with credit's due. If you get 5,000 kills, that is very spicy. Would he fight back if he broke 5,000? I would think about it. It would give me incentive to actually... Uh, do sprints again. So yeah, I, if someone... Yeah, like, if he passes the 5,000 mark... I would think about it. I mean, I'm assuming he's already gone past... He's about 4,000 now. Yeah, so he'll pass my score, like, any, any day now, then. Because mine was 4,300. So he'll probably take the sprinter kill record from me. And if he does that, I'll probably have a look at his game then. And see what he's playing with. And I'll think about maybe doing another sprinter game of my own at some point. But it probably won't be any time soon. Because I'm quite heavily invested in this one. But if I want to take a break, you know. Take a, a little hiatus from this game. 
this specific save for a little while, I'll probably do the sprinters again. Let's get rid of this twine. Alright, but let's go do some killing now. I'll have a little warm up. And yeah, I can leave the rest of that. But yeah, we'll try and find some chipped stone on the way as well, because I want to make some stone axes today. Also, yeah, I should probably move those as well. Just seeing you mention worms, I should probably put those by my stick traps before I forget. And not today, but tomorrow, like after this one initial game day, after I've had a bit of a warm up, we'll retrapping volume five as well. Just so I can start doing my traps again. You are the deanimator. I like making dynamic objects static. That's my gimmick. <laughs> you will all be still. Fantastic. Uh, let me park the trailer up. We'll get rid of that one because I don't need that currently. Deanimate the reanimated. Accurate. Been on the Diablo 2 heavy. Base is looking really good now. Yeah, it's getting there, isn't it? It's getting very spicy. Appreciate the compliments as well. kill anyone around this wakes. I don't know if there's still zombies lurking around the woods here today, but today we're just focusing on murdering things, so I don't mind fighting around the military checkpoint the entire day, if that's what's gonna happen. But I just want to try and kill anyone and everyone. And then we'll make our way into the city if we can as well. Because we should, today, be able to get to 410,000. Because even though we're going to be using the other weapon types uh, here and there, it's going to be a very kill-heavy day, so we should be able to get, you know, eight, 9,000 kills pretty easily. And I've done all my miscellaneous jobs as well. I've done all my... Generators and refueling and stuff, so should be good to go. Obliterate the, uh, the Louisville in year six. 780,000 kills, I guess. Nah, we'll, we'll finish it off now. So, I don't imagine there's that many mobs. I mean, what are we on now? 401. And we started Louisville on about 140, 150, more or less. What's that, 250, 260,000? So there should be less than, at the very most, like 100,000. I know that sounds like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not too many anymore. Yeah, here we go. Don't think it's going to take six years in-game. Oh, no, we'll be done, like, before... I don't know if we'll be done before year three, I don't know. 
It's kind of hard to tell. I think that might be a little bit ambitious, but on the high end, we'll be done before year four. Way before year four. So at the moment, we're just tracking down the last of them. Wherever the last few of them are hiding. Every time we stream, there's never that many of them. As we go into the city, and we keep getting further and further towards the northeast end. Hopefully we'll have Bill 42 before year 4. Maybe. Alright, let me run off and have a rest. Yeah, it's a decent amount of zombies to kill today. Fantastic. Yeah, true. Uh, taking Westport into account and Louisville as well. 189. It doesn't feel like there's 189,000 left, though. I don't know. Like, it's possible, I guess, but... It doesn't feel like it, because we've already gone through, like, majority of the town. And we've already gone through, like, the worst parts of it as well. So if there were, like, 189,000, they are hiding in some, like, really weird spots. <laughs> Matt just, <laughs> just casually having a conversation while we one shot everything. It's fine. Just normal zomboid things. Wonder if uh, No Man's Land gonna bug you. Nah, not from this distance. Like, these guys are from No Man's Land, but they're only up here because we went... We're driving through Valley Station, going down towards West Point a while ago. But these guys won't be coming up here while we're driving around Louisville. It's too far. I've done all the tests. Is there a mod that shows where they are on the map? I think there is, but we're not going to be using that one. Like, eventually, we will either use Debug or a mod like that to find the last of them, but... That's only once we, we literally cannot find anything else, you know, once there are... Well, like, to the point where we're not ever finding any zombies. You know, I can drive through a town, like, several times and see absolutely no one. That's when we would start using those types of mods. But so long as I can still find, like, the occasional zombie here and there, uh, we'll just do it and log, you know, just as we normally would. Appreciate the follow as well, Duke. Happy days. At that point, it's a victory lap. Yeah, like at that point, it's just doing it so we can say it's completely done. Like, you know. <laughs> I have to wipe out the entire area first, then wipe out everything in the surrounding area so there's nothing in range for pinpoint hearing. Just so you know. I don't have to re clear the area after we leave. And then we would go looking for all the final zombies. But we are nowhere near that stage yet, you know. In order to, like, justify using debug or a mod that shows me where all the zombies are, I would have to wipe out every town first and then wipe out the entirety of No Man's Land. We'd literally have to be, like, four, four to four and a half million zombies up before I'd uh, consider using that mod. So, get rid of these ones as well. Build 42 probably on the way. Yeah, Build 42 will definitely come up before I kill that many zombies. Because, you know, we're only like 10% of the way there now. And like you say, we're about 700 hours up, so... I would literally be about five to 7,000 hours into this run. Which, you know, <laughs> is <laughs> over half of my overall playtime as well. But yeah... Uh, 
That's an insane amount of time. So if Build 42 didn't come out in that amount of time, I'd be very surprised. Because that would be like towards the end of 2024. But you never know. Yeah, 4 million down, unlock zombie radar. Character can literally sense where the zombies are from that one. Let's hope that Build 42 is compatible with the old game. No. Even if it is, we won't be playing this game. Because Build 42 is going to be adding so much new content, it would be a bit redundant to be playing on an old save like this. Because, you know... Do you really want to see me continue on the save? Even if it's for, like, a higher number, do you really want to see me carry on playing this and miss out on all the new animals, the new hunting, the new farming, the new blacksmithing, all the new items, and possibly all the new vehicles as well. Because all of those new items and stuff, they're only going to spawn in areas that I haven't been before. But at that point, we'll probably be through every single town, so there's no chance of those items ever spawning then. So, you know, we'll be starting a brand new game when Build 42 comes out. Brand new from scratch, and plus all the mods that are currently in the game, odds are they'll all have to be updated because they won't be compatible either. So there'll be like a couple of weeks or maybe a month or so where all the mods that we normally play with uh, when we're doing our more hardcore sweaty runs, we'll have to wait for all of those to be fixed and updated so we can continue playing with them. Funny how this is all done by one person. How did the apocalypse happen in that case? Well, every, all of these guys are from Kentucky. They're all native. But this one man, this angry grey-haired man, he is one angry British man. He's some random guy that they picked up from a pub in England and they just airdropped him into Kentucky. And he just did what came natural. He just started making spears. He's just desperately trying to finish off the job so he can go back to the pub and finish off his pint. Still rocking a record? Yeah, we're still living the dream. Wonder if the industry is going to add a county jail in one of the towns. A county jail? See, I don't know what the difference between a county jail and, like, the prison would be. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, went to the Winchester, just wait for everything to blow over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like, now there's some angry guy out there with a stick. You know, he's doing pretty well. We'll let him do what he can, and then we'll pick up where he where he finishes. Don't want to ruin a good thing. the sub as well, Drakan. Happy days. Happy days indeed. Does the British man walk around screaming, you what exactly? You what, mate? You fucking wanker. I'll shag you then. And he's got that, like, teenage British inner city London vibe. <laughs> County jail is for people that are serving 
Oh, less than a year sentence or a waiting trial. So it's just like a minimum security prison then. Kind of deal. Fair enough. Two hand axes, three. I think it was two. I think I shoved the first one, but yeah. Might as well grab them because I want to level up my axes. Uh, later. Yeah, we might as well grab them. Just looking for yellow. Let's drop you two off over there. Because I'll pick them up in a minute. And there was another one. Here he is. Just gonna say, don't understand how this record continues. If I, we died, it would be over. So we've had only one mishap on this run so far. So, I'm on a perfect run, currently, but we had that one incident where we had that bug that killed me, which was a little bit scuffed. I left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. But, so long as I don't make any player errors, backups are justified, but we don't like doing it. Also, hello, Ozzy, as well. Well, come on in. So we can all just claim this up. Well, it's pretty easy to, like, justify it. You just have to break it down into... Was there any player error? If yes, no backup. But if you ask, was there any player error? If no, then you can backup. It's a really, like, easy binary question, you know. Did the player make any errors? It doesn't matter how small the error was. If the player made any small mistakes, I mean, it's done like, you know, case by case. Everyone's going to have their own, like, line in the sand where they draw it. My one personally is if I make any errors on my end, it doesn't matter how small the error is. If I make a mistake, like I make a bad judgment call, or I make a misinput, or just a generally a bad decision, I can't justify using a backup save. Because it was my fault. I made an error. But if the game has a mishap on its end, where something that's not by design happens and that kills the character, you know, there's only a handful of things that happen like that. But anything that kills the character when it's not supposed to happen, it's like, okay, that's a player. That's well, not a player fault. That's a game issue. Because it's not so bad when you're doing shorter runs, but when you're doing a really long run, you don't really want to waste your time trying to go for, like, a marathon gameplay if there's a risk of just the game robbing you of that. Just because of a bug or anything like that. It's just, spo it is just spoiling for a fight. I mean, if you don't like it, you can, you're can you more than welcome to leave or complain about it elsewhere, but... <laughs> there's no point coming into my chat and saying, Ah, oh, you can't be claiming a world record because you used a backup save after your character died to a glitch. That's not right. You're not allowed to do that. Because you're in the wrong place if you're going for that type of argument. Because everyone here is just enjoying the game. You know, myself included. You know, if you want to moan about it, you can, you know, make an angry post on the subreddit or the Discord. You can make a video, like, debunking my game. You can do whatever you want, but... <laughs> you're not going to convince anyone here. You love watching, you just don't like the justification. Well, why argue about it, then? Because no one else brought it up. <laughs> It just seemed like you want to have an argument about it. And you're just getting a little bit angry that no one else really wants to argue about it.
Always <laughs> cheating. Call the Guinness record adjudicator. Yeah. I'll watch silently. That is for the best. Cause I don't mind people bringing it up and talking about it. Like, I have a command for the clip. Like, if you want to see him die again, it's called ground jank. <laughs> But yeah, just don't moan about it. That's that's all the all it is, because it's like it's just pointless. Yeah, you know, it's like literally that clip's like it's not as if we're trying to bury it under the rug and hide what happened. Like no, I tell everyone what happened constantly. When people ask me, like, so like are you on a perfect run? I say, Yeah, I'm on a perfect run. I've made no mistake so far. However, there was that one incident. Like, we don't hide it. I'm not trying to bury it. It happened. It is a thing. Yeah, it was a glitch. Yeah, it's trying to argue otherwise. Like, you can argue it if you want to, you know. If you think that I made a misinput or, you know, I made a bad decision, you are welcome to believe that. I won't try and convince you otherwise if that's what you choose to believe. But you can choose to believe that in silence or be vocal elsewhere. That's... Yeah, I'm not in the mood to have those roundabout debates because they just go in circles. What's that, Boris? Morning. No, out this... Out this in your title along... I don't know what that means. You might have arguments. I don't get it. See, I don't know what you... That doesn't make a lot of sense. Not like in terms of, like, arguments. I mean, like, in, like grammatically, it doesn't make any sense. You might want to reword that one. I don't really know what you mean in that sentence. It would come to a consensus, and people in top 10 agree, I think. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things, like, this isn't, like, a speedrunning game. In, in terms of, like, being, like, very competitive, where there are hard set rules on, like, do's and don'ts. Records in this game are all done for fun. But generally, things are voted on by, like, popular opinion. It's like, okay, if you're gonna do a record, is there a rule for having multi-hit on or off? No. But generally, general, like, generally the majority of people would agree that you gotta have multi-hit turned off if you wanna do, like, a high kill record run. It's just voted on by the majority. And the majority of people tend to agree, like, okay, if you're gonna do a long run, if a bug kills your character, you are justified in using a backup save to, like, rectify that. Because it wasn't the player's fault. It was out of their control. If the majority said otherwise, well, then we wouldn't be claiming a world record. Instant killer's infected? Yeah, we've got instant infection on. Yeah, the official world record, but I died to a bug once. That seems honest. It does. It doesn't tend to roll off the tongue, though. And not for fun calling the police on you. This is criminal. <laughs> no, no, the internet police, they're banging on my virtual door. Please, please, Mr. Policeman, don't take away my arbitrary record. <laughs> How do you get rid of queasy in this game? It depends what queasy you have. If you have, like, just general queasiness, um, like from dead uh, corpse sickness and stuff like that, just leave the area. As long as you're 13 tiles away from the dead bodies, you'll start to recover. If it's food sickness, like you've eaten something that's burnt or rotten or something like that, um, then you can either wait it out and hope for the best, or alternatively, you can eat lemongrass. And then finally, if you've got like a zombie infection, you're just dead. You can't do anything about that. What actually happened in that clip then? Is it a known bug? Well, I don't know which bug it is, but Retinaru seems to believe it's the targeting bug. So, I mean, I don't understand how that bug works, but that's the one he seems to think it is. Let me grab the clip. Because Renaru understands it better than I do. I don't really get it, personally. But let me pull it up on full screen and play it in slow-mo.
Uh, where am I? There I am. So you can see as I'm walking up here, there's a hole in the fence over here. There's two zombies here, so those are the ones that we're going to attack. But there's another zombie over here. Like, I don't get how it would work, personally, but this is what Rhett says. So as I go over to this area, and I target these zombies, there's supposed to be a bug where the game mistargets. So you'll end up, like, going to attack one zombie, but there are, there's, like, a few frames or a split second or whatever, where your character will attack the wrong zombie. I don't know how it works, but that's why you get instances where you don't attack the zombie that's in front of you and you attack the one that's behind you. But according to him, there's no max range to it. So if you watch my character now, when I go to stab them as they come around this corner, as they walk through this little gap, there's one zombie over here who jumps over the, over the fence. Just that guy there. But he seems to think that there's an instance where my character mistargets and for some reason prioritizes that one. Like, I don't understand how that works. It doesn't make any sense to me. But you can see my character doesn't do the attack that I wanted to. Like, I don't get it, because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, logically. But you can see my character stab the ground instead of going for a basic attack, you know. Because we went through all the options on, like, what could have happened. It's like, okay... Was my keyboard at fault? Did my keyboard have, like, a misinput? It's like, no, I tested my keyboard afterwards. There's no input from that one. Okay, was it possible for me to make, a, like, a misinput? Did I make a mistake? It's like, no, I have my key binding set up in a way that it's not possible to press the left alt key by mistake. It's like, okay, well, what else could there be then? It's like, okay, well, it could be a bug. It's like, well, are there any known bugs that would do this? And Rat has that theory. Hugo had another theory that it's, I don't know, how he phrased it. It's something to do with basically there being a hole in the fence here and them crossing over. I don't get that either. I don't understand how that would be a thing. But yeah. Bonsai says he's had some issues on fences because he does a lot of fence combat with sprinters. But I don't personally understand that. But the important thing is we managed to rule out player error. But I still don't know how to replicate the bug. That's why I keep looking at it every now and then. But that was about two weeks ago now, I think. But we'll figure it out sooner or later, because every bug comes to light eventually. You know, whether the devs patch it themselves, or, you know, another player finds out how to replicate it consistently, every bug gets found out sooner or later. Aim, pri uh, aim prioritization is terrible in PC. Yeah, see, I just don't get how, like, how and why it would go to that length, though. Because that zombie was fucking miles away. Like, I get, I get the theory on paper, but it was fucking miles away. Like, it wasn't even remotely close. You died? Oh, yeah, ages. Ages ago. Yeah. So we've had, like, one death with this character where we had to use a backup save. But we only use backup saves when there's no player error. Like, that's the important part. Like, I cannot be at fault even slightly. But, uh... Yeah. That that one left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth, because it's never fun dying to bugs, and I don't like using backup saves. But that one was... Like, we could justify that one, because it was all on the game. But still not good. I think dealing with uh, such events in an adult reasonable way is uh, just part and parcel of doing what well, record runs in the early access game. Yeah. Like, you know it's going to happen sooner or later. You play something long enough, you're bound to run into a few game-breaking bugs sooner or later, but... As long as you have, like, a mental rule list, you know... I try to be impartial for it, because obviously I'm biased, like, I obviously want to keep on playing on my save, but... It's just about finding out who was at fault. Was it the game? Was it a hardware issue? Was it, like, a skill issue? As long as we can narrow it down and find out exactly, like, you know, which one was in the wrong, it's easy to make a decision on whether to use a backup or not, then. 
but no i asked around as well for people who've played the game for like multiple years you know their opinions on the matter and general consensus pretty much everyone said yeah it's clearly a bug and it's a bit scuffed and they also they would use a backup save and then we asked everyone else as well everyone kind of agreed Appreciate the followers as well, Green and uh, Asda. Happy days. Uh, you get that one theory. Uh, maybe it thinks the zombie fence. It would be on the floor. See, I get, yeah, like, I get the theory behind that one. I just don't know why it would do that. <laughs> but I don't know the code of the game, so I don't know, like, how all the game, like, prioritizes things in terms of, like, what animation is the game gonna do. So I... I get the theory, I just don't know how it would actually work mechanically. But yeah, bit, bit scuffed. We already, uh, we already have uh, people shitting on <laughs> for reloading this one. You might, oh, I might, yeah, imagine what they would have said if I did it with the first one. See, the, the other death, um, the Skynet death, that was, that was a hardware issue, but I made a mistake on that. Like, even though my monitor went black and I couldn't see what I was doing, I clicked off my screen. I fucked up. Like, I made a mistake. Because I could have used the, the monitor my screen going black as an excuse, like, oh no, my screen went black, and that's why I made a mistake, but no, I made an error on that, that other three-year game. I don't have a tremendous amount of rules, but you gotta stick to them, you know, you gotta have some integrity with it, otherwise it means nothing. Negan as well. You don't like Riverside? Why don't you like Riverside? Everyone likes Riverside. <laughs> uh, Twist, Mark Martins, yourself, Perry Winkle, no one openly against you. Yeah. Like, I don't want to gatekeep it and be like, sound like an asshole with it, but everyone who is relevant to the discussion doesn't have an issue with it. I don't really care what Joe Average has to say about it. I don't care about what someone who only survives like a week and has only been playing the game for maybe like a month says about the run. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I don't want to be an asshole about it, but it's like, I don't really care. But people who've been playing the game for like multiple years and actually have long-term games and understand how long things take to uh, get done, I care about what they have to say because they actually understand what's going on. They understand the discussion far better than someone who's brand new would. Appreciate the uh, follow as well, so happy days. Tell the risk assessors to fuck off. No, that's an unfollow. That's an unfollow. It is what it is. <laughs> it's like, I'm not saying you can't have an opinion. I'm just saying I don't really care. You know. And if that is enough for you to unfollow, that is what it is. I'm not gonna try and convince you to stay, if that's how you feel. But it seems like you were spitting for a reason to unfollow in the first place, because you've been very argumentative today. And it's way too early in my day... ...to be listening to that. <laughs> yeah, bye Royale! <laughs> no, I doubt it's Royale. It's, um... It's just somebody just has a different opinion, you know? It, it is what it is. Not everyone's going to be, like, have the same opinion. And some people are going to not like what I have to say about certain things. But, you know, everyone's got a different opinion on things. Doesn't mean he's right. Well, he's right or I'm wrong or vice versa.
you know, opinions come and go. Yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. Someone woke up on the wrong side of bed today. And they just seem like they're just looking for an argument. You know, we all just came in today nice and chill as we normally do, and they just started going off on about, like, the using the backup save. And then we talked about the backup save for a little bit. And then they start going off on, you know, I don't know how you can justify it. And then we explained how we could justify it. And then they just kept repeating themselves. And then I've just said just then that, you know, in regards to asking people's opinions on whether or not I should or shouldn't use a backup save after, like, you know, a glitch kills my character. Like, I'm gonna listen to everyone. I, you know, obviously care about what everyone has to say about it. But in terms of, like, which opinions matter more to me than others... Obviously, I'm going to prioritize people who've been playing the game for a long time and people who are also doing long-term runs because they are actually doing the same thing as me, you know. It's like they understand exactly, okay, you know, I know how long it takes to, like, get a run of this size going. I know exactly how it feels to lose a character to some really janky stuff, you know. And I've seen the clip and I'm going to give you an opinion on yay or nay on what I would do in that situation. It, it's going to be very different as opposed to asking someone who's been playing for maybe, like, you know, a dozen hours or so, like, what do you think about this? They're not going to know what the bug is. They're not going to know how long it takes to get a run of this size going. They're not really going to have the same experience. Yeah, consensus we bring to the group exactly. When in doubt, com use communism. <laughs> you, we will use the hive mind. The hive mind will dictate your fate. But yeah, how does this run? Uh, how does this run so smooth? So many corpses. Oh, so the dead bodies don't really influence game performance too much, really. Like they'll affect your loading times when you go into an area for the first time. But once it's been loaded into local memory, the dead bodies aren't that bad, to be honest. The game runs pretty well, regardless of how many bodies are on the ground. It's really just the zombies that are still alive that you have to worry about. And if you're running blood the cows as well, so having all the blood sprites on the floor, those are the ones that like really chug your save. Or well, chug your uh, FPS, I should say. Yeah, blood is- yeah, like Drickaz says, if you have blood off, your game will run far smoother. Isn't it because we're in a twist? Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm not gonna fret over one person having a different opinion to me. I don't know about that over-opinionated <laughs> brat. Oh, I like your stream. Appreciate that juice. And uh, it's a little like I don't have an issue with people having a different opinion, but I do think you're a twat if you have to like say, "Oh wow, well that's an unfollow." It's like my guy. Like I don't care if you unfollow. <laughs> to be honest, I don't care if you follow either. I say thank you out of politeness, but following doesn't do anything. <laughs> that's just you, you know, wanting to know what I'm online. I, th I say thank you because it's courteous and I appreciate the support, but it's literally just you getting notifications for when I'm live. Like, there's nothing else tied to it. So if you unfollow, I don't lose anything, you know. It's a shame to see you go, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna beg you to stay or have any ill feelings towards you if you decide to unfollow. <laughs> it's your right as a viewer to do so. Appreciate the sub as well, Justin X. Welcome back as well. I'll probably go inside now because I'm getting a little bit sick. The followers for the user to be notified. Exactly. It's 
you know, it's the same as subscribing on YouTube, you know. You're literally just subbing and following for notifications and to know when the person is live. That's pretty much it, really. Like, there aren't any special perks or privileges for having, like, X amount of followers. But it's always good to thank everyone and be polite. But it's something that you do on your end for yourself. I think people have weird prioritizations. That shit trying to add insult to injury doesn't exist. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Am I still gaining weight? Uh, I am not. Give me some more food then. Nothing to dwell on. Yeah, there's nothing to dwell on. It's just fun to talk about. <laughs> it's something that's fun to joke about, really. Right, give me my extra layers back. Is the hedger through the toilet design choice? No, I just, I've been lazy. Like, I need to demolish it at some point, but yeah, I've just been lazy. It's not a, uh, it's not an aesthetic choice. Uh, it doesn't something to a YouTuber give video engagement, which makes the algorithm boost uh, the video or something. So it's not based on, like, X amount of subscribers. It is based on watch time. So, and, um... Ah, oh, what do they refer to it as? It's not, aud not audience retention, that's still watch time. Impressions? I think that's what they call it. So basically just, you know, when your video pops up on the side, how many people click on your video to watch it. It's impressions and then watch time. So if you have a lot of people clicking on your video and you have a lot of like hours accumulating on your video, YouTube is going to push that video more um, onto people. That's why you get like weird things trending sometimes because as soon as the snowball gets rolling, then, you know, it just starts getting bigger and bigger because obviously there's more traction going towards it. Um, but, you know, if I had like a million subscribers on YouTube and I uploaded a, a random video... Um, it's not going to get recommended to anyone if no one watches the video. Right, that's all fine, that's all fine. Let's get some sleep. Maybe he's just trolling or oh, villain syndrome, don't know. Well, you know they were looking for an argument, but it is what it is. So they kept bringing it up. They didn't like the response they got. But that's all fine. It's all A-OK. -okay. Sprinters are indeed <laughs> spicy with pinpoint. Yeah, you are a braver man than me. I have done many a sprinter game, but I don't think I've done one with pinpoint hearing. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. I believe in you. <laughs> it's built different. Child has more respect than kids these days. I wouldn't even say it's down to kids. I think some people just have a real issue when you just show complete indifference. It's like, I don't like you. It's like, cool. Well, no, you, I want to argue about it. It's like, yeah, cool. Well, you know, I probably don't like you either. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, see, I, t I know you hated me. It's like, no, just not that bothered, to be honest. And I don't like what you're doing. It's like, cool. <laughs> you're entitled to not like what I'm doing. Wait. You weren't supposed to say that. It's like, you know, I'm not going to tell you that you can't hate what I do. <laughs> it's like, what do you do you? Some people just really like arguing. That's just, it's more fun just to be civil and just take the mick. It annoys people more. <laughs> right, which one am I going to level up first? I'll probably just still use a few spears first, but... Uh, let me go through the machetes. I'll go through the machetes first today. Do a little bit of long blade. Uh, this is why I chimed in. Don't want to self advertise or any of uh, that crap. But it's a category that is for fun. Yeah, exactly. And the group already molded over. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's only, like, a handful of us who play like this, because there's 
There's Ali, myself, Twist on Fire, uh, Mark Marin's BR. I always forget how to pronounce his name. Svi or Svi? German streamer. I know he does lots of good runs. There's probably a few more I'm forgetting. I know Raw Storage does it, but he's not currently like doing a, a run at the moment. Royale? <laughs> no, no. No, if you're if you're insinuating that was Royale with cheese on an alt account, I it's possible, but I I doubt it. That's a lot of effort, and that's really sad. But um yeah, there's not too many of us who do like the long form time 16 games, at the moment at least. But yeah. It's all kind of done and dusted. <laughs> Just stick to the pineapple and pizza argument. Right, just to make sure there's no one on the other generator down here. Yes, I've only for comfy, uh, for comfy lamprey voice <laughs> with no stupid commercials. That's fair. I would like to start running less commercials in the future, because it's a lot at the moment. I'm not too happy with how many I have to run, but. Things are picking up a little bit, so hopefully I can put it, like, further and further down. Royale is streaming. Yeah, like I said. Like, he and I don't get along, and he has tried to make up rumors about me in the past, but to make alt accounts for that type of stuff, that's really sad. And as much as I don't like him, I don't believe he's that petty. <laughs> So yeah, no, I don't think that was him. Or his missus. Who's Royale? Oh, he's referring to Royale with cheese. It, it's- we're not gonna, like, delve into it, it's like really old drama, but... Back when I first started streaming... Uh, Royale with cheese was like... The guy at the forefront trying to tell everyone my 10-year game was fake. And then, generally, the consensus was either it's not a valid run, because obviously it wasn't streamed, which, you know, I agree with. And then there were a few people who said, like, it's fake because you can't physically do that in the game. We proved that you could do it in the game, like, numerically, and then obviously I've gone on to do runs like this, proving that I am, like, who I say I am. And everyone kind of let it die, except for Royale with cheese. He kept trying to tell people that I am a fake and a fraud. To which, you know, generally he just became a joke after that. No one took him seriously. With those arguments specifically, that is. But... That's, like, really old news now. Like, that was... Like, the last time that came up, like, him actually doing something was, like, about a year ago. I think. Yeah, that was that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Appreciate the follow as well, uh, Sam. Happy days. Surprising how many zombies are still here. Yeah, I think. Well, I mean, these ones should be from no man's land. They should be coming through the fence on the right side. Cause if they're coming from the north, that's a bit surprising. But they might be coming from that direction. Are oh, you referring to people who do long runs? Oh, no. Well, he does long runs, but not times 16. He does, like, times eight, times 8, I think, on two-hour days. But yeah, he's done, like, 135,000. You know, we don't get along, but credit where credit's due. He has done a 135,000 vanilla run. Which I think is the highest vanilla streamed run, I think. He just walked into a zombie and gave him a little cheeky back rub. Yeah. <laughs> he was facing the wrong way though, so it's of no consequence. Thanks. I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't, like, I did see that one. I didn't. <laughs> you are right with that. I did give him a cheeky back rub. I didn't see that zombie. It's too busy monologuing. 
You eat burrito? I do not eat the burrito. Burritos aren't my food, unfortunately. They don't agree with me. <laughs> and by that, I mean I have terrible taste in food. What's your opinion on Hype Hop with Ten Year Later? Uh, well, Ten Year Later doesn't really change anything uh, game-wise, I don't think. Unless they've changed the mod. As far as I remember, it's just cosmetic, isn't it? It just adds lots of grass and shrubbery and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Hype Hop, uh, Ten Years Later, is fun. It's good fun. The trees actually become more of an issue, actually, like blocking your vision on day one. But yeah, I like the Ten Year Later mod. It's it's good fun. I like how it looks visually. So we ran that one on our last long-term game. Just woke up. How's your night going, streamer? Yeah, it's all good. Nice and chill. We're just still in, uh... Like our little warm-up phase where I'm still waking up. <laughs> so I'm just chilling out killing the zombies around my outpost at the moment. Why'd you keep walking backwards? Uh, it depends what you mean by that. If you mean why am I walking backwards now, it's because I don't want to be close to them. If you're on about why I keep going back all the way down over here, it's because I'm resting to get back my stamina. I don't want to wind myself halfway through a fight. Also, why do you keep tagging that guy? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure he left. <laughs> why do you keep... Like, don't antagonize him. If he's lurking, and let's let him lurk. But yeah, don't go being childish and trying to, like, start fights and all that stuff. If he wants to unfollow and leave, just let him unfollow and leave. And if he wants to be melodramatic and threaten to unfollow but still lurk, he's entitled to do that. <laughs> We're not going to time him out. We're not going to ban him. But yeah, don't go trying to antagonize him either. He can do what he wants. Now who's looking for a fight? Yeah. She drop it, yeah, like Lefty says, like... They had their moment in the spotlight, you know, it's all done and dusted. We joked about it afterwards, but it's all- it's all done now, just leave them alone. stuff. You haven't slept. 4th of July, still going strong. Uh, yeah, you Americans do love your 4th of July. <laughs> mm, the smell of gunpowder. Do you have extremely high strength or something? Why are you able to one-shot everything? Oh, it's because my strength and my spear level are maxed out. So, most of my damage that I'm dealing comes from my weapon skill, so that would be my spear, which is level 10. But then we also do extra damage based on that strength level, which is also level 10. And because the spears are already quite spicy with their stats, we're pretty much guaranteed to one-shot most of them. There's the occasional zombie that takes two hits, but, you know, the overwhelming number of them are one-hit kills, which is very chill. And you do like exploding things, it is very entertaining to watch. Spears, all the spears. Appreciate the follow as well, Miltai. Happy days. Spawns in the crow. Oh, spawns with a crowbar in the house dies immediately. <laughs> the pain. My condolences. You have a zombie distribution question? You are welcome to ask it, and I may have an answer for you.
Appreciate the raid as well, Control Ash. Welcome on in. Appreciate the raid. How was the stream? Appreciate the follow as well, Fox. Happy days. Was good. You played the other PC, Planet Zoo. I've not played Planet Zoo, but I'm sure it is a quality banger of a game. <laughs> no good stuff. Zombie Animal. Yeah, Zombie Animal DLC when? Right. But yeah, we'll switch over to the machetes after this next spear breaks and we'll do some long blade. Just like building sometimes? That's fair. I'd play that. I'd, I'd pay for that as well. Like, oh no, a zombie polar bear has escaped its enclosure. Like, oh fuck, here we go. There's <laughs> mm, not too many more. Yes. This, this was the, the work, work we, we were born, born for. Fucking love Isaac. <laughs> Castlevania Isaac is just one of the best characters in that entire series. Have a berry. And yeah, welcome back as well, Sparrows. It's not a zebra anymore. It's a zombra. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, what is the respawn rate to get this many zombies? Oh, so this is zero respawns. So when we kill the zombies, that's it. They're gone forever. They'll never come back. But we are doing time 16. So time 16 is the highest you can set the population multiplier. So that is a times 4 base and then times 4 peak. And they multiply off each other to give you time 16. So whereas a normal game on Apocalypse or Survivor is 1.5, we're running, you know, just about just under 10 times that figure. So where is on those games, you know, the entire map will have about 400,000 zombies, 450. On this game, we have about 4.5 million, more or less, including the entire map. So yeah, it's very good fun. Should check if uh, Jeremy is a zombie. I mean, he is immortal, but I doubt he's a zombie. Jeremy is too all-powerful and all-knowing to become a zombie. Zombie pro <laughs> Jeremy protects me from the zombies. He's the only reason I'm alive. a little bit of long blade now. It's like a never-ending grind. Good luck. Yeah, it is. it does take quite a while to wipe out areas, but we're getting close to finishing off Louisville now, so... We'll, uh, we'll be moving on to Muldra. Well, to be fair, we'll have to go through Valley Station again first, and then wipe out the zombies that come in from No Man's Land. And then wipe out West Point again, because there's zombies coming up from Muldra and Dixie. And then we'll probably be moving on to Muldra afterwards. But yeah, it is a lot of zombies to go through, but that is the name of the game for this run. And it is good fun. 
if a bit time consuming. Jeremy and Rebecca are eternal, exactly. It kinda should be dead, but can't be. Normal things that kill people don't kill me. But the things that kill people like... Uh, the things that most people like want to kill you. And garlic is a myth. <laughs> I don't know. Most things that kill people don't kill you, but you don't like garlic. You're sounding like a vampire. Just some, mostly. Your boyfriend has, uh, realized. Uh, be careful if you invite me. I don't leave. So, you hate garlic, but you like the sun. Sounds like you are a vampire, but you are Blade. You are the Daywalker. Oh, you love garlic, that's why it's a myth. I oh, clearly not a vampire, then. Just some other immortal creature. Blade likes garlic. That is true, actually. Uh, that does actually check out. Maybe you are. Maybe you are like Blade. Also, I don't know if I said it early, but appreciate the follow as well, Speddy. Happy days. I think I missed that notification. the last of them, at least for the time being. And it's only midday as well, so I'll probably go north and go looking for some more, but let me have a quick rest first. Just in case some more turn up. Uh, when Axe 10, please Axe run. No, no Lodi. No, don't make me go to the bad place. We will use some Axes today, but I'm not going to be leveling anything up. Today, the name of the game is murdering all the things, but I only want to do like about a thousand or two thousand experience for every weapon. I'm not going to level anything up today. I'm just going to chip away at uh, level 9 for all the weapons. And then we'll... Uh I'll probably go back to Spears afterwards, but I don't even know if I'll have time for that. Like, to do everything to a thousand, that is. I will probably, um, run out of time during the stream, because I don't think I could- I don't think I have enough time to do one level. So, yeah, it'll be one, two, three, four, maybe five thousand experience in total. I might be able to do all of them to a thousand. Maybe. Second wind from the zombies. Any tips for getting the material for spears? Uh, early game, it is mostly about tree branches and foraging, so... In the late game, you can rely on hunting knives like that, for getting just blades, you know, to make your spears. But in the early game, you'll find yourself relying more on foraging for chipstone. And instead of getting planks for spears, which in the late game is the easiest way, because obviously you can cut down a tree, get some logs, and then for every log you get three planks. So it's a lot easier to make spears in bulk that way. Uh, the early game revolves mostly around finding your first kitchen or hunting knife or machete or something of that sort. And then just taking apart bushes 
Because when you take apart a bush, it's not guaranteed, but there's like a 50-50 chance to get a tree branch from it. And then you can make a spear from that one. Or, you know, you can take the tree branch and then take a chip stone and make a stone knife to then make spears. That's what you do typically in the early game. And then as time goes on, you know, eventually you'll find your first uh, garden saw or your first hacksaw. And then you'll use that one in conjunction with an axe to cut down trees and then saw logs into planks and then start making spears from planks just because they're a lot more uh well they're a lot quicker to get you can get them in bulk as well so we hold all like this feels kind of like the last of us yeah best part of time 16 is killing 50,000 zombies before you find your first sword yeah <laughs> Accurate. I think we got lucky on this run. If I remember rightly, I think we got our first saw, like, immediately. Like, we went out to the three lake houses, um, west of West Point, and I'm pretty sure I got a saw from there. I don't know, maybe it was, like, a little bit later on, but I know we got a saw really early on on this run. And a crowbar as well, which definitely helped with leveling my maintenance. But I'm pretty sure they were both at the lake houses. I'll have to have a look at the VOD again at some point to jog my memory, but I'm pretty sure we had them pretty early. Which made uh, the start of this run very smooth. What stats haven't we maxed out yet? Uh, trapping, sprinting, the combat skills, and firearms. So... Trapping hasn't been maxed yet because I'm being lazy. Because we really should have maxed it by now, but I'm just... I, I keep putting it off. Um, sprinting will re uh, level up on its own, passively, just when I, every time I jog every now and then. Ugh, yawning. The combat skills are a little time-consuming, but, you know, like what we're doing now, every now and then we just level them up a little bit. And then the firearm skills, those two are going to take the longest, because they have a soft debuff. Uh, beyond level 5, so they take a tremendous amount of time and ammo to actually max out to level 10. And full disclosure, I've never actually done it before. I've never maxed out my firearms or my aiming skill on any character. So that'll be interesting, seeing how long that takes. a few layers. Uh, hold up. There's a difference between spears made out of tree branches and spears made out of planks. No, they're exactly the same. It's just a different recipe. So, the, re the method is different, but the outcome is the same. So... In the early game, um, because, you know, like, in the early game, if you're playing on, like, lower loot settings, you're more than likely not going to find a saw immediately. And if you're playing on time 16, you're not going to be, like, doing that much looting. You'll be reliant mostly on tree branches, just because you can take apart bushes really easily with just, like, a hunting knife or a kitchen knife, and then there's a chance to get tree branches. Or if you're desperate, you can cut down trees with an axe and get, like, have a chance to get tree branches from those as well. Uh, but until you get a saw, you can't make planks consistently. Like, you could rely on carpentry to, like, dismantle furniture inside a building and get planks that method. Um, but that is probably going to end up more time-consuming than just, you know, hunting around for some bushes. But, uh, yeah, in terms of stats, it's the same weapon, you know. A spear that's made from a tree branch and a spear that's made from a plank are exactly the same weapon. Same hit points, same damage... Same durability, it's all exactly the same.
And I'm not doing too bad. So we'll give him another minute again, because we'll see if there's another second wind. It's the only time they can make it through the fence that's, like, east of where we currently are is when we get close to the area, so... There might be more on their way. It looks like there might... Yeah, it looks like there are a few more coming down. But, um... Yeah, we'll just chill out here, because I'm not really in too much of a rush to go back into the center of Louisville. I would rather try and wipe out this area completely, if I can. Because when it's done, it should be done until we head back to Louisville again in the future. But there's no telling how many there are. Long blade day again? Eh, only for a moment. Today we're going to be using everything. We're going to be using axes, long blunt, short blunts, long blade, short blades. All the weapons. Because I'm not going to level everything up today, but we're just putting like a little bit of a dent into level 9. You know, I might even go up to 2,000 experience per weapon. But yeah, we're just leveling them up a little bit. Just getting them close towards that level 9. Yeah, let me have a little sit down and just see if anyone turns up. Is there any stress on your side? Uh, since your kill count is already this high. Currently only on day 15, I'm stressed out going to loot. No, like, at this point in the game... Like, I can do whatever I want. Like, there's no... Like, I can't go anywhere like I want at the moment. There are, like, res like limitations as to where I can go. Because we're playing on such a high population. Um, but in terms of, like, what can I do? I can do pretty much everything. So I'm not really stressed on, like, oh, I have to kill, like, this many zombies today, or I'm, like, I have to get this amount of food, or I have to go looting in these places. I've got all the time in the world to do whatever I want. So, I just chip away at the zombies here and there, and, uh, basically just do what I want. No, no stress. In days though, it's more like going down a checklist, really. Like, we're still trying to wipe out all the zombies in Louisville and to clear out the city in its entirety, but I'm just going down a short list of like, you know, I want to find these few collectible items, I want to level up these skills, I want to repair these things, I want to build these bases, I want to power these gas stations, you know. Just have a little list of things that I want to get done. But. There's no specific order, or any time uh, limits on really anything. Like, the only time limit I actually have is Build 42 hanging over my head. So when Build 42 comes out, we're going to start a new, a new game with a new character, but there's no telling when that's going to happen, so there's no point stressing about that. <laughs> new cro- yeah, repeating crossbow. Make that Legolas build. <laughs> Tell me, Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? Zombies. Lots of zombies. <laughs> At this level, uh, you're a tea plantation owner, aka a, AKA a god. Yeah, there's not really much that can touch you in this stage. It's like, obviously I'll die eventually. Like, I'll probably die before Bill 42 comes out, it's inevitable. But it won't be because I get grabbed by a giant horde of them. I'll just make one little mistake. Like, I... I'll just spend, like, a few seconds not paying attention in, like, a do-or-die area. And there'll be one zombie that I miss that just catches me off guard. That's normally how it goes. But yeah, everyone dies eventually, myself included. No one's gonna live forever. As much as we want to. <laughs> That's deep, I know. Character's having an existential crisis right now. <laughs> we all die eventually. As much as we rage against the darkness, it is inevitable. 
<laughs> Character's gonna like break down, get in the fetal position in the middle of the road. What's the point to it all? Why am I resisting so much? <laughs> yeah. How do you level up metalworking efficiently? As in uh, using minimal amount of propane possible. See, I don't know which one's the best, but personally, I I normally stick to dismantling fences like this. Um, it's normally out of convenience, just because obviously when you find an area that has like that's normally fenced in, the fence goes on for fucking miles. Um, and you know every tile is going to have a fence. So that's like dozens, if not hundreds, of things that you can dismantle all in one area. But I don't know if it's more efficient in terms of like propane used per experience if it's better to do like burnt cars I've never bothered measuring it um personally I just stick to fences that's what I normally go for but yeah it might be more efficient to do cars but the difference being you know you'll be able to do 10 tiles worth of fence uh before you run out of propane in your propane torch but the car is going to use up the entire thing all at once but obviously the burn car is going to give you a tremendous amount of experience all at once, and all the fences are going to give you just a little bit for each tile. But yeah, I'm not sure which one would work out better in the long run. Uh... Comment was run out by two and a half minutes of ads. Oh, rip. Um, what did you ask? You made... Oh, I literally just said nice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say anything, like, deep or philosophical. <laughs> it's like, team plantation owner. Nice. Nice. Sometimes the ads trigger my posting. Yeah, because I'd like to run less ads, honestly. Because they're just really disruptive. It's like three minutes worth of ads at the moment. It's a big, big chunk of time. And they always come around at like the worst moments as well. <laughs> we, uh, we'd like to start rolling back on that. You made our Mulder alive. It was spicy. A star for effort. On times 12 as sprinters as well. Hilarious. Peasy Wiki uh, has questionable numbers on metalworking. It says the info is valid, but uh, 41.53. That's pretty dated. See, I can't remember if there's a. If there's been any, like, tremendous changes since 4153. Honestly, I can't even remember when that was. So we're on 4178, I think. I forgot which build we're on currently, but... Yeah, it's been a little while. Be nice if you could turn them off, just enable the cyber ones. Yeah, they'd be so much better. So, I mean, you can run ad blockers and such, but Twitch has gone out of their way to block the stream if you don't. Like, it'll block all. Like, your ad blocker will block all the ads, but Twitch has been really petty and they'll block you from watching the stream. <laughs> and it's like, my guy, please. <laughs> like, like, that's really. That's really petty. But yeah. Like, having the sidebar ads, they're not, they're not that bad. Like, obviously no one likes having ads on the screen, but at least you can still watch the stream of those ones and hear all the audio. Your ad block is working quite... Oh, which one do you, which one do you use? Because my ad block doesn't work at the moment. I hear, I've heard that I think some of them work on Firefox, but I'm still using Chrome at the moment. But my ad blocker is not doing the thing. U-Block. Oh, I'm using U-Block. 
development branch. Okay. You block Origin on Firefox. See, I might have to, like, switch then. At least for when I'm watching streams on Twitch. Just have, like, Firefox installed for that one purpose. <laughs> Turbo cyber ad blockers are the only options. Yeah, see, I would always suggest using ad blockers personally, but I just haven't known of any that like stick around for the long haul. They all keep going down eventually. Yeah, I think turbo is the cheapest method if you watch multiple streamers, but then subbing would be the cheapest if you only watch maybe one or two people. But yeah, but personally, you know, if you find an app blocker, I would always recommend just using the app blocker personally. <laughs> I would never encourage anyone to sub, I'd, like, no. If I was given the choice, I'd use an app blocker personally. I watch too many streamers, and I'm not in the, uh, not in the mood to be paying for Twitch Turbo. But no, I'll have to try Origin on... Firefox at some point. I might try tonight actually just to have a look at it and see if it does actually work. That will be spicy. Uh, do you have mods? I do. Yeah, we're not running that many mods, but there are a handful in, on this run. So the only major one that actually affects the game is the expanded helicopter mod. Everything else is uh, cosmetic, or is something to do with the, the stream. But yeah, there are a few mods on this run. It's like an arms race between ads and ad blockers, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's quite funny. Which is the collateral damage, yeah. One of them will give sooner or later, though. You know, if I was gonna be a, if I was a betting man, I'd say it's probably the ad blockers that will lose inevitably, because, you know, big company wants money, and they're gonna go for it, but... The ad blockers are putting up a good fight, and we love them for it. We're not losing weight anymore. Uh, but I have a little bit of time left. I will do some meal prep now. Just a little bit. Let's get all of you defrosted. Why are the Zams trying to get into the shack? Wait. Oh, what are the Zams trying to get in that shack? Oh. Probably all the... Snacks. You know. I mean, it is a little, like, kiosk for, like, the entrance of an area. And it was probably stationed with a night guard. And... Night guards probably have a lot of snacks in their drawers, so they're probably all going for that. <laughs> yeah, casual flex of all the gold bars. Gotta show my arbitrary wealth. I am both simultaneously the richest and poorest man in Kentucky. How's clearing you, Louisville? Yeah, it's going. It's getting there. We're still at the checkpoint currently. We're just trying to lure in the ones on the east side at the moment. By the north-facing uh, checkpoint e exit. So there's still zombies, like, chilling by that fence. And they're all still, like, slowly making their way uh, down here. But... It's not too bad at the moment. Doesn't seem like there's too many of them. Does weight and calories matter in game? Yeah, tremendously. So... Weight... Well, just weight as a whole. It's not super important at face value, but if you let it get out of hand, there are, like, pretty severe consequences. 
So if you're too fat or you're too underweight, you know, either are either way on like the extreme ends, um, you do get quite a big hit to your damage and your stamina regeneration and your stamina as a whole. So whether you're too fat or too thin, you'll get tired a lot quicker. You'll get exhausted and you'll uh, also not be doing as much damage. But um, eventually, you you can't die to oh, like being too fat in the game. You can't die to obesity. There's no consequence to going too high in that regard. But you can die to weight loss. So the minimum is 35 kilos. If you go down to 35 or less, you'll start taking damage. And your health bar will slowly start depleting. And then eventually you'll die. Um, fun little bit of trivia as well. Uh, your calorie requirements per day, they are dynamic, they do change, so the larger your character becomes, like, the, the heavier you are, same in real life, the more calories you're going to need to maintain your body weight day to day, and vice versa for being underweight as well. If you let your character get too thin, they're not going to need as much calories, or as many calories to maintain their body weight day to day. Yeah. But yeah, if you're... Like, I'm assuming you're asking actually you might be struggling with the weight, but if you want, like, a really easy method just to, like, know what you're doing, um, rule of thumb is you just want to be between 75 and 85 kilos. And if you want to know, like, what's currently happening to your character, if you've eaten enough, you'll have a chevron pointing up. It's a little arrow. And if you haven't eaten enough, it'll be pointing down. And if it's not there at all, then nothing's happening. You're just currently maintaining your body weight. So you don't have to, like, go through, like, the tedious, like, action of, like, counting calories and keeping track of what you've eaten and how much activity you've done for the day. Literally just have a look and see if the arrows are pointing up and down there. and You'll know if uh, you're on track or not. Thanks for the info. It's only started a few days ago. Hey, no worries. Well, good luck on your journey. We will watch your career with great interest. The activity matters. Yeah, that's like a major part of it. Yeah. Same in real life. Like, the more physically active you are, the more calories you'll burn. Uh, day to day. So, like, what our character's doing, like, because we're spending most, if not our entire day, just fighting zombies, we're doing a lot of physical activity. So instead of only needing, you know, maybe 2,000 calories per day to maintain my body weight with, like, some light exercise, my character's gonna be needing, like, three or 4,000 calories per day to compensate for all the exercise that I'm doing. They're all done. Appreciate the followers well, Productor. Oh, Product of War, sorry. Happy days. We will ride into battle. And this will be our horse. Can we tell Hot Dog about the Nimble? Nope. It's one of those things that you, like, don't ask, we, don't, we won't tell, but yeah. Like, if you want to get into combat, yeah, having Nimble is very important. It makes combat a lot easier. But yeah, he was asking about uh, calories and such. Attention to a god, really how. Nimble is just uh, your character's walking speed relative to like the combat stands. So when you're targeting, when you're like holding down the right mouse button to like attack zombies and such, Nimble just affects how quickly you can walk when you're doing this. So you'll notice if you're at like level zero or level one, you'll move like really slowly. You won't be moving that fast. 
So it means that when you're back, like backpedaling away from zombies, you'll find yourself having to turn around more often because they're catching up to you too quickly. I have introduced myself. You have but introduced yourself. When you get to level, good it's about like level four or five. That's like the main turning point. You'll find yourself like being able to stay ahead of the zombies, and you know, obviously keeping the ones right in front of you back by just smacking them. So combat becomes a lot more fluid and a lot more easier to deal with. And it's why a lot of people struggle with combat early on. It's not because the com combat is super complicated and super difficult. It's just, you know, obviously, if you're a really low-level character, which everyone's going to be when they first make their characters, combat's always going to be a lot harder. And then that, the longer you survive, the easier and easier it gets, because obviously you're doing more damage, your character's faster, you're not losing as much stamina, you know. It just becomes a lot easier. Appreciate the follows as well, Berto and Hot Dog. Happy days. <laughs> trying to keep the secrets of gods between themselves and the Emperor. See, it's just, when we go down that rabbit hole of, like, talking about nimble and stuff, I gotta start talking about, like, the certain traits that you should be taking, and then if we go down that road, I gotta start talking about, like, the XP modifiers and how they're misleading. Because it's not 75% bonus, it's actually 400%. Well, technically 300% bonus, but, like, 400% overall experience. And it's like... There's lots of, like, little niche things to learn. <laughs> so, I try to keep things nice and simple as much as I can. Yeah, a bit much too much for the star crew. Yeah, it's like, I'll give you, like, the basic information to get you going. And then, you know, as people, like, play the game more and they get more into it, they start asking questions about, like, other stuff. Like, oh, my character's struggling leveling up as nimble. Do you have any advice for that? And then I can start telling them about stuff like that. But if I just give you a massive info dump and tell you everything I know, it's like, oh, it's way too much to learn at once. You know? I can barely memorize most of it, because there's just so much trivia. <laughs> but yeah. Appreciate the follow as well, 50 cal. Happy days. There's a rabbit hole. Yeah, you start talking about one thing, and it just ends up like an hour-long discussion. You start talking about, like, nimble and combat modifiers, and you end up talking about, like, fishing prime times and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, it's always fun talking about it though alright am I done with the long blades no let me get 500 more experience with long blades and then we'll move on to long blunts next I think Start with vanilla. Yeah, if you're learning the game for the first time, no mods, play vanilla, don't take any negative traits, you know, take unemployed or one of the other things, one of the other occupations that you can afford. And, uh, you know, take something like really simple. Simplicity is always best when you're learning. Yeah, let's grab some baseball bats. And we'll level up some long blunt after this. Don't spear me! No, no. I will spear you, but not now. <laughs> Later. Appreciate the follow as well, Kentucky. Kentucky fuck daddy. Nice. <laughs> Very appropriate for the game we're playing. Right, yeah, that is good. Yeah, we'll get up to 2,000 experience with the machetes and then we'll move on to the long blunt. Yeah, long blunts. But let's see how many more we have back here. And before I carry on, I have been sat down for two hours, so I am going to go and stretch my legs and all that good stuff. So I'll be back in less than five minutes.
Right, I'm back. Happy days. What have I missed? Uh, back to bed for you. Hey, no worries. Cheeky bit of rest before getting up to actually go to the office. That's fair. Appreciate the look. Uh, what else have I missed? Oh, you're in Thai base? Uh, yeah. So we're just living at the military checkpoint. Uh, south of Louisville. So none of this is normally here. We just, like, kind of terraformed the area. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a bit of, a uh, little bit of base building. Watching from darkness with the with the back cape. For the sweet spearing sounds as background music. I will aim to please, but unfortunately I'm going to disappoint a little bit, because... There will be no spears for a little while, just while we level up our other weapons. Yeah, let's see if we have a... Well, to be fair, let me see if there's any zombies. Nope, that's all clear. Appreciate the follow as well, Mafio. Happy days. But yeah, let's uh, see how many more we have around the van. Pretty clear. Yeah, it's really clear. Appreciate the follow as well, South. I thought there'd be a lot more. Who knows? Maybe we have one. But yeah, while I give them a chance to come out and say hi, I'm just going to dismantle some radios if there are any, because I've got no more light bulbs to repair my floodlights and such. So, just get myself some light bulbs. And hopefully we have some zombies turn up as well in a moment. Where are you? There you are. But yeah, won't do... Won't go looking for all of them. Just, just a very quick skim through it. Made that my last. No, oh, wrong one. Yeah, I got 14 uh, light bulbs from that, so that's A-OK. -okay. Let's get rid of you. And all of them. Uh, very surprised to see you in Perth. You're in Perth yourself. Just bought this game in the Steam sale. Played for the first time last night with buddies. Fell in love. A hey, good stuff. Oh, check out some Zomboy streamers. Glad to see, uh, oh, sorry. Glad I have stumbled upon you, bro. Love the stream so far. Hey, well, I appreciate the compliments and the love. But yeah, seeing as you are new, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't know everything, but I do have tips and tricks for new players and old. Welcome back as well, Ryo. Happy days. How is survival? Yeah, survival's good. Nice and chill. We haven't gone too far yet. We're just still chipping away at the military checkpoint. We're going to go north in a second, I think. Because it doesn't look like there's too many more by the van. Or at least there weren't just a moment ago. We'll have a little look-see now. But yeah, our long blade is almost 2,000 experience up. So we'll be switching to the long blunts in a moment.
He has a few more. It's not many though. Not compared to what we had earlier. He doesn't know everything, but he, he, he knows how to ascend to become a god. A demigod, yeah. I'm a, still a mortal deity. I got that cosmic power at my fingertips, but I can still die. <laughs> I am a glass cannon. I can terraform the earth. I can kill hundreds of thousands, but I will still die to the common cold. <laughs> I have my Achilles heel. Appreciate the follow as well. Sleepwalk. Happy days. Alright. Still 1500 experience. So let's get a little bit more. The, the work we were, we were born, born for. for. God, I need a hype man like Isaac. <laughs> Just, you know what? I want to kill all of humanity. Yes. This was the work we were born for. Like, yes, Isaac. Yes, it was. Your first death was because you thought you could drive any car you wanted. Second death was, uh being a liability to your crew, so I sacrificed myself, and the third death was because I decided to check the map. Ah, oh, rip. <laughs> I mean, you should have been running. Right, I think we'll move on from here. So it's pretty quiet now. But yeah, if it makes you feel any better, uh, man, for you, everybody goes through that. Everyone has a bunch of really silly deaths initially. The rite of passage has been secured. You are now one of us. <laughs> Yeah, like like Ali says, right passage. But yeah, let's go and just get this one refueled at the gas station, and then we'll have a little drive through Louisville. No sacrifice too great. <laughs> yeah, no Manfio sacrificing himself for his team. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Truth be told, you never do. Yeah, never stop doing dumb things. Yeah, it is a lovely pastime for every Zomboid player. We all do dumb shit constantly. You died with an M16. Zero aiming. Meanwhile, you're bleeding out. See, oh god, what was his name? You're, um... You're the guy with the mustache from Predator. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> you are literally that guy. Like, slowly bleeding out. I ain't got time to bandage this shit. I got, I got zombies I need to kill. I think I can hear a zombie. Here he is. Yeah, but yeah, he's all refueled now, so let's have a little drive into Louisville and see if we can find any decently sized groups. Because we repaired him yesterday, so Frank is good to go. Frank the van is very beefy at the moment. <laughs> PZ, yeah, PZ Tombstone. I wonder if... Yes, famous last words. Pictures taken moments before disaster. You need a generator for getting fuel? Just saw that before getting fuel for last time. Oh, you don't have to do it if you're in the early stage. So, it, it's down to RNG, but within the first 30 days of you being alive, the power in the water will get turned off. It is random, though, so it can happen on the first day. It might not happen until day 30. 
But when the power gets turned off, then you have to power the gas stations yourself with a generator. Oh, your power's already off? Ah, oh, rip. That is some bad luck. Lost it on day 13? Ah, oh, rip. But good news is you can get it powered back on. So the generators have a radius of about 20 tiles, more or less. So if you just place a generator uh, next to the gas station and make sure the pumps are within, you know, proximity, within like 20 tiles or so, you'll have to find some gas elsewhere, because obviously your gas station no longer has any power, but if you siphon some gas from a car, you can use that to bump start your generator. And then, uh, yeah, and then you'll have a generator by the gas station, and then you can just drain it of all its fuel. It does have a limited amount, like every gas pump has like X amount of fuel left inside of it. Uh, but honestly, if you're on single player, it doesn't really matter like what settings you're running. You're never going to uh, like use all the fuel. You'll never really run out, to be honest. So you'll be good to go then. That'll be your fuel of source for the entire game. And you got the generator mag, yeah. You've got everything you really need then. You know, get the magazine, get a generator, get a gas can to siphon some fuel, and you are good to go, because unfortunately, for some reason, you cannot refuel the generators with bottles that have gasoline. It has to be a gas can. Which is a little bit sad, but you know, it is what it is. How big is the map? It's sizable. So, we spawned in West Point, and it took us about eight months to clear out this area. And then we cleared out Louisville, and then we cleared out a decent chunk of Louisville, and that's taken us almost three years in game time. But that is the size of the entire map. So, we've only gone through, like, three of the major towns so far. Like, admittedly, they are three of the biggest ones, but we still have Muldra, Marchridge, Rosewood, Lake Phallus oh, over there. Riverside, and then the rest of Doe Valley to clear out. And then we have the outskirts of the map as well, because they all spawn uh, the majority of the zombies. So it's big. It's a big, chunky place. Like, it'll take you, like, about an hour, you know, 30 to 40, well, 30 to 60 minutes in game, uh, not game time, in real time, to get from, like, the top of Louisville all the way down to, like, Rosewood. It's a big map. Really, really big. But yeah, it's good fun, though. Appreciate the follow as well, Aussie. Happy days. There are many gas cans in game. Yeah, the gas cans aren't, like, super hard to come by. Especially if you're on, like, the normal loose settings. You'll find them in, like, most garages and, like, the American Tire Store and the trunks of vehicles. Is it better to build your own base or find a house to take over? It is... It depends on, like, what the circumstances are. But if you're looking for, like, just generally any place to live, like, on, like, like, most settings, it's better to make a house, like, make a home in, like, a pre-existing building. And the reason for that is there's less weaknesses, there's less, uh, ways for the zombies to get into the building. So, let me just drive over here just to give you an example. So, let's say I built this house from scratch, you know. If I build this from the ground up, just as an example, the zombies can destroy any single wall tile. Any of the windows, any of the doors, any of the walls, the zombies can break into any area. But if I take this house, like, as it is, like a pre-built structure, the zombies can only go through the windows and the doors. So there's less ways for the zombies to get inside the building. There's less ways for them to, to uh, destroy it. So, it's it's easier to defend places like this, because obviously they can't do any damage to the walls and such. So, finding a building that already exists in the world is preferable. But it's not mandatory, you know. If you're living in the middle of nowhere that has no zombies, you can build your own thing from scratch. It's of no consequence, because you're never going to run into anyone out there. But yeah, if you're in the middle of the city like this, you'd be better off finding a building that already exists. Uh, Muldra probably already encroached on West Point. Yeah, we already had zombies coming up from the south, and most of them have been Dixie, because, you know, Dixie is north of Muldra, but there's been so many of them that it's probably just Muldra at this point coming up.
Yeah, it's pretty chilled back here. Yeah, let's go. Let's move on. Uh, you're struggling adapting to living in the middle of nowhere. But there's too many zombies to clear from inside. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're doing like times 12 and you're doing sprinters, yeah. Yeah, it's nice just to live on like just the outskirts of town. So you're like, you're not too far away. So it's not like a mile and a half to walk back into town to kill zombies or do looting. But you're far enough away that they're not really going to bother you if there are meta events close by. But yeah, there's, um. There are like. Normally, like, plenty of buildings near most of the towns, like, just on the outskirts. But yeah, you'll, um, you'll adjust to it. Pretty sure the follower is well shot. Is it Dante? Is it Dante as well? Is it... I don't think I'm getting that right. Been playing Project Zombie for three days. Fell in love with it. Great game. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's definitely the most fun survival game. I think, currently. It's not necessarily the most realistic, but it's definitely one of the more in-depth ones. I think the only real survival games currently still out there that are more in-depth than uh, Zomboid are the ones that it was inspired by, like things like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Like, that one is a monster for detail. But visually, it's not too much to look at. It's all about the gameplay with that one, but I think Zomboid has like a nice balance between the two where it looks nice and it still has like all that fun, like in-depth game mechanics. What's the best occupation for new players? That would be unemployed. Um, unemployed is the most versatile and most flexible occupation in the game, ironically. <laughs> so unemployed will give you some minor benefits for your foraging, but they don't really matter too much. But the main thing is you get plus eight points to spend on other traits. That's what unemployed is giving you. Um, and that is far more important to new players than it is really anything else. But the reason why, like I say, it's one of the best, if not the best, is because having those plus, like, eight, eight points, you can fit that into any game. Like, any game settings, any play style, multiplayer, single player, doesn't matter. Unemployed fits into everything perfectly. As opposed to some other occupations and such, you know, they normally get well they normally vary on value depending on like what you're playing specifically whether it's single player multiplayer fast shamblers slow shamblers sprinters nomad builds base building builds high kills low kills pacifists you know there's different like answers for what's the best depending on like all those different variables And yeah, appreciate the follow as well. Uh, Battlefield 1 Rat. Happy days. I'm assuming that's Battlefield 1. It might just be BF1. But I appreciate the follow. Next run, time 16 with Sprinters. I will leave that to Bonsai, the madman. <laughs> Yeah, let's group all of you up. Appreciate the follow as well. Post the pod. Yeah, let me just run around here. Uh, CDDA's mechanics are realistic, but the enemies on law is wacky. Yeah. I always think it's best just to refer to those games as in-depth rather than realistic. I, like, I know it's, like, arguing, like, semantics and stuff, but I just feel it, like, applies a lot better, given that they're all, like, zombie games and stuff like that. Because <laughs> it's normally balanced around, like, it's obviously going for game balance, just for, you know, to make the game fun. Because if you make things too realistic, it just kind of sucks all the fun out of it. But yeah, the, the games are all, like, definitely, like, very in-depth. Lots of little uh, nuances to learn. Appreciate sure the followers will torn Tom. Happy days. How much do you know about this game? Lamprey, yes. I know more than most players regarding like game mechanics and trivia and all that stuff, but I don't know the most. Like, I will leave the crown for that one to all the co-divers and such. Like, I can talk for like hours and hours regarding strategy and tactics and tell you what's like 
what are the best tactics what are the redundant tactics what did we use like two years ago what are we using now but i can't hold a candle to the people who like go down and like go through all the code and stuff they can tell you so much more than i can regarding like exactly how things work appreciate the flow as well ren's gaming happy days uh firefighter is a good occupation yeah for, for zero point i mean it, it does cost points but yeah it it is um nice occupation to have cause i'll go what is it it's plus one in axe isn't it plus one strength I can't remember what else it gives you, but yeah, fire, uh, firefight is always a good occupation. Six strength, one sprinting. Do you get sprinting with firefighter? That's cool. I didn't. I don't remember that. Uh, is shamblers the default or fast shamblers? Fast shamblers are the default. Yeah, slow shamblers are not. They're not the default in any setting. I don't think, but they are an option. But yeah, fast shamblers are the norm. Also, am I on 2,000 experience yet? No. Got a little bit more to go through. Day two airdrop fucked you. <laughs> uh, no expanded helicopter got the boy. Oh, good stuff though. Appreciate the follow, uh, bad back. Welcome on in. Just stop procrastinating. Good luck with the stream aid. No worries. Good luck with whatever it is you have planned for your day. Whether it is work or otherwise. Uh, don't hesitate to check the PZ wiki about occupations. They'll give you any details. Yeah, with the P with the PZ wiki, it's definitely worth checking out for lots of like information and such. But take it all with a pinch of salt, because not all of it is up to date. But yeah, Sparrows makes a good. Uh, super, uh, sorry. Sparrows and Ryo have the same color name on my chat currently. <laughs> Ryo makes a good point. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you want a little bit more detail on certain like weapons and occupations and certain game mechanics. Yeah, got your name completely wrong then. It's because your names are like, at the moment in my chat, you two are the only one with blue names. I keep looking over and thinking it's the other one. <laughs> but yeah, it's um... The PZ wiki is good for info, it's just some of the pages are a little bit out of date. Or well, some of the information is just a little bit off. But it's generally like a really good place to just get a better understanding of how things work. Yeah, PZ is quite a wiki game. Yeah, it's, there's quite a lot of niche details and numbers to like learn. So much things that you don't know the first time until you read about it. Yeah, it's, it is a good, a really good suggestion. Yeah, because the numbers are normally a little bit inaccurate, but generally it does give you, like, the correct information, or at least, like, a better understanding, you know. It's like, for the longest time, the numbers were wrong regarding, like, how far away you need to be from your traps, for your traps to actually be able to catch food. But it gave you the information that you have to be a certain distance away from your traps for them to catch food. It's like, okay, I wouldn't have known that otherwise. So, yeah, things like that are definitely useful. Definitely a good, uh suggestion from you. Doesn't help that the game misleads, lies to you. Yeah, there are like certain like little tiny bits where it just 
doesn't give you the correct information and kind of leads you astray. Thanks. I love the devs and I love their game, but calling it as it is, their tutorial is really bad. <laughs> it, like, it teaches you, like, the basic, like, controls and stuff. But there's, like, little things, like, telling you to crouch behind the fence to, like, creep around the zombie and stay out of sight. It's like, that that's not how it works. Like, short fences don't block line of sight, and neither do vehicles or anything like that. But, um, it makes it, like, it insinuates that that's an actual thing in the game and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe they'll add that in the future. But yeah, at the moment it doesn't work like that at all. So... It's lackluster. Yeah, like, it gives it gives you enough information to, like, get started, but it's definitely... It leaves a lot to be desired, but... I don't blame them for doing it the way that they've done it, because obviously they're not done making the game yet, and it would be a massive pain in the ass to, like, constantly be updating the tutorial to be up-to-date all the time, so... You know, I think the devs understand that new players get most of their information on how to play the game from YouTube and from, like, word of mouth, like, asking streamers and their friends and such. I think they know that most people don't really get a lot of the info on how to play from, uh, any information that they give inside the game itself. I think I learned the bulk of my information from multiplayer. I remember someone teaching me how a building works for the first time. <laughs> I was on multiplayer and I was like, I was just doing all the killing and stuff, and I was letting them do all the base building. But they were explaining to me how like how all the base building mechanics work and such, and like how you have to have like certain materials in your inventory uh, for certain recipes and such to work. But yeah, it's always a lot easier learning from another player rather than stumbling around in the dark. Too many of you. I think all these guys were the ones we left on Monday. I think they're all coming from the main road. learn from multiplayer and watching videos and streams. Yeah, that's fair. Appreciate the follow as well, Drillbit. Happy days. What do you think uh, the best perk in the game is? <laughs> and why is it keen hearing? Yeah, you already know the answer. <laughs> and uh, Frank Thrack as well. Hello, hello. But no, keen hearing is the best in my opinion, just because I know it doesn't seem like much, but getting that extra one, it's its one or two tiles. I think it's just one, but yeah, one extra tile around your character. It just gives you extra time to react when zombies sneak up on you. And when you're backpedaling from zombies, having that like buffer zone behind my character to know when they're coming up behind me, it does help immensely. It just makes it so much harder for the zombies to sneak up on you. And then you have the added benefit of, you know, if you start getting into more refined tactics, like, you know, resting more efficiently, efficiently when you're out in the open. Being able to, like, sit down on the ground like this and then just fast forward time without worrying about zombies getting too close to me from behind. It's definitely worth it. I've, um, I think I've taken keen hearing with almost every single character for, like, the last 
God, how long now? Seven years? In real life, I think. I've been, like, I've been taking, like, a keen hearing with, like, every character for, like, almost a decade. Like, since I started playing the game. It's definitely, uh, the best. How did you change your clock to EU settings? Uh, it's under the display option. I'll show you in a second. Let's make sure that's the last of them. Yeah, it's just under the display options. Pretty sure it's at the bottom, I think. Yeah, so, uh, third category from the bottom, just under clock. But yeah, just clock fam format, day, month. But yeah, by default, I'm pretty sure it's set to month, day. But yeah, you can change the temperature as well, but, you know, I'm British or European, so I like my day, months, and my 24-hour clocks, and my Celsius over Fahrenheit. Yeah, let's move on to a new area. 24 hour clock. Ah. Uh, I, I, I don't really have anything against AM and PM. It's just 24 hour clocks are just so much cleaner. Yeah, let's cap it to 30 miles per hour. We'll give the zombies chance to come out from whatever they're, wherever they're hiding. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. I think I'll head over west, because it's getting towards the end of the day, so. I'm just going to drive really slowly. I'll cap it to 20 now. But we'll just drive through, go a bit further west, and just see if there's any zombies on this side of town that I've missed. Just because I've only got, like, at the very most, five hours in game time before I need to start heading back. Uh, I don't have a command for my PC build wagons, but uh, the short list is 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a GeForce RTX 2060, and uh, fuck, what else am I running? An Intel i5-10400 as my CPU. And I cannot remember what my storage is. I cannot remember what my motherboard is. <laughs> but yeah, those are the important parts. But yeah, if there's anything that you want specifically, feel free to ask, and I can make an attempt to answer. Oh yeah, the, the internet is powered by hamsters. Nah, the hamsters are powered by caffeine. We finally saw a zombie on this side of town. Finally. Yeah, I think when we come back out tomorrow, I'll just go east again, because this area is immaculate. I don't know, maybe they're hiding somewhere, but I think we're done on this side of town. Yeah, caffeinated hamster is always a good idea, until they get loose. <laughs> but that's a problem for another day. I know, I love me a clean road. It is very clean. Yeah, I'll drive east from here. I'll go north there, and then we'll circle back around. If they're stuck anywhere, I reckon they're probably stuck in the industrial area, because there's tons of fences in that, in that zone. Lots of places that they'll get stuck. But yeah, we are doing really well. Thanks so much. A, hey, no worries. Nope. Oh. Hello, hello. Almost missed you. Uh, I know this area. There's an entrance just down over here. Let's go grab all of you then.
to grab a sledgehammer at some point and go in there. A <laughs> stem without lights, yeah. Yeah, you you got under D Jax's skin last night with that you little fucking gremlin. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, my God, leave him alone. He doesn't like he doesn't like the outlines. Okay, stop bullying him. <laughs> yeah, no outline gang for life. Like I will. Uh, why would I turn down free information? I'll always have my outlines turned on. Juicy loot inside. I mean, lots of the pawn shops have guns and such, so there's probably a few in there. <laughs> no outlines for your sweet immersion. See, I'm not too bothered about immersion. I'm not really one for role-playing. And I like to be able to know, like, even if it is a little bit off sometimes, I like to know which zombie my character is targeting, because sometimes it is very misleading. But it's all personal preference. And there are, like, very niche instances like that where you can't see the zombies behind vehicles and such. It's, like, really niche. It's not really worth mentioning, to be f to be honest. But it's nice being able to target them behind vehicles and stuff like that. In blind spots. And actually be able to see where they are. But yeah. Those aren't for guns, though. With, uh, your weird, with your games. Single play, like to keep things toned down and simple for multiplayer games. Yeah, give me all the information, yeah. The casual versus the competitive mindset. <laughs> uh, also, I did say I was going to go around, uh, loop back around west, didn't I? On every advantage you can get against other players, yeah. Hey, Leon. Hello, hello. But no. I'm like that with uh, all my single player games as well. If there's free information to be had, and it's actually important information, I want all of it. Give me all of the details. And even though the targeting and projects on boys are a little bit scuffed, the aim outlines are 9 times out of 10 accurate, so I do enjoy having that information. Did you see the new occupation outfits? I have not. Latest post? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Is there a new Thursday post? There shouldn't be a new one until tomorrow. Oh, oh are you talking about the, the hats and such? Is that what you're talking about? The Great Hat War. <laughs> Next, I think I saw some of their hats, like they got a military one and a few Halloween masks and such. New police outfit. Um, I don't know now. Nah. It's been a few days since I've gone through the first Lloyd posts. If you're on about like the different variations, like it's the same outfit but they just look slightly different. Yes, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. My bad, latest one. Oh, with with the masks. Yeah. No, I've I've read through that one. Yeah, they were talking about um vending machines and such. But yeah, right at the bottom they they showed a few of the masks and such. Yeah. Very spicy. New clothing items. Gonna be very interesting. 
The previous one was about outfits. Okay, I don't remember that one. Look at all the details. I'm almost over 2,000 experience now, but... I... Yeah, we'll switch to the spike bats. After we hit that 2,000 mark. Start leveling up the long blunts next. You can imagine the wave of new incoming players with the release of Bill 42. Oh yeah, there'll definitely be more. I mean, there's already, like, a huge influx of new players coming in, like, with the Steam Summer Sale, because Project Zomboy goes on sale all the time. But you always see a lot of new players during the Steam Summer Sale. It's always great. Always new survivors joining us. But yeah, I expect there'll be a, a huge bump when Build 42 gets released as well. Because you'll see a lot of old players come back as well, because at the moment, like, a lot of people have left uh, Zomboid for the time being. And it's not because they're, like, fed up with the game, it's just, you know, there hasn't been, like, any big updates for quite a while now, because they're obviously working on the next big build, so people are just taking a little bit of a break where they can. It is very quiet. New blood for the sacrifice. And Patrick's a new player. Happy days. Yeah, we'll start making our way back now, but we'll go through the industrial zone and just see if there's any, like, big numbers waiting for us. Also, did I just see someone? No. My imagination. Yeah, it looks like we'll be going further east tomorrow, because... I thought there might be a few stuck back here, but apparently not. It's very chill. That's good, though. Just means I will be... ...pretty much done with this side of town. We'll obviously come through and check it all again in the future, but this is fantastic. Pure imagination song in the PC background. And I'm going to embrace my inner Willy Wonka. Yeah, we're driving so slowly that if there are any zombies, they should be coming out to me. You know. But yeah, it's very chill. Oh, I see a couple of them. Low, low. How long on average? Oh, how long does it take you on average to kill 100,000? Maybe uh, some event for half a million. I mean, killing 100,000... It depends. Like, if I'm just going like this, where I'm just chilling out and just looking for, like, strays... It can take, you know, up to about, like, a month or so in real time. So, like, 20 plus streams. Um, but if I'm really going for it, and we're actively hunting down everyone, I can do it in about, like, 7 to 10 streams. So, 7 to 10 streams at about, like, 10 to 12 hours a pop. So, you know, about, like, a, upwards of about 100 hours. Or about two weeks of streaming. But, uh, it depends on, like, where we are. Like, are we in a very... dense area? Also, why are you not chasing me?
<laughs> but yeah, it depends where we are at, like what we're actually doing at the moment and what weapons we're using as well. No crowbar. I know, Ryo. I'm sorry. I have too many crowbars already. We're suffering from success. You're surprised by the amount of Steam Workshop items? Oh yeah, there's a ton. Ton of mods to choose from. Yeah, you remember when it was pixel-based? Oh god, yeah, before Build 41. And uh, earlier still, like before Build 30... Eh, I think it was 38, I think it was like far before 38, like pre, like, Alpha Build. It was like... It looks completely different if you look at like the original Alpha Build. And even still, if you look at like Build uh, 40 and such, like the Legacy Build. Why they all completely different die. art style. Yes. This, this was the, the work we were born, born for. Yes, everything has to die. We will kill all the things. But yeah, let me pick up the pace a bit, because I don't think we're going to find any zombies out here. It's very quiet. Uh, how dare you abandon the lonely well, crowbar? You're a better man than me. That's always been true. Yes, it has. I don't have to be better than you, though. You can join me on my crusade. We can all share in the glory. Everything dies. But no, I haven't abandoned the crowbar though. I left him with the zombie. So when the zombie despawns, the crowbar will go with him into the afterlife. You know. A kind and merciful god is I. <laughs> that crowbar will make it into Valhalla. It was a worthy opponent. Yeah, it's very chill, but yeah, tomorrow we'll go east. We'll go up through that way. I'll probably still go through the center of town, but yeah, we'll make an effort to go further uh, to the right side. That's the only place in town, really, that we haven't gone through, like, multiple times over. So that's the only real place I'm going to find, like, big numbers at this point. Hey, Matt. Welcome back. Hello, hello. My turning was very slow to react then. <laughs> it's like, no, master, I must. I must wrap myself around this tree. You don't understand. And it's capped you to 50, so I don't kill myself. <laughs> yeah, if I call myself a god instead of Jeremy's avatar, he'll get... You'll view me as a rival. Yes, I am definitely the apprentice in this relationship. Jeremy is the master. I am but a student. Jeremy will teach me his ways of murdering. The frog knows best. Jeremy Irons? No, Jeremy the Frog. Killer of zombies and consumer of souls. All hail the power of God King Emperor Jeremy. <laughs> As he stays in our fanny pack and he keeps us safe for all times, as long as we remain loyal. He sits on his little golden throne. <laughs> I'm a little bit late coming home, but I'm not too late. It's 
just change that one to five, just so I have enough time. He is the Messiah. I mean, Jesus said he would return. He didn't say what form he would take. He may look like a frog, but he is still all-powerful. Grab all of you. Appreciate the followers well mount. Let's get rid of this one. And get rid of those two. Yikes. As soon as we hit that 2000 experience mark, we'll switch over to the bats. We'll start leveling up the long blunt then. Although the weather is horrible today, so I'm just going to read my trapping volume 5, I think. Or volume 4, sorry. I'm pretty sure I have that one with me somewhere. Yep, there he is. So we'll wait, just read this one and wait for the storm to blow over. Just so it's visually just easier to see things. You never check Zed's bags? Not really. No. There's nothing really in the bags that I need. You know. Like sometimes, like on occasion, I check the survival bags. Like if I kill a survivor zombie, he's got like a big hiking bag or a large backpack. I might have a quick look inside. Uh, but generally, it's only ever going to be snacks, pens and pencils, or a map. That's usually all it is. Nothing like too relevant. Nothing that I really actually need. So, just to save myself some headache, I normally just don't pick them up. I just leave them. Yeah, we are good to go for the trapping again. And still gaining weight, but let me have another one. And we'll just waste the last bit of this day just by doing some reloading. Where are you? There you are. But no, you can find some good stuff in those backpacks, though. Like, you will, like... In the early stages, you'll always see me check them. Like, every, um... Every single zombie that I kill in the early stage of the game, I check everyone. For everything, you know? For better clothing, for weapons I can't see... If, I've, if they've got bags, I'll check them as well, but I'll hunt around for medication and such. But in the late game, it's like, none of that stuff is very useful anymore. Yeah, we'll probably end up doing this for the next two days or so while we wait for the storm to blow over. But that is a-okay. Just to get a little bit of reloading experience. Also, I can go to sleep again, finally. <laughs> reloading stream let's go i know it it's so it's such a small amount of experience that we're gaining gaining it's not even worth doing to be honest but i will start i must make an effort i must try and chip away even if i only get to level six reloading that's still like a tremendous fucking accomplishment <laughs> Now the zombies calm down for coming from the edge of the main... Oh, from the edge of the bit of the map to the main base. It looks like it. Like, we had a few at the start of the stream that we were luring out, but they... They stopped coming after a while, so I think we're good to go again. But who knows? They might have another second, like, another 
like third wind where they just all come back again. But it all seems clear for the time being. But at the moment we're just waiting out the storm. Because it'll only take a couple of minutes in real life because we're just going to fast forward through all of it. But it is nice to be productive as well. rain's dying down. Hopefully it was just going to be a very quick flash storm. But I doubt it. Normally picks up again in a minute. Well, the rain has stopped. Maybe we can go back to killing tomorrow. But normally it's like the eye of the storm. It normally picks up again in a minute. But we shall see. I should have an option for doing uh, some maintenance on your weapons. Won't repair them. You gain some experience by manipulating them. Yeah, they could. I don't know, they'd have to add, like... I mean, maybe the consequence of doing it would just be, like, the time that you're alloc allocating to that thing, but... I feel like if they're going to give you a way, like a free method to gain experience for a certain skill, there has to be some sort of cost associated uh, associated with it beyond just the time that you're investing. Like, there should be, like, a small chance to damage the weapon if you have, like, a low... Well, I mean, I assume you're doing that for, like, your maintenance. So there'd have to be, like, a low chance that you're going to damage the weapon slightly each time you do it if you're a low maintenance level already. But, you know, it'd be a method that you could gain maintenance experience outside of combat. But, no. But there are methods to gain maintenance experience. Like, little, little exploits and such. But, yeah, it would be nice to have something like that. How long would you say you've been working on the uh, last drink level? Oh, we've been level 10 for a really long time. Um, in like real life that is and in game for like over a year now but you can see on my character he's got 149,997 experience the passive skills so your fitness and strength they they have like a unique attribute to them so periodically you know every now and then you'll lose one experience in the skill um, but that's it you know and if you do pretty much anything, you know, if you do a bit of running while your inventory is half full or you hit a zombie or two, you'll instantly level back up again. So we've been level 10 fitness and level 10 strength for a lifetime, but yeah. If he loses that one experience, you know, <laughs> he instantly goes down to level 9 and then pretty much maxed out for the rest of it. But we'll go back to level 10 the second we uh, go back to fighting zombies again, which will be in the morning. Good gold stock. Hey, welcome back, Core. Yes, we are the richest and poorest man in Louisville. Or we'll live in the dream. Appreciate the follow as well, Axel. Yeah, that's enough reloading. Let's get some food. And low life as well. Let's get rid of that depression while we sleep as well. Because that takes time to kick in. Don't spear me! All the spears, everyone gets stabbed in the end. <laughs> None will survive. But yeah, there you go. Because my inventory is like over half capacity at least. Um, I gain strength experience while I'm walking and running. So, boom. Three experience done. Back to level 10 again. You bled out to a tree scratch. Oh, rip. Was it a neck wound? It sounds like it was a neck wound. Big sad. Yeah, the storm is finally gone, so... 
Let me just rebate my traps, because I have finished really my trapping volume 4. And then we'll go kill some zombies. Lower torso, forgot to change bandage. Got liquid blood as a negative trait. 300% extra bleeding damage, that is hilarious. Zombies have rights. Oh god, you sound like the ones from bloody Dead Rising 2. <laughs> you know, like in the prologue, when it's showing, um... Oh, fuck, what was his name? Chuck Green. You're, you're the main character. He's sat in the green room. He's, like, looking at TV, and you got all the protesters outside protesting, uh, the... Uh, the TV show Terror is Reality, because they have all, like, all the zombies and such. And they're like, zombies have rights! <laughs> You know, Zombrex mod where, yeah, you gotta find some Zombrex every 24 hours of where she turn. That would be a really cool mod, actually. You know, having to find a specific piece of medication every 24 hours. It would be a little bit tedious for a long game, but goddamn. That would light a fire under your ass to, uh... Make some pretty risky plays. If you've, uh, not got any Zombrex lying around. They have a mod for that. Is that actually a mod? That's awesome. I'll have to try that one at some point. Yeah, I should have known that. Of course that's a mod. Of course someone would have made that. The closest one I've seen myself was the one where you have to get... Uh, ...exponential kills. So every single day you have to kill more than the day previously. So if I were to kill, like, one zombie today, well, that means t tomorrow I have to kill at least two of them. And the day after that, I have to kill at least three of them. And then four and five, and, you know, maybe if I kill ten on one day, well, then I gotta kill eleven the next day. So eventually, you know, it gets to a point where you just can't maintain. You just can't get all those kills, and you would just die instantly. Because if you don't get the kill quota, your character just explodes. <laughs> and I love that. I love the sound of that mod. It sounds great. Appreciate the followers well click. Click clocks. Happy days. Yeah, let's have a very slow drive up north. I'm not in a huge rush to get a huge amount of kills. We just want to find anyone who's hiding. But we'll make our way east into the city today. And we'll go back towards the central areas where all the zombies are hiding. Zombies free hugs. Bunch of hippies. They all want the hugs. Appreciate the follow as well, slash. Happy days. I'll slash you off. Welcome in as well, Ban. Right. Yeah, it's very chilled out down here.
We really hope they are uh, first aid outfits. Fitting with the ambulance vehicle. I mean, they have nurses and such, and doctors, but yeah, it would be nice to have like more variety, because at the moment all the doctors wear like the same lab coats and such. Yeah, I am sure they'll add more in build 42. Because I mean, they've already shown off like some of the hats and such, and a few of the outfits, and they've also shown off some of the new vehicles. Or at least the new vehicle sprites, you know. I don't know if they're adding any new models yet. I don't think they've shown anything like that. But they have shown off, like, SWAT vans and stuff. Um, that's basically just a retexture of the step van. But yeah, it'll be interesting. See what they add. It's always fun having new toys to play with. EMT outfits, yeah, like something that's more like specific to the circumstances, yeah, because you wouldn't, <laughs> like, like you, come, you come to like a collision on the road, there's car, like car wrecks and all that stuff everywhere, lots of dead bodies, you find an ambulance and there's just a guy sitting there in a lab coat. <laughs> First responder outfits on the workshop, yeah. I'm sure that Peach has probably added some, like, EMT outfits, because, like, Peach and his authentic Z-Mod, like, goddamn, he's got, like, a fucking catalog of outfits. Like, you could scroll through that shit for, like, fucking hours. He's made so many outfits. His mod is fantastic. So many good things on there. Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, oh, is it Oguz or Ogs? No, either way, welcome on in. It's part of uh, Peach's mod, yeah. Maybe Britta's. Yeah, I'm not playing too much with Britta's. I keep meaning to try it again at some point, but I played it years ago, like back in like 2018-ish, when the mod was like incredibly overpowered. I've heard that he has done a lot of work on it, so it's no longer, like, super unbalanced. Like, you have a lot of more customization to it now. You can actually tailor it to your, your liking. Uh, but I've not tried it since, so... But yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Britta's. And it was really fun back in the day, but... It used to be really unbalanced, but you couldn't change any of the, any of the options back then. You just had all of the guns and all of the ammo. <laughs> If you're, only, uh, if you're the only person left alive, what's the purpose of surviving? Doomed to be the last of humanity. Because we must rage against the darkness. It is our destiny. We are all destined to die, but I will be damned if I go down quietly. I'm gonna scream, I am gonna flail, I'm gonna make it work for it. <laughs> I know my death is inevitable, but goddamn. I will make it fun for at least myself. There's a couple down there. It's still unbalanced, but you have options now. Yeah, I mean, at least you can customize it now. That's good. You want to get the game now? Oh, you definitely should. Sure. It's on sale battle. at the moment as well, so it's the best time for it. And this will be our horse. Ooh, the hell is this?
Any change in your, any of the options you want? Yeah, those are always, always the best mods, really. So, this mod gives you this new game mechanic that's been made from the ground up. Awesome. But they're also going to give you all these options so you can tailor it to exactly how you like it. It's like, oh, you are the best type of mod creator. I love you. <laughs> Appreciate the follows well. Uh, scarce loot. Happy days. Missed one. Well, you're a better man than me. I do try. That's always been true. Yes, it has. <laughs> Are you convinced that it's just your character having hallucinations? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's doing all the sound effects as well. That's why all the zombies come towards, like, his general location. He's just, like, shouting out, doing his best impression of a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> All the jump scare sounds are in your head, yeah. Right, we're over the 2000 experience mark now, so let's switch over to the long blunts. And we'll start leveling those ones up. You still get more deaf. Do you actually still get the jump scare sound effect when you're deaf? That's great. You can't eat anything else. <laughs> I still get the scare call. See, I always turn the jump scare sound off because I just don't like jump scares. Especially in this, like, a game like this. I just don't think it fits in well. That's code for I'm a bitch and I jump like no tomorrow. Especially with loud sounds. It's got that hardcore PTSD. <laughs> but yeah, I always, um, I'm so glad they added the option, uh, right there. I'm so glad they gave us that. I always turn mine off because I'm not a big fan of that. I think jump scares are fucking terrible to begin with, let alone in a game like this. <laughs> no jump scare in red outline. Meta. <laughs> yeah. I'm a weenie junior, you also- yeah, like, I'm just- I don't get along with jump scares. When you first uh, start playing, you'd accidentally hit Q constantly. Oh, when you got jump scared. Fair. Where that big old fucking L on my forehead, if it means I get to turn off the uh, the, the jump scare sound, I'll happily take that L. <laughs> so let me get rid of that jump scare sound. Not a fan. I have introduced myself to you. Have you introduced yourself? This is a very good conversation. It's a very good conversation. Hello, Biggie Balls. Howdy. And Lord as well. How goes the slaying? It's all good. Nice and chill. We're just leveling up some of our other weapons today. So we've done 2,000 experience so far on the long blades. So we're going to do 2,000 experience on the long blunts next. And then we'll probably switch over to the short blades. Maybe. All the short blunts. Yeah, today we're just leveling up other weapons.
Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, Toysa, hoping I'm getting that right. And El Bur Buracho. Buracho? I'm like horrible for pronouncing names. But I'm hoping I didn't ruin your names too badly. And Surge. Welcome on in. Uh, did he build or find the bat? Uh, we found the bat, and then we made it into a spike bat by pulling nails into it. Never managed to one hit. Uh, so we're one hitting because we are a very high strength level, and a very high long blunt level. Uh, where am I? There we are. So the amount of damage you deal uh, with your weapon is generally reflected on how high those two levels are. So if you want, like, a high attack speed, you're looking at fitness and your weapon level. If you're looking at high damage, it's your strength level and your weapon level. And if you're looking at durability, so how long your weapon lasts generally, it's maintenance and your weapon level. But because we're such a high level in everything, all of my weapons are very durable, all my weapons are very powerful, and all my weapons swing very fast. And welcome in the chat as well. Hello, hello. Uh, death prevents you from getting keen hearing. Yeah, same as taking, like, hard of hearing. The, uh, the traits contradict each other. You know, it's the same reason why you can't take very underweight and obese. And you don't. You can't take brave and claustrophobic. Or brave and cow yeah, cowardly. <laughs> the red outline is why I'm one tapping. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all in the outline. I never would have made it without the outline. Yeah, right, let me have a quick rest. Never would have oh, never made it that far. Oh, you'll get there. Uh, it's always best to like focus on one weapon first. You know, find whichever weapon you like the best, and then just focus, like, tunnel vision in on that one weapon for the most part. And try and level that one up as quickly as possible. Because for me, the we that weapon is always spears. That's always my go-to. But, um... When you get that one weapon at, like, a really high level, the game becomes so much easier. Because you just go around consistently one and two tapping everything, so... It takes, like, a tremendous number of zombies to actually overwhelm you at that stage. So you've got that we nuke in your pocket. The battle, and this will be our horse. More helicopters. Very spicy. Outline surf. <laughs> Literally hacking, I know. Shame on me. Might as well play K Island Adventure. <laughs> hey, okay. K Island Adventure is actually a very good game. Don't disrespect. <laughs> I will happily do a K Island adventure streamer but at some point. Ah, uh, what's the crazy placing a table on the ground while resting hack? So the devs haven't clarified on whether it's a hack, like, you know, an exploit or if it's by design, but at the moment um, if you see anyone who knows how to play the game, like who's been playing for quite a long time, generally you'll see everyone doing it. But if you sit on the ground, you regain lots of stamina. But if you also rest on like a chair or a table stool, you know, like a piano stool that is, or a bed, a sofa, you know, couch, anything like that, they basically stack with each other. So it's about 25% faster than just sitting down on the ground normally. But we carried the piano stool with us at all times, because it only weighs 2.0, so it's an incredibly light chair. It's the lightest chair in the game. So it just means I can rest faster while I'm out in the open. You know, I can get back to fighting a lot sooner. But yeah, the devs have, as far as I know, they've never said on whether it's a bug or if they did it by design. You know. Because we try to avoid bugs where we can, and we try to play the game as it was, like, intended, but... There's no yes or no on that at the moment. But we'll find out in build 42 anyway, because if it is a bug, they'll patch it out, you know, <laughs> inevitably. And if it's by design, then, you know, they'll probably add the animations to it where you can sit down on it properly uh, sometime in the future.
foldable cloth chair mod. Oh yeah, we need that hiking chair. That camping stool. Yeah, let's switch over and go to the main road now. Go on to the the main vein through the cities. I'm sure though we left plenty of zombies there from Monday. Yeah, it seems like a bug. Resting in the chair should be better on the ground. See, it's it's like it's kind of awkward because it's like if you have the chair. It makes sense that, you know, if I'm sat down on the ground and I rest on the chair, it makes sense that I'm regaining stamina faster by sitting and resting on the furniture. However, you can just rest on the furniture by just standing up normally. But resting on the furniture while you're standing is slower than sitting down on the ground. It's, it's really weird, because, like, the numbers don't make a lot of sense when you start trying to apply, like, real-world logic to it. So I don't know if it's just a game-balancing issue, or if it is actually a bug, or it's this, that, or whatever. But yeah, until the devs actually give a definitive answer as to whether or not it is a bug, or it isn't a bug, we're just gonna carry on using it. Because... Even if it was a bug, I'd still use the chair, because I want to see where my stamina's full. <laughs> so I would just do uh, the standing rest instead. i just stand next to the stool instead of sitting next to it. Most of you. Dad's too busy overhauling a perfectly serviceable fishing system and adding goats. A hey, okay. As hilarious as it is phrasing it like that, I want a new fishing system. Because <laughs> the fishing at the moment is is really powerful. Having a complete overhaul of the fishing system and making it harder is definitely needed to uh, put some of the game balance back in place because it is very easy to maintain your body weight and your hunger if you live right next to a water source at the moment. But yeah, it would be nice to have like some of those things like polished beforehand, but you know, I'm not going to bitch and moan about it. They know what they're doing. They have a roadmap and a plan, so I'm just going to let them do what they do and I will enjoy the game as and when they give me new toys to play with because... As long as the game's playable and it's still fun, I don't really care what order they add things into the game. They can do what they want, you know. I'm sure the game studio, the Indie Stone, after working on this game for about a decade plus, know a little bit more about game design than myself. <laughs> Just my intuition, like, speaking. You know, they probably know what they're doing. Just maybe. <laughs> so... I'll let them carry on. You do that in real life? Yeah, I mean, every... Uh, successful... Well, civilization built near water, didn't they? That's why, like, most capitals are, like, right next to the coast. Or right next to a major river that flows through. Turns out living right next to a water source is a big brain move. Here's a few more. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the fishing rework, though, because it'll make trapping more appealing. I think that's probably the best word for it. 
Because at the moment, fishing absolutely dominates trapping. It blows it out of the water for ease of access. But if fishing becomes more time-consuming, you'll see players like myself definitely, like, switch over and start brown-nosing the hell out of trapping. Because unless they rework trapping as well, I don't see fishing being top dog anymore. Like, I don't know what hunting and husbandry is going to be like, but fishing is definitely going to be second to trapping, I think. Hey, Jazzy. Appreciate the good lucks. Happy days. Just want to have a fun, oh, fun fishing minigame, yeah. I'm curious how it's going to work with spears, because they've shown off the fishing minigame with uh, a fishing rod, but I wonder how it's going to work with spears. Because with the fishing rod, the, the minigame was, you know, based around, like, reeling in the fish, but how is it going to work when you're just stabbing the water? Is it going to be, like, a quick time event where I have to, like, pay attention and, you know, get a, uh, a QTE every time I want to stab at a fish, or... Is it going to be the, the same minigame as the rod? So many questions. The ability to find weapons via fishing. <laughs> oh boy, I found an M16. Let me spearfish for the M16 magazine and some 5.56 rounds. <laughs> that would be quite funny. Like a gun. I mean, how long does a gun last if you throw it into a river? You know, any murderers in chat? Any criminals? You know, after you murder someone and you, you throw away the gun into a river, like, how long does it take for that stuff to, like, seize and rust over to the point where it's no longer able to be, like, reclaimed and used again? You joke, but that's exactly what I want. That's fair. Nice try, FBI. Fuck, it was worth a try. I'm gunning for that promotion. <laughs> Are they gonna add animal raising? They've got breeding. I, I don't know, like, how far they're taking it, like, on release. But they are adding, like, it looks like they're going for, like, long-term husbandry. So you can actually have a farm and breed animals and then raise those, uh, those calves and those little piglets and all that stuff up to be, you know, adults. But I don't know how much of that's going to be on, like, day one. I don't think they've, like, given any expectations as to how far they're taking it initially. But, yeah... But they had a fun issue. They were showing it off in one of the Thursdoid posts where the pigs were breeding too quickly, so they were just getting surrounded by piglets. <laughs> 30 to 50 wild hogs appear. But yeah. So they are they are adding that. So that'll be interesting. You lost all your guns in a tragic boating accident. Why would I want to be a good husband? Because everybody wants to get animal husbandry. Full time commitment to the animals. They will carry us into the end game. Could have appealed to the forensic scientists, but no, ask the murderers. Hey, the murderers have a lot more to lose if they get the answer wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to trust that they're worth even more, you know. There's less corrosion in fresh water than salt water? Yeah, that makes sense. So, I mean, what is the Ohio River? I don't know American geography too well. Like, is the Ohio River like a freshwater river or is it a saltwater river? I'd imagine it's a freshwater river, right? Just taking a stab in the dark, you know, 50 50 guess. At least if I get it right, I look big brain. It's fresh water. Yeah, I knew that. 
definitely didn't guess. I'm just very intellectual, you know. I know my, I know my lakes and my rivers. Hogs are a problem in Texas. They breed too quickly. If you were breeding them uh, for food, it seems ideal. Next, I just remember that bloody meme. It was, uh, I don't know what, like, the entire debate or conversation was around, but it was a congressman, I think he... I think it was a congressman. And they were justifying why they need automatic weapons, and he was like, what if you get ambushed by 30 to 50 wild hogs? And it's like, shit, that sounds like a very American situation. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard that you guys have issues with uh hogs breeding too quickly don't you i think it's like more of a southern issue i think like i don't know too much about it it's not really my thing but um i just found it funny like why do you need this like automatic weapon fucking hogs man <laughs> people breaking and entering my house i don't give a shit about that no you give me a fucking bolt action for that or a pump shotgun but no hogs no you give me that artillery i need that heavy firepower <laughs> we don't fuck around with hogs Appreciate the follow as well, Bob. Happy days. Can you win this game? Depends what your definition of win is. If you want confetti cannons and the game to give you a big back rub, uh, no. If by winning you mean having fun as the game, like, kicks your rotting corpse after you die really, like, in a really embarrassing manner, absolutely. All the zombies. Let's grab a few of you. Not too many, because we are using bats at the moment. Hogs don't have a restriction on hunting. It's that bad, is it? Rip. Appreciate that three as well, Reach. Happy days. Wild hogs are tanks that fear no god. They will rush you. So we don't really have anything like that in the UK, so I cannot relate. But it sounds like having one hog charging is like, nah, that's fine. It's a hog. Guess it won't be that bad, but the idea of 30 to 50 wild hogs rushing me. <laughs> it's like, shit. I haven't played enough video games to prepare for like such a specific scenario. I need to play some more, like, Clash of Clans before I'm ready for that. Can you eat hog? I assume so, it's just wild swine, isn't it? Don't see any reason why it wouldn't be edible. Appreciate the followers well reach. Happy days. Yeah, 30 to 50 sounds like a serious sad moment. <laughs> it's like, it's not bad enough to be, like, Doom guy worthy, but serious sad, absolutely. A hawk and gore fairly pretty well. I mean, I'm not planning on fighting the fucker in hand-to-hand -hand combat. If I get rushed by a random animal, and standing my ground isn't an option, you're goddamn right I'm gonna try and outrun him. I mean, how far is gonna hogs run? I know there's like, like, animals are like, surprisingly quick, you know? Surprise, surprise, but how fast can a hog actually go? Can I outrun a hog? <laughs> is that an option? If I wanted to like, just dip, can I just outrun the hog? Surprisingly quick. I imagine they're like, pretty fast. But I mean, they're hogs, they can't climb. Just give me a big old tree that I can just take a nap in. Hogs have bad eyesight. I didn't know that. Yeah. Your cougars, man lions. Oh, you got fucking everything in the States. Yeah. Like, the United States in terms of wildlife is like that middle ground where 
you started in the UK, like Tutorial Island, where there's like pretty much nothing lethal. You got a bearing for the game, you understand how it works, so you move over to the United States. That's like normal difficulty, you know. There's a little bit of PvE, bit of PvE as well, plenty of wildlife, and then when you want to go to the extreme end, that's when you go to the like Australia. <laughs> it's like, no, everything wants to kill you now. The environment sucks, the animals suck, everything sucks. But no, I'm gonna stay in the UK on Tutorial Island, where our most lethal animal is a cow. That's where I will stay. Only the farmers need worry about the wildlife. <laughs> Lucille. Yeah, we swapped out the barbed wire for nails. Just as good. <laughs> Ranked competitive hunting, Australia. Have you seen natural disaster in the United States? Oh yeah, that's self-inflicted though. If you built your entire city on a fault line, like, <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> Don't scare me. But no, the states do have some pretty fucking wild weather, because you got everything over there, haven't you? You got earthquakes, you got tornadoes, get all those cheeky hurricanes as well. But no, I appreciate the follow as well, uh, Ferry. Happy days. Yeah, alligators can reach 35. Really? I didn't think alligators could go that fast. And that is surprisingly quick. Is that underwater or on... Oh, no, you put on land as well. Goddamn. Like, underwater is like, yeah, sure, I can believe that. But on land, that's fucking fast. I'm not sure if I even believe you. <laughs> like, like, shit. That alligator is taking some speed. He's taking those performance-enhancing drugs before he comes for you. He's loading up on all those buffs. And then you googled it as well for... Yes. This is the work we were born for. Also, that channel redeem is very quiet. I think I'll up the volume on that one. But yes, this is the work we were born for. Yeah, let me just up the volume on that one. He's a new redeem, so he's a little bit quiet. Where are you? Uh, there he is. Yeah, that should do. That'll be a little bit better now. Oh, they can only do short distances. So they can. Oh, okay, so they lunge like incredibly fast, but yeah, they can't sustain it very long. Well, that's a little bit more promising, then. <laughs> yeah, any natural... Dis yeah, because America just has a little bit of everything, don't you? You know. Yeah, the UK is very much not like that. The UK is very chilled out in terms of wildlife and weather. Like, we get some pretty bad storms coming in from, like, the Atlantic, coming up from the south, but... They're never, like, that bad, you know? Nowhere near on the same level as the States. It's pretty chill, honestly. I think the worst we get over here is just, like, some major flooding every now and then, but nothing, like, too bad. <laughs> Animals are scary because they build muscle by exercise. Oh, not by exercise, just surviving every day. That is a pretty good way to put it. Like, this is not a workout for them. This is just general day-to-day -day survival. <laughs> like, oh, oh no. This is their normal difficulty. Oh, 
I got the man eating rabbits. Yeah, gotta look out for those ones. But normally, there are some kind travelers, normally by the name of Tim, passing by, who will give us some helpful words as well. You're a legend. Hey, appreciate the compliments. And I love you too. <laughs> you like pissing distance from friends. You know, there aren't always pros and cons to every location. <laughs> yeah. Saw a video on YouTube recently. It's like a perfect depiction of like English and French history. It's like, you are stupid. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. And it's like, yeah, that does pretty much sum up the last few centuries between the two countries. <laughs> Good old American tornadoes. You, know, you get some pretty fucking wild ones over there. So where do you even get your tornadoes? Cause I always like see videos of like tornadoes in the states, but whereabouts do those actually happen? Like, if you were gonna like pick like a general area, like north, south, west, east, or like central, like where do you normally get your tornadoes? You know, give me that juicy, juicy detail. So I'd like, if I ever visit the states, I know, I know which ones to avoid. <laughs> Midwest, Central, South, fair. Uh, so, I'm not going anywhere near Texas, and all the other ones, because I don't know any other Central ones. <laughs> yeah, avoid the Center, avoid the South, got it, nice. South and Midwest, fair. Uh, they call it Tornado Alley, fair. Uh, So even uh, rogue tornadoes that hit a lot of places like New York. Oh, see, every time someone says New York, I always think the city, not the state. <laughs> I can't imagine a tornado. Like if I imagine, if I'm thinking of a tornado in like the middle of New York, I'm thinking like more uh, like the day after tomorrow type stuff. Appreciate the follow as well, Evil Bane. Well, come on in. Pretty sure the tornado did hit New York City. Really? God damn. That is spicy. Is uh, middle America, but it's actually a way better place to live in the cities these days. Fair enough. I'm more of a country bumpkin myself. I like, uh, I do like being in more rural areas rather than urban. I'm not a big fan of cities. I like being out in the countryside. It's more chill, more quiet. I'm gonna ignore those Sharknadoes. Ah, yes. The famous documentary. I cry every time. Thank god he jumped into the mouth with a chainsaw, though. He saved us all.
Do you remember that building from your PZ run? Hey, good stuff. Which one? Well, like the town... Like, well, no, I was going to say town hall, but I mean the bank. Clearly, I don't know where I am. <laughs> the Meg plus Sharknado, oh, Sharknado crossover win. Only if they can secure Lee, uh, not Liam Neeson, uh, bloody... Fuck, I've actually forgot his name. Shame on me. <laughs> oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Fucking... I forgot his name. It's been so long since I've actually watched one of his movies. Uh, Jason Statham, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. If they get Jason Statham, we'll make the crossover happen. Yeah. Let me ditch all of you, because I need to go home and get some sleep, because it's almost 11 o'clock. And we'll come back out here tomorrow and pick up where we left off. Uh, he just died when playing vanilla. Is that Pop Peak Day 28? Do they walk from somewhere else, or do they just spawn on the time on day 28? No, so they spawn every three... Well, if you're on vanilla, that is. They spawn every three days, so every 72 hours. But they only spawn in areas that you haven't been to for 16 hours, so... Like, for example, I'm driving up and down this road, so I've seen this area. So, if I had respawns enabled, the zombies can't spawn in this area for, like, the next 16 hours. But, um, yeah, it, it procs every 72 hours in game time. And it's always 10% of the maximum population for that area. But, yeah, they'll never pop up, like, right next to you or anything like that, if that's what you're thinking. But yeah, the peak day is just slowly increasing, like, the maximum limit for all the all the zones on the map. So, you know, if you had, like, peak day... Well, if you had your peak day the day 28, and your peak day modifier was going to be, like, you know, uh, 1.5 pop instead of having uh, 1, you know. Let's say a tile had 100 zombies. Well, over the course of 28 days, that tile is going to go from having a maximum of 100 zombies to 150 but it's just going to progressively like slowly build up to that each and every day every minute How long have you been playing this character real time? Well, according to Ali, who has been kind enough to go through all my VODs and add up all the time, we've streamed this run for 701 hours, more or less. So that includes, like, the five minute waiting time at the start of the stream, all the breaks I take, all the pausing, all of that stuff, but all the fast forwarding and all the gameplay as well. So, 701 hours of streamed gameplay, but it's probably only like 690 of actual played. Like, if you accounted for all the breaks, it probably only adds up to like 10 hours or so. Can I watch uh, day one somewhere? Yeah, if you type an exclamation mark, uh, VODs. VOD, VOD or VODs, I always forget which one it is. I think it's VOD. But yeah, if you type in VOD, that will give you the playlist, and you can watch this run from day one. It's all there. Uh, You got stuck in the animation lock and got bitten? Ah, oh, rip. Condolences. They got sucked into a narrow neck jug and was still alive. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I don't believe that. 
That sounds like something that someone set up on purpose just for like shits and giggles. I don't believe that one. Screws and wire. my time set to uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get trails here so let me just give you an extra 30 minutes just in case chickens gonna live considerably long with no heads records night oh 18 months but what what are they what are the well fuck <laughs> fuck what's the word what are the words I'm looking for and what's the order <laughs> Like, what are the, like, pre uh, prerequisites for it to, like, be alive? Like, what are they going off? Like, are they going off, like, just its heart beating, or, like, what? For, like, the class, the chicken is still being alive. And, like, are they, like, artificially keeping it alive as well, or are they just, like, cutting off its head and letting, letting it do its thing? And how much of its head is still allowed to be intact? I have so many questions <laughs> regarding that. Mike the chicken, it was artificial. Okay, so it didn't actually stay alive on its own then. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, that is fucking wild if that's a thing. But no, that's... that's funny. It slides the head off, uh, but some part of the brain stayed. Okay, so they didn't actually cut off its entire head or anything like that. They just kind of mutilated the fuck out of it and gave it, like, a lobotomy. Cruel as fuck, but interesting regardless. Spicy times. Oh, let me get some food. Still kind of cool. Yeah! No, I am impressed. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see it myself, personally, but no. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know how to pull something like that off. It's like a really morbid magic show. <laughs> and I'm assuming there was a purpose behind it as well, so fair play. The bearded dog was totally wet. Yeah, that was the Russians that did that one, wasn't there? I've seen that clip. I think. I'm pretty sure that one was real. The, uh, the Russians reanimated a dog head, didn't they? Appreciate the follow as well. Slightly irresponsible. Then you will die braver than most. Very appropriate channel redeem. <laughs> it's like, I'm only a little bit irresponsible. Yes, then I will die braver than most. Oh, what a life it shall be. So it's also made a two headed dog. Bye, you see. I'm interested to find out the reason why. Like, I'm assuming there was a reason beyond shits and giggles, but... <laughs> yeah, I can't say I've read too much about that. The base is different, I'm scared, I know. There have been improvements. The base expands. She grows exponentially. The aesthetics, the hedges, all the shrubbery. Medical research, yeah, that's fair, that makes sense. Looks like it's going to be a day of fog. Very spicy. You have to experiment. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not against it. As long as there's an actual purpose behind 
the experiment. No, A-OK. -okay. Do I feel sorry for the animals afterwards? Yeah, of course I do, but, you know, there are, like, necessary evils that have to be done to, like, get a greater understanding of how things work. And unfortunately, it's a lot easier to understand how something works when it's live. But no, I will leave that for smarter people than myself, because I'm not intellectually gifted enough to actually understand half of that stuff. Appreciate the pause as well. Death of a strawberry and death proof. <laughs> I feel like uh, the strawberry is behind the account of death proof. You cannot kill the strawberry. If you don't try to reanimate a dog head, how do you know if you can? Exactly. Gotta ask the big questions. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore these two, because I want to get back to where the larger groups are, so we can actually get some, like, proper kills each day. You saved countless lives. Some miles, uh... Nothing for such achievement. Yeah. Don't feel bad for a dog. Oh, how dare you. Dog person for life. We eat thousands of animals. I know. I'm just very biased. Is there a difference between eating a dog and a cow? Absolutely not. Do I feel bad for the dogs, though? Of course I do. I grew up with dogs. <laughs> I grew up on a fa in a farm with cows as well, but they don't get my sympathy. No. Incredibly biased. Completely illogical, but no, I love dogs. I do like them. Yeah, what makes dogs special is cute. Fucking right it is. <laughs> is going on in this chat are oh, weird conversations but yeah it's not a serious conversation though just to layer that one on top we're not going to get into a political or moral discussion about which animals are right to eat and what science experiments are immoral we're not going to go down that rabbit hole keep it light <laughs> keep it chill If dog tastes different, uh, taste. Oh, if dogs taste better, you'd feel different. I mean, I've never had dog before. I would be against trying dogs. You know, I'll try anything once. But I have no idea what a dog tastes like, so no comment. I have no opinion on which one tastes better. But I have had many a burger in my day, and I can say that beef is like a 10 out of 10. You know, you give me a cheeky patty, cheeky steak, I will not complain. Everybody be cool and they're raising all the guns on. Be cool, be cool, okay? No judging. No judging what we eat. <laughs> also, I was hoping this would go all the way through to the other road. Apparently not. What are we getting smaller cows as pets? We well, already have smaller cows. They're called calves. Unfortunately, they grow up to be adults, though, so... The cuteness. The cuteness doesn't live forever. It's like those people who buy micro pigs thinking they're actually going to stay small forever. It's like, no, it's literally just a pigler. <laughs> it's literally just a baby pig. Do you grill? Unfortunately, I do not grill. I am a terrible cook. I consume the grilled food. I do not cook it. I will leave that for more talented chefs than myself. I'll stay in my lane. I'm a consumer, not a cooker. I bet some of those burgers have horse in them. Oh, no doubt, yeah. Buy those Tesco burgers, get a cheeky bit of horse in there. <laughs> we had burgers on the 4th. Fourth, uh, fourth party at work. 50% beef, 50% venison. Smoked was real good, I can imagine. God, you're making me hungry. Appreciate the gifted as well, night. Happy days. <laughs> Let him cook. 
No, the only cooking I do is in Project Zombo, and the cooking I do in real life is incredibly basic. If you don't grill, <laughs> if you didn't grill yesterday, you're on a real American. Well, suddenly I feel very patriotic to be a British man, because there was no grilling in my day. You smoke six racks of venison ribs. Not much on them, but tasty. Nice. The kicking, kicking you do in PC is also very basic. A, hey, okay. It is very advanced compared to what I do in real life. My food is incredibly simple. I'm a very easy man to please. You make me a sandwich from scratch? Fuck it, hell, I will die for you. <laughs> that is some gourmet shit right there. Like, damn, I am far too low a class to eat such fine dinery. Like, my god. Cutlery, too? Ooh, how you do spoil me. You're the only one who cooks pasta in the blood. Yeah, that is far too Italian for me. Like, that actually sounds like actual cooking. <laughs> Please, sir, back away. I'm too British for such fine food. Get back, sir. Get back with your level 10 cooking skill. <laughs> Boil water, put in salt and fish. It looks edible. Boom. Done. Salt for flavor. Sorted. That is a meal right there. <laughs> Somebody else poured water for the <laughs> boiled the water for my noodles. Hey, okay, you you don't understand how big of a deal that is. Get back with your level ten cooking skill. Hey, I'm over here with my level two. Okay, I'll fend you off. <laughs> You think English food is universally the worst food on earth? Ah, that's just wrong. You know why? Because most of the English food comes from outside of England. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself in confusion. Most of our good food comes from France and Italy. <laughs> and all the Turkish kebab shops and the Chinese. Most of our good food isn't from this country. It's the most patriotic British thing, like, any British town or city can do, and that's import all the good food from elsewhere. <laughs> Bangers and mash A, okay? You can't go wrong with, it, like, a traditional English breakfast. You give me some fucking beans. You can give me some, like, buttered toast. You give me some of that bacon, some of that sausage. Now I'm having a very good time. Roll on like at least two eggs. Maybe three. But you give me a minimum of two eggs with that as well. And we're golden. And there's still zombies falling from the upper floors. Very spicy. There goes another one. I don't want to go too close to it for that reason. <laughs> I don't want a zombie to land right next to me. But yeah, that'll do for now. 
It's bangers and mash. Uh, breakfast food. Oh, yeah. Well, not bangers and mash, you know. You leave out the potato and, yeah. You got the stars of an English breakfast. But yeah. Bangers and mash is just an English breakfast, but for the evening. You cannot change my mind on that. It's literally just an English breakfast, but with potato. <laughs> The closest death you can remember on this run. The closest one was when we actually died because of a bug. <laughs> like, that's the closest we've actually had. You know, actually dying. Because glitches are going to glitch. But outside of, like, the game being a little bit of a buggy mess, uh, we haven't had any actual real close calls. We haven't been grabbed once yet. We haven't been tripped by the zombies. We haven't been grabbed by the zombies. We have no injuries from zombies. We're on a perfect run in terms of, like, an actual, like, player skill. But yeah, we have had the incident. But if you want to see that one, it's exclamation mark ground jank for the clip of that. That was very, uh, very, well, spicy is the only way to call it. But yeah, you can see them do a ground attack when there are no ground zombies, which is a little bit peculiar. Come back. Yeah, the central road is looking very clear, though. You should have 3% sprinters, so you never know when you're going to get a feral who wants to want your nuggets. See, we're not going to do that on this run, but for the next long-term game, I would like to start adding sprinters in on a regular basis. Because I love killing Time 16 Shamblers, but... When it gets to this stage in the game, there's not really that much that can kill me outside of the game being a buggy mess or me letting my guard down near a blind spot. So having sprinters would always, like, have a constant threat, or, like, overhanging. So I wouldn't be against that. But yeah, we won't be doing it on this run, though, because it's already, like, we're already nearly three years in. But when Build 42 comes out and we start a brand new long-term game, I would like to have, a, like, a minimum, like, 1% sprinters. You know, at the very least. It's still on time 16 as well, so we should have, like, plenty of them. Are you going to in your build 42 run? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, cause I'm at the stage now, like, because I've been playing the game for so long. Even though Time 16 is very spicy and has a lot of zombies with the integration and all that stuff, beyond, like, the first, like, two months of, like, doing the initial grind for skills, there's not really all too much challenge beyond just committing to such a long run. So I would like to have some extra threat, because when Build 42 comes out, we'll go back to doing the ultra-sweaty runs as well. Because on this one, it's, like, pretty chilled out, pretty casual. But we normally run things like the ridiculously rare, even worse loot mod, disinfect or die, blood scent, um, toxic fog. The integration is normally a little bit worse as well. And then the even worse car conditions. Things of that variety, which just made the game a little bit spicier. But, um, we haven't got any of that on for this run, so we didn't think we'd be going on for this long. But yeah, I would like to go back to playing with all those mods. You know, and adding some sprinters on top of it as well would be a bit spicy. Chamber stop being a threat after a while? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sprinters never stop. Yeah, it doesn't matter how high level your character gets. Sprinters are always, like, pretty fucking dangerous in, like, small groups. Because you can only really do two sprinters at once, consistently. Anything more than that, it just becomes, like, 
like you can kind of push it up to like three if you know what you're doing but even then it's still like down to luck sometimes because two you can do reliably but when they when you put that third one in or more than three they have to be like so perfectly spaced apart and you have to have fast enough swing speed to juggle them perfectly that you just can't do it consistently and you can't rely on that you know, the best you can hope for is to get your combat level high enough so you don't have to juggle them and you can just one-tap them as they come in. But, um... Yeah, we don't really get runs that go on all that long with sprinters. Like, the most I've ever done with sprinters was 4300. Which I know it sounds like a lot, but, like, compared to this, it's not that many. <laughs> so, yeah. I would like to start adding more sprinters in, though. Make things a little bit spicier. Yeah, even if you know how- yeah, like Beanster says, like Bonsai says. Even if you know how to juggle three, like, if you do like all the shoulder bump stuff and all that stuff, if one trips, it throws off your rhythm completely. Yeah. From the- Like, I can see doing two consistently, even with trips, like, two is like- You can do that quite easily. But, I've tried testing it with three, like, every which way, and unless you're doing, like, the shoulder bump exploit, you can't really do three consistently without something going wrong. Whether it's because they're not spaced out evenly, or you miss time a swing, or one of them trips over, it's like something goes wrong every single time. And you could do it in the short term, but I don't see it being, like, a long-term uh, method. Also, have I spawned the zombies into this one yet, or not? So I don't know if we have. See, if we, if we haven't, I'll clear this one out now. Also, how populated? Uh, fire station east of Louisville. You know, I don't actually know that one off by heart. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't imagine it's too many because the fire station isn't that big. Like it's a relatively small building. I reckon, well, like 20, maybe like 20 plus. Like it's more or less the same size as the one in Rosewood. So I don't imagine it'd be any worse than that really. 20 plus. Yeah, like, on the worst end of it. Like, on the extreme end. But I don't reckon it'd be more than that, honestly. I reckon it's gonna be very similar to Rosewood. You know, sub-10. As an average. But, honestly, I don't know. I've only cleared out that building once, and I wasn't paying attention at the time. That was a lifetime ago. doing in Silent Hill. I'm just looking for Pyramid Head so I can kick the shit out of him. You know. I wanna... I wanna kick my subconscious ass. <laughs> yeah, the bean is sniping me. The bean is sniping. The bean stir is everywhere. Yeah, I think we've already cleared this one. Nothing they've already spawned in in the past. It is... Incredibly quiet. Yeah, let's drive eastward then, and let's see what we find down that way. Yeah, because I've still got like 1300 experience left to get before we move on to a different weapon type. Yeah, boy. Hello, hello.
Yeah, we'll make a little trip down this road as well, because I haven't been down that one yet, apparently. Let's have a quick gander. See if there's anyone lurking. Isn't it ridiculous that your melee skills are maxed out after forge a thousand? No, it's pretty fair to be honest. Like we we could have maxed everything out like well under like three hundred thousand if we wanted to, but the bulk of them were done with spears. So you know you, you have to remember that when I maxed out my spears, I just carried on using spears for a really long time, and uh, we only use these weapons like once in a blue moon, just because for what we're doing, they're all like subpar compared to the spears for like killing like the most amount of zombies but uh yeah we could have done it a lot sooner but because they're all a lot slower we tend to avoid them for the most part until I get like you know until I feel like leveling them up but, yeah but they do take a long time like they all take about t like well, with fast learner about 25 30 thousand kills each to get to level 10 so, it's not as bad as what you think it is. It's still, like, a lot of kills, but it's not too bad. It is very quiet. And hopefully the fog dies down soon as well, so I can, uh... actually see where I'm going again. <laughs> Probably could have maxed out spears three times over. Probably. Cheeky bit of ABBA. Surrender. Right, let's let the van gather some zombies for me, and I'll just chill out back here for a minute. Hopefully the fog will disappear soon, because so it's gone 1600, so either the fog is going to like hang around for like a few more hours, or it should start disappearing soon. But we are still in March, so it might hang around for the entire day. Hopefully not, though. And 
apparently there weren't that many more to kill either. <laughs> Fucking nobody here. Very chill. You okay? Just admiring himself in my wing mirror. Spicy. Right. But I haven't been down this road yet, so let's have a little gander. You can carry on furniture all the time. Oh yeah, if it's... As long as it's not over-encumbering you, you know, you'll be fine. But you don't have to hold furniture in your hands. You can just have it sat in your main inventory, like this. So we always carry around a chair with us, but preferably we always carry around a piano stool, because it is a chair, and it is the lightest one in the game. So it allows us to rest a little bit faster while we're out in the open like this. You know, just fight, get exhausted, throw down my piano stool, sit down, rest. It takes a couple of seconds in real life, and then boom, we're back at it again. And then we can go back to murdering things. Yeah, it looks like the fog is clearing up, I think. I think it's going. It might just be wishful thinking, though. Nah, it's definitely going. Yes, the good old piano stool. You always have one on you as well. Nice. Do you have a name for yours? We call ours a Rebecca. Because <laughs> you gotta have a name for, like, something that's so valuable to your heart. You gotta have respect for your supports. You call yours Baz? Fair. Happy days. Let's murder all these people. And welcoming Matt as well. There's still that one guy in Silicon Valley used in his in the workplace would be strong. But how much would it weigh? That's the real question. Can I carry it under one arm? Like Shrek with Fiona? <laughs> Do I look graceful as I carry it? Do I get style points? Appreciate the follow as well, Darnell. You call yours Jamal. Fair. <laughs> and true kill as well. Well, come on in. I knew here. It's the, uh, the bar at the bottom mean this character's been alive all that time. Killed all the zest. Yeah, so that's this character's survival time in the bottom left. And this character's total kill count. But they're the same stats as he has on his usual info tab. But we have it at the bottom just so you guys can always see exactly what I'm on. Without having to ask me every five minutes. Because <laughs> sometimes it's a bit of a pain. Because it's like, oh god, I can't open my health tab right now because I'm in the middle of a fight. But yeah, it's always there. And it updates every 10 minutes in game time. What's with the search area thingy? Uh, it's been a while since you played. Is it a mod or a new mechanic? Oh, so the... Like, I don't know when the last time you played was, but back... Uh, part way through the I will back at my safe beta branch for build 41, they reworked foraging. So, you probably remember it as you would right-click on the ground in, like, a woodland area, and you'd start foraging, and your guy would just crouch down in that one spot and start scooping the ground. You know, the same way, like, fishing works. You know, you have that little progress bar above your head, and you just, you know, grab whatever items you were after. And then, you know, you deplete the area, and you move on to the next one. Same as fishing. Now, you have a foraging tab, or the search window. So, 
instead of just scooping the ground randomly, you have a list of things that you can actively look for, you know, depending on which area you are, because depending on which environment you're in, there's different odds to find specific items. And you actually have to walk around now and actively look for things. So if I'm looking for stones, uh, for like chip stones, for example, to make like stone axes or stone knives or something of the sort, you know, I can try my luck walking on roads, which have a really good chance at spawning stones, and then I can right-click on the item, and I can discard it, or I can pick it up, and then I've got that item then. But that's how foraging works now. You actually have to walk around and actively look for things. But it is still RNG-based, you know. The best you can do is uh, prioritize searching in areas that have, you know, the, the best odds for finding certain items. So, you know, roads are going to have lots of stone. Woodlands are always going to have lots of, like, stone, vegetables, mushrooms, crops, and all that type of stuff, and uh, tree branches and wood. Farmlands are always going to have, like, vegetables, all that farmland crop. And then urban environments are normally going to have lots of trash, so that's, like, finding tools and stuff like that, and, you know, non-perishable food, things of that variety. But yeah, foraging's a lot more fun now, I think. It's more hands-on. You actually have to participate. And then fishing is getting the same treatment in build 42, but that is yet to come. Appreciate the followers well, Green. Happy days. So awesome. It's really good, yeah. It's really good. And banana hand. Happy days. That's okay for the time being. Way more interesting than gauging. Yeah, because it used to be, like, really easy to get, like, tons of chipstone and stuff. Um, to make spears and all that good jazz when it first got implemented. But it was really boring, you know. It's the same with, like, fishing. You'd spend, like, five minutes, well, two minutes or so in real time just scooping the ground, and then you'd have enough stone to last you for, like, the next few days, if not the next couple of weeks. But... Having to actually look for stuff now, it takes a lot longer, but it's actually more fun, you know. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the fishing rework that they're doing, so that's getting the same treatment. It's getting its whole, a whole mini-game added to it, which is going to be really fun. Focusing on mushrooms is best for hunger. Yeah, if you've got like the herbalist right, or you've got the traits, you know, definitely. Mushrooms are splendid. Like the new foraging. Uh, sometimes I'll make the character... Oh, you'll make your character and get as much foraging as I can. Just to see how long I can survive on it, yeah. Yeah, foraging's good fun. Like, really the only thing that foraging struggles with is uh, maintaining body weight. You know, because... You can maintain your body weight a little bit if you get lucky finding enough... Uh, non-perishables in the city, but you generally... are gonna start to lose weight if you try and rely on foraging exclusively. That's really its only weak point. But yeah, I can find you all the tools in the game, all the weapons, all the food, all the clothing, all the miscellaneous items. Like, pretty much everything that exists in the game you can find in with foraging, which is uh, pretty spicy. Appreciate the follow as well, Major. Happy days. Uh, what's the focus right now? Uh, in general, just killing zombies today. So I'm just leveling up my weapons a little bit further. So at the moment I'm trying to put 2,000 experience on all of my weapons. So I've got just over a thousand more for my long blunts. And then we'll probably switch over to either short blades or short blunts. And we'll start doing some work on those ones. Just getting myself a little bit closer towards level 9.
best on solo or with other people? Uh, so we're on solo currently. And I normally only play solo. Like once on a blue moon I do a little bit of multiplayer, but I am very much a lone wolf with Zomboid. I do like being alone for the most part. <laughs> went clubbing there'd be disco music uh, i'm not really one for clubs but there is a club not so far away from where i went to college called fever because obviously it's called fever it's got to have a nightclub name but in the back of that one they have like a 80s and 70s themed room that just plays nothing but oldies and that is where i would always go because the the main floor was always you know up to date like actual dance music? No, but no. Give me some of that fucking ABBA. <laughs> Give me some of that. Give me some of that 70s and 80s. I'll be happy. Just chilling and vibing back there in the booths. But yeah, I'll have to grab all those zombies in a moment and pull some shenanigans because I need my van back. Preferably sooner than sooner rather than later. Appreciate the sub as well, Banana. Happy days. It's almost 10 o'clock, so let's pull some shenanigans and get my van back. In hindsight, I shouldn't have left it on this road. It's a little bit of a narrow pass. Because there are a lot of you. And let's try and grab the majority of you. Yeah, just make sure most of you make it around this corner. A little bit of Alice Cooper to kick off the morning. Nothing but good music. Right, but that should be spicy enough. Try and make sure they all follow me down this way. Just buy me some time. Yeah. It may be a case of me running back home today. Maybe. I'm past as fuck, boy. Out of my way. Hey, they're all stupid. They all followed me. They all have the dumb. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have parked on this road. It's a little bit narrow. Makes it hard to maneuver and get back to vehicles. <laughs> One millet of I refuse. No fire. Only melee weapons. <laughs> I refuse to use fire. 
No, we will do this the old way. We will do this the right way. Our war is a good and just one. We will die with our honor and integrity intact. But yeah, we'll come back for all of those guys tomorrow. Well, let's go get some sleep, get some food. All that good jazz. Then you will die braver than most. So be it. This is the way. To understand why they all must die. Yes. Yes. And this this is, the work is the work we were, we were born, born for. Isaac the hype man. Fucking love him. He's so good. <laughs> I need more clips of Isaac on um on the channel. I need the one where Isaac is talking to the philosopher and he's just there, have a berry. <laughs> I need that for if we do a foraging build sometime. <laughs> just living out in the woods, just foraging berries all day. Have a berry. That's what I need. This was not our destiny. And times have changed. Times change. I will make all the adjustments to justify having more Isaac in my in my stream. Isaac was definitely one of the better characters in Castlevania. I did like his story arc. It ain't easy being cheesy. Super cheesy. And all the snow. Yeah, yeah, straight drive all the way south now, all the way home. So I can pick up the pace a little bit. So I have, well, preferably only 30 minutes until I have to get into my bed. I like to be asleep by midnight, ideally. How's it going? Definitely not Jimmy Carr. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fuck off, I don't sound anything like Jimmy Carr. My god. I find him funny, but don't don't give me his laugh, okay? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh no good stuff. Gonna welcome back crazy. How are you doing? Let me see your taxes then. For legal reasons, I don't have to. Okay? Those are mine and mine alone. Oh, I, I pay my taxes. Just take my word for it. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. It is. It's a lot of trespassers on my land. How dare they? One molly. I refuse. No fire. Only glorious melee combat. Horn will be pleased. Right, but I... I'm gonna grab some grub really quickly. Make sure my weight is still holding. Good stuff, so we're just gaining a little bit more over 82. Nice and healthy. Let me give you until 5 o'clock as well, because you've been tired for a little while now. Do they disappear? Oh yeah, they disappear. So the default time is uh, 216 hours, so 9 days in game time. 
So all those bodies are out on the road. They'll all disappear on their own. So we don't have to burn them or bury them or do anything with them. They'll just take care of themselves. It's why we don't ever touch them. But yeah. And do you have respawn off? We do. Because we're doing a time 16 game where we're running the most amount of zombies you can have. We don't have any need for respawn because there's already millions of them on the map. And the plan is to eventually kill all of them. So, so far we are 404,000 in and there are at the very least three, well, I was going to say three, uh, 4.1 million left. <laughs> so we're almost 10% of the way there. But yeah, it's good fun. But I'll be back in less than five minutes because I've been sat down for an extra like three hours. So I'm going to go stretch my legs and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you all shortly.
right and i am back happy days all right what am i missing make sure everything is a-okay all of the things are working good stuff right only five minutes not ten minutes of burpees i think you've mistook me for my character I think I would physically die if I had to do 10 minutes of burpees straight. Maximum effort. Alright, what have I got? Food. A lack of fish. That's okay though. Because it's not winter anymore, I don't have to do fishing every day. I can just do two days worth and that'll be all the fish I need. Yeah, I need more chip stones soon. And we need another thousand experience. Or the long blunts, but let me take one crowbar, just in case we run low. And let me make my way back to the van, and then we'll go back to the center of town again. Any chip stone. Oh, only one. Nice and chill. over. <laughs> a little bit too close to that one. Give him a cheeky bump, but that's fine. Okay, I left my cruise control on 80. Big sand. Oh no, fucking nailed it. Now, it's kind of hard to roll the van over onto its side and not roll it back over. All you gotta do is wiggle your steering wheel a little bit, but... Yeah, big sad. I did I did hit a fence, so I did damage him a little bit, but it's okay. It won't be anything major. It shouldn't be anything major. Wasn't going that fast. No, because you're fine. That's fine. You're fine. And you're a little dinged, but that's fine as well. I don't think we repaired the trunk last time, so he's pretty good. So a reason you're not driving Aphrodite? Yeah, it's because I haven't repaired it. Yeah, cause the van we repaired on Monday. I think it was Monday. I gave it a little bit of TLC, but Aphrodite, I haven't repaired her for a while, so if I was going to drive her, I'd have to, you know, go for the hassle of, like, getting a new hood, repairing that, repairing the engine, making sure the battery's still fine, making sure the window's good. So... But yeah, sports cars are just a little bit more of a, a pain, really. Oh god, OBS, what are you doing? Stop, OBS. Why are you doing this? My OBS is being funky. I can't fix it. Why have you done this, OBS? My chat's, like, all fucked up at the moment. Oh, there we go. And it's fixed again. <laughs> OBS is pulling some BS. It is, indeed. No, my chat was just a little bit funky. I couldn't read half my chat. 
to understand why they all must die. bit by a zombie, it did slowly die. Yes. The infection. This is the work we were born for. Murder all the things. Yeah, we'll carry on hunting down all these strays, because eventually they'll run out. You know, sooner or later, we'll stop finding them on roads like this. If I just kill the odd one here and there. Just carry on thinning them out. Spear me. Well, for once, Knight, I could follow through on that. I will not spear you. For a while, at least. I'm gonna club you to death with my lovely bat instead. <laughs> also, hello, Gaz. Hope you're well. Yeah, we're all good. Nice and chill here. Just leveling up some of our other, like, miscellaneous weapons today. And the name of the game currently is 2000 Experience on the Long Blunts. But we are getting there. So we're on 920 at the moment, so just over a thousand more experience. So probably about two days more fighting with these ones, and then we'll move on to a different weapon type. But I'm just chipping away, just getting a little bit closer towards level 9. Obnoxious butt sniffing. Nice. That sounds like a category that you could search for. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sense of humor stopped working. Yep, 12 years old. That's where we peaked. Didn't even get to that college humor. No. <laughs> Primary and secondary school. That's where the good stuff is. What the fuck was that? That was peak comedy. That's what that was. Still chill around here. I'm wondering where they come from, though, because I keep seeing zombies, like, every time we drive back into Louisville. We always seem to find more and more of them coming from the west over that way. I'm wondering if they're still stuck in the racetrack, if there's a few of them back there. So I thought we emptied that one already, but that's the only place I can really think of where they'd be, uh, coming from. Good luck with the grind. Hey, appreciated. I'll ignore you two. You can wait for another day, or my return journey, one or the other. Yeah, let's go find that big group that we abandoned yesterday, because I want to start working on that one first, because... They're, like, not all of them, but a lot of them were silhouetted, so that means there's at least 500 of them, which, for the baseball bat, is an entire day's worth of killing, so... I would like to find them sooner rather than later. Right, but the zombies should be, hopefully, along this road. So they weren't that far east. 
when we went up this way, so they should, well, hopefully have come out to this road before they went chasing me south. So we should run into them sooner or later. But either way, they shouldn't be that hard to find. Do you have yeast? I do not have the yeast. No, I have not been looting that much this year. We've been uh, mostly just killing and base building. But now we'll have to go hunting for some yeast because I owe my character two birthday cakes so far and it's soon to become three. My debt is growing, the amount of cakes I owe this man. Right, I th think I went... No, I went further north, didn't I? Um... Yeah, we were down over this way, weren't we? I think... No, it was this road here. Yeah, I recognize these buildings. Yes, yeah, so they should be on this road somewhere, like, around this area. So, we'll go all the way north, and then we'll turn off. The zombies respawn. On normal things, they do. On this one, they don't, because we're doing the, the max amount of zombies. We're doing time 16, so we're trying to kill everyone so we don't have any respawns on. Just try the food court mall. Eh, food court mall. Nah, we haven't really done any looting. This is the game. <laughs> yeah, there are no more zombies. Congratulations, I know. All I need now is confetti to blow out my ass. <laughs> Little trumpet sounds in the distance. Like happy days. Like that's, this is our victory. <laughs> that's all I need. But yeah, we should find some zombies down this way now. chill. What do you think about the insanely rare mod? Oh, if you mean like the ridiculously rare, even like worse loot mod, that one, I love it. It's fantastic. We normally play with it, but we haven't got it on this run currently. But we do normally run it in conjunction with the vanilla insanely rare or extremely rare as it used to be. Yes. Makes it more fun looting them, because you don't find everything within like the first couple of months. You actually have to look around for things for like multiple years to get everything. Makes things more fun. It does mean that you'll never find all of the collectibles in a single run, but you know, small sacrifice to pay. should be chilling around my van. Probably find the remaining collectibles in foraging. Yeah, but there's like literally dozens and dozens of them. Right. You could, but are you really going to? 
Because, <laughs> I mean, in order to find all the collectibles through foraging, it would be possible, but you'd have to find, like, all of those tapes. All of those CDs. All of those VHS tapes. It's like, oh. And you're not guaranteed to get brand new ones every time, either. Let alone finding, like, the tapes and CDs. But yeah, it'd technically be possible, but... I don't think you'd ever actually get them all. You heard it's possible to forge the gen mag? Yeah, that, you can forge that one. It comes up surprisingly often. Like, I don't know what the odds of actually finding it are, but if you find a skill magazine, for some reason the gen mag comes up more often than anything else. Which is a bit spicy. <laughs> but yeah, you can forge that one up. You have to, I guess, after clearing the entire map. No. No. No, my love of tedious gameplay ends when the violence ends. If I have to walk through a meadow or through a city, like, hundreds of times, staring at the ground looking for items, that is the end of my game. <laughs> like, I have one, it is over, if that's the only thing I have left to do. I will take that 99.9% .9 completion. And I'll miss out on the very last part. Let's ditch all of you back over here. You find the gem bag is just starving to death. <laughs> like, game, I need a mushroom. Well, the best I can do is one gen mag and some garbage bags. Appreciate the followers as well, lols and CNSR. That's an interesting name. Let's grab all of you again. I'm gonna miss. Good stuff. Um, where's that axe gone? There was one of you who had an axe. Appreciate the hundred AC. Happy days. Tell me something funny and you'll get a surprise. Something funny? Oh god, you can't do that to me. That's way too much pressure. And besides, I'd show you something funny, but my webcam isn't plugged in. <laughs> but no, I have no jokes loaded in the cannon. I'm sorry, AC. I'm 
running on fumes. I need more coffee in my system. Let's <laughs> put your foot down. Hardy fucking ha. <laughs> Would you like kebab money? I wouldn't say no. I'll never say no to free money. But do not feel pressured to. Because you already donate more than most. I think you've paid for plenty of kaboobs. Dead of this character will make you popular like... Filza? I'm not sure who Filza is. AC, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of funding for the Kabib. I'll have to take a picture now. <laughs> like, that, that, I need to make a category on the Discord now for all the Kaboobs. When life gives you melons, you might be dyslexic. That's a good one. <laughs> and I appreciate the 2000 OAC. I will buy a kabib in your honor. Or at least I will buy some cheesy chips today. Maybe some cheesy chips tomorrow. And the day after that. Oh, the kabib. But no, you have to give me the rundown on who Filzer is. Phil's the guy who ran a... Oh, that's the guy. No, I know who that is, yeah. I'm, I'm fucking awful with names. No, I've seen that clip. Yeah, he died to a baby zombie, didn't he, in a cave. It was like a baby zombie, a normal zombie, I think, and a spider. But yeah. <laughs> and I think his words were like, Oh no, Af like, that's how I die? Like, that's his reaction. It's like, oh fuck. <laughs> that's a lot of progress to lose. But yeah, we all heard about that. That's a long game. So it wasn't even like five years of like in-game time, you know, if you can even do that in Minecraft. It was like five in real life years. Like shit, that's a lot of time, man. Also, hello Slade. How's the stream going? Yeah, it's all good. It's nice and chill. We're just doing some weapon leveling today. We're starting, well, we started with our long blades. We did 2,000 experience for those. And now we're doing our long blunts. We're almost done doing 2,000 experience for these ones. And then we'll probably do short blunts or short blades next. And do some experience for those ones. Yeah, appreciate the 145 as well, young. Happy days. Don't you hate when uh, someone answers their own questions? I do. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> How dare you, sir. Uh, why did the gold for bring two pairs of pants? Just in case you got a hole in one. Nice. Grand boss is here. Ah, removes headphones, wiggles mouse like a grown-up. Just smile and wave. It'll be fine. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Hey, animal. Appreciate the rate of 17. You'll have to correct me, because I am horrible for remembering names, but are you, by chance, French? And are you, by chance, doing a sprinter run? Because <laughs> I'm terrible with remembering names. But... I'm almost positive that is who you be. Because I think you're over 4,000 kills doing a sprinter run, aren't you? I think... Yeah, I just did 4k in Sprint Run. Yeah, Yeah, few people have been talking about you. Because my record with Sprinters is 4300, but I've heard that you play in a very similar manner to myself. And uh, you're about to cross it. If not, you've already crossed it already, because I heard that you're very close to 4000. And as far as I'm aware, that's the highest Sprinter kill count with, like, all Sprinters. So you will be the sprinter, like, record holder for kills, I think. Unless someone knows of someone else who's done more. So yeah, I'm gonna slingshot the crown your way, because I don't plan on doing sprinter runs anytime soon. <laughs> you get those bragging rights in. It'll be funny. 
The goal is to beat you, then I uninstall PZ. Well, I am honored. Happy days. I know I appreciate the raid, though. Yeah, I appreciate the follow as well, 100. Or, uh, oh, Visage. Happy days. Your sub renews today, but Dilla White hasn't. Probably just Twitch being Twitch. <laughs> Oh no, good stuff, Animal. But yeah, I think that is worthy of a shout out, because if you haven't seen Animal before, if you in ever watched me play Sprinters and you enjoyed watching me do Sprinters, or you enjoy someone like Bonsai, you should definitely go check out the man who will soon have the highest Sprinter kill count, alive and dead. Definitely go give him a gander. Uh, hope your run's doing well. Yeah, we're just chilling. Just doing some level wet, uh, some level, no, leveling of my weapon. But, uh, yeah, we're just trying to put 2,000 experience in all of my weapons today. Just getting a little bit closer towards level 9. So we're on the long blunts at the moment. But we'll be switching in the next few moments. Next day or two in game time. Appreciate the follow as well, Noors. Or Nowers. Doing the same work on your walking zombies. Print streamers are working on the Lamprey scores. Fair. Welcome in as well. Uh, I... I'm not sure how to say your name. Is Zet Line? I'm hoping I'm getting that right. You know, welcome on in. Yeah. Let's get, grab another group from my van. Yeah, Bonsai's a very good watch. Yeah, definitely. Very skilled on spinners. Yeah, Bonsai is probably the best mechanically, I think. He doesn't survive, like, a tremendous amount of time, but the shit that he pulls off is hilarious. I think he's definitely the best sprinter player to date. But yeah, it's very... Sprinters are very spicy. Very good fun. Much to learn on this stream. Oh yeah, Bonsai uses like every exploit under the sun. Like, the amount of tech that gets discovered for sprinters normally, like a lot of it just comes from Bonsai. <laughs> like, if you ever hear like some new tech or some new tactics to use against sprinters, odds are it was probably Bonsai who found it. Are you going for the 1 million kills like before? Yeah, we're going for like a big 7 digit number on this run, so... Currently, we are on uh, 404, Zombies Not Found, but we're working our way up to the half million mark, and then we'll be going for my my personal best, which is 735,000, and then beyond that, we're going for a million. We'll be going for the big number, but I have no intention of stopping if we make it that far. If we get to a million, we will carry on going until build 42 comes out, or until my character dies, one or the other. So, if I make it to build, um, if I make it to one million, I'll probably slow down then, because that's easily like 15, 1500 to 2000 hours. <laughs> I'll probably take a, uh, a bit of a break and start slowing down tremendously from that point onward. But that is a long way away. As in guns, but uh, uh, oh, to get to my kill go faster. You would think so on paper, but in act like in practice, melee weapons are actually faster than guns, and they're more renewable as well. And because we're going for like such a large quantity of zombies. Uh, we need a tremendous amount of weapons to stay ahead of everything. So, we do use guns on occasion, but they're more for, like, recreation than they are utility. Well, not utility, but, like, practicality. Like, they're not very effective against the zombies. And they're very short-lived on their population settings this high. thousand dudes with their heads bashed in and it takes one bite for your death yep they're not doing a very good job i know clearly they are not trying hard enough 
shame on them. They lack the ambition and the will to kill us. But there is one out there somewhere. Mystery zombie somewhere waiting for me. It is destiny. <laughs> we'll get bitten sooner or later. not too many of you but i'll have a sit down anyway because i have introduced myself my bats aren't you too effective when they're exerted this is a very good conversation welcome back as well photos very good conversation time to go back to in real life stuff for you no worries Play safe and get some Z's always. And we will be popping by into your stream at some point. We will watch your sprinter career with great interest. Because <laughs> I want to see how high you go. I want to see how high that's, that new sprinter like climbs to. I want to see if you hit like the 10,000 mark. Because that would be pretty spicy if you can make it five digits. Because I don't think anyone's ever done that before about using a Britta's gun mod game or using like fire kills we are gonna spear all the things scorched but not right now yeah, for once we're actually using something else other than spears <laughs> everything has to get to level 10 eventually Including the bats. Even the bats deserve love. Just not the COVID ones, you know. We'll learn our lesson from last time. Baseball bats only. Are you answering? Oh, I didn't even see Frotus's comment. <laughs> Where are the spears? No, we're, we're popping 2,000 experience into all of our weapons today. Because they're at the point now where if I want to level them up to the next level, it takes a tremendous amount of time because they're all like 7,500 experience for the next level. So instead of like spending the entire stream using nothing but bats from start to finish, I'm just going to do like 2,000 experience in each weapon. Just to make it a little bit more interesting so I can switch weapons every now and then. But I've got about a day and a half left. A day and a half of killing and then I should be 2,000 up on the long blunts and then we'll i'll probably do short blunts next thinking about it so i mean i'm already well yeah i've already got a tiny bit of experience in that one as well but yeah we'll probably level those ones up next and then we'll do be doing the short blunts afterwards uh short blades afterwards i mean <laughs> today is bonk day not spear day today is a very nice chill day of killing It sounds like something bad from what you say. Well, Brit's gun mod is really fun. It's a really well-made mod, but it throws game balance completely out of the window. Like, it is more customizable now than it used to be, or so I've been told. But because there are so many guns, and there are so many there's so much ammo in the world, and there's so many ways to get more ammo back. Because I'm pretty sure it spawns on ammo on zombies as well. Um it doesn't make the game like it's not gonna make it tremendously easy so it's like oh well you killed a hundred thousand with guns oh whoop de doo like <laughs> it's not gonna be like that but it's not gonna be anywhere near as difficult as you know trying to kill you know five or ten thousand sprinters with melee weapons or with like the vanilla weapons like firearm wise so when it comes to like going for like high kill counts you know trying to like compare kills to one another Generally, there's only like a few like rules to it, like loose rules, but it's always like multi-hit turned off and then no mods that really relate to fucking with the kill count or your weapons, really. You try and keep things as close to vanilla as possible, because a lot of the mods that add extra weapons or firearms and stuff like that, they're not really well balanced, you know. Despite how fun they are to play with, they tend to make things a little bit on the easy side. And I think... My music has died a sad death. Let me fix that. Here we go. So 
So you're playing on this world until uh, the trader or settlement updates. Or playing until build 42. So when build 42 comes out, we'll start a brand new game. Or, you know, m more likely my character will die, you know. But there's no release date for build 42, so we have no idea how long we have to play on this game save for. But we're playing on this one until he either dies or they give us the next big update. Whichever one comes first. Put a point, redeem of a bonk day. Like, just one for- Oh, no. No, I refuse. <laughs> no, maybe. I have to get, like, fucking, um... Oh. Uh, need to get, like, Bam Bam from, like, the Flimstones. <laughs> just bam. Bam Bam Bam. <laughs> yeah, anytime we use baseball bats. Bring out the flimstone redeems. Uh, what's the red cross on the map? Uh, that's just my map marker for buildings I've looted. So if there's a structure that I've been inside of and I've spawned all the zombies, killed all the zombies, and I've grabbed all the loot that's inside, we just mark it with an X, just so I know it's empty. And if it's marked with a black X, that's exactly the same, except I've also dismantled all the furniture for nails. And there are a few of them, mostly in West Point, but if there's a red circle, that just means I've been inside the building and I've spawned all the zombies in, but I haven't taken any of the loot yet. Uh, which mod adds the... Oh, you use for the counters on stream. And uh, that is Twitch Stats by Mess. And that adds the survival time and the kill counter. But the, the spear counter and the helicopter counter, those are my own. Uh, hypothetically speaking, if you wear a f uh, full body armor... If you wear full body armor, that is 100% bite and scratch proof. Will your character never die by a horde? No. Um, or they trigger the pull down animation. No, so if you get attacked by three zombies simultaneously, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, they'll drag you down. If you have strong zombies, it only takes two of them. Um, but three is the default. And in regards to the 100% protection and all that stuff, it's only good to like protect you once. So if a bit of clothing protects you, and the zombie, like, nibbles it, it'll put a hole in that, so then that part of the uh, clothing will have 0% protection. So it's not like a... There's no way to, like, become a tank in the game and just, like, tank tons of hits from zombies. Armor is very much like an insurance policy. It's nice to have in the background, as long as it doesn't, like, cost too much. You know, it's not going to make you slow or overheat too much. And the insurance might not pay out in the end either, you know. But it's nice to have regardless. That's what armor is like in the game. Is it possible to kill all zombies? It is technically on paper, but there are four and a half million of them, so it's a lot of zombies. Oh, if you run them in, like, all of those crosses, like, all these arrows up here, they're just, like, a bunch of burnt cars. I just marked it on my map just so I don't forget <laughs> which road they're on. I don't slam into them at like 80 miles an hour. Yeah, final line of defense, but yeah, don't lean on it. Don't rely on the armor to save you. Twitch won't let you resub. It's because Twitch knows how generous you already are, AC. <laughs> They're like, no, AC. Save your money. You've already spent too much on the streamer. You've given him too much kaboop money. Save your monies. Also, let me try a thing. Because I'm going to try and beat you to it now. <laughs> how do I... I don't even know how to give subs properly. I don't know how to give quantity. How do I get the sub to, like, someone specific? We will ride into battle, and this will be our horse. Will be our horse. I don't know how to give subs to specific people. I normally just give random subs. 
How do I give you a sub? I think you want to click on them. Do I have to click on your name? Oh, that's Afro. Where are you? Oh, I do. I can as well. Yes, let's give AC a sub. There we go. Boom, done. I'm pretty sure I'm buying a sub for you with your own money, but... <laughs> Funny stuff. Right. And I appreciate the followers well waves. Happy days. But yeah, normally I just, like, do gifts, like, random gifts. I don't normally gift it to specific people. Yeah, fucking poggers. Yeah, AC is now subbed again. Happy days. <laughs> so let's grab all of you... Poggers. All the helicopters. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, son. So, way to know that the helicopter event is going to... I was going on uh, with a deaf character in solo play. There's two ways. Uh, the first one is having the emergency broadcast frequency. So, if you have the emergency broadcast frequency, you can tune into it. It'll tell you, you know, air activity detected, blah, 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 blah. And so you'll get a heads up when the helicopter's turning up. And the second way, a more practical way, is just to see all the zombies slowly walk towards your position. <laughs> so if you see a bunch of zombies walking towards you on your game and you're deaf, there's probably a helicopter hovering around somewhere. But yeah, the emergency broadcast frequency would be the only, like, actual way to know that there's a helicopter on that day, specifically. Good stuff. Hey, waves. This is a zombie kill count update every 30 seconds. It's around about there, yeah. So it's every 10 minutes in game time. So whatever that is in real time. But yeah, it'll be about like 30 seconds or so. More or less. But yeah, we had to change it because the mod itself is supposed to update in real time. So every time you kill a zombie, it updates. But for some reason, if my game goes on for, like, multiple years, that mod starts to chug the shit out of OBS. <laughs> so, like, OBS just really doesn't like it, so every time I, like, go to swing at a zombie, it just drops tons of frames and just makes the stream stutter a ton. So, we just took one of the lines of code out. Um, so instead of updating after every kill, it'll update every 10 minutes instead, so it's not as bad for uh, dropping frames. How's the trapping grind? Eh, it's not too bad. We've read the next chapter, and we are working our way slowly to level 7. But we're not, like, really gunning for it. We're just doing a little bit here and there. 
Where's your hat? I remember you having a hat. Oh, we swap our hats constantly. The mask stays, but the hats, they change. We just throw them around every now and then. Yeah, let's get rid of these last few. And it's time for me to skedaddle. It's well over my normal time. I'm supposed to be home more or less now. Not leaving. <laughs> Drive around the long way then. Appreciate the follow. Doe's face. Oh, and uh, simply Tom as well. I missed that one five minutes ago. Appreciate the follows. If I found something interesting today, mining helmet in vanilla apocalypse. Didn't know they were added. I didn't know they were added either. I know it's part of Peter's mod. Excuse me. <laughs> Coming through. Are you sure it's vanilla? Because I mean, in debug, maybe. But I don't remember ever seeing a mining helmet in vanilla. That's cool, though. If it is, like, actually in vanilla. I don't remember ever seeing that. Do we know when NPCs are getting added? That is... Well, technically build 42... But humanoid NPCs aren't supposed to be coming until build uh, 43, I believe. But no, we're getting animals and such, so you know, animal NPCs and uh, the next build. So currently we're in like the NPC uh, build of the game. Like, well, not NPC build, but NPC... I don't know what you'd call it. Generation? <laughs> So, like, build 41 to build 43 is all, like, orientated around NPCs, really, on their roadmap. It's listed on the wiki. Well, fair enough. I don't think I've ever seen a mining helmet in vanilla. I have to keep an eye out for one. Best on board driver A, okay? I'm texting while driving, don't judge me. <laughs> Appreciate the sub as well, Lefty. Happy days. Yeah, let's all think which hash you game without a mining helmet. No, that's fair. I have to have a look for it at some point. So I don't recall ever seeing it. Cause I, I know I've seen it in multiplayer servers, but they always run Peach's mod. But yeah, I would like to see it though. Oh. oh, wonder if you can get a light bulb for it as well. Probably as rare as the NBC mask. Yeah, maybe. You Texas to Rebecca. Now my character probably has like two mobiles. Just keeps texting himself, just so he doesn't feel as lonely. <laughs> it's really sad. I like how law doesn't exist. Your, your character never exceeds the speed limit. Because professionals have standards, okay? We will respect the laws of man, just not the ones that pertain to violence, because those are really boring. <laughs> Speed limits? Absolutely. Grievous bodily harm? Eh, it's a moral grey area. You know, there's some wiggle room to be had there. Just gotta take a page out of, like, South Park's book. As long as I yell, watch out, it's coming right for us, and then I can smack the zombie. Self-defense, then.
You killed Kenny? Well, Kenny shouldn't have gotten bitten by the zombies. Self-inflicted. No sympathy. These zombie bodies do not like being loaded in. Oh, yeah, doing the bar. Oh, yeah, when we we're back in West Point. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Let me hop into my bed, and then we'll get some food in the morning. Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, Black Rat? I'm hoping I'm getting that right. Welcome into chat as well, Mythical. Happy days. <laughs> Use the good old, I feel threatened, an empty clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was sensing hostility, sir. But yeah, it's time for me to start doing some more fishing again. Do you have a mod list? Yeah, if you type in exclamation mark mods. That will give you the full list for that one. But there's only about six of them. There's not that many. It's a nice vanilla plus game. Nice and chill. Yeah, nice 5 FPS so yeah. It's not so bad once it loads the bodies in. But yeah, just that initial... Initial loading after I've been away for too long. Not ideal. Waking up at 5, what happened? Oh, I got sloppy. I keep coming home late, so instead of waking up at 4, I keep waking up at 5. <laughs> it's the same amount of time slept, it's just... You know, I keep coming home late. I keep getting too enthusiastic with the murder. Holding a crowbar based. Oh, that crowbar's my backup plan if all my spiked bats break. <laughs> but I should have enough. I just need just under 500 more experience, and then we're gonna switch over to the short blunts and start leveling them up for a little bit. And then we'll do the short blades afterwards. And then after the short blades, if we still have time, we'll do the axes next. Appreciate the follows as well. Understand and drags in. But, yep, happy days. Do you know of any performance improving mods? I might know of one. So I haven't tested it yet, but if it actually works as advertised, it should increase performance easily. So if anyone like if you anyone's ever played the game for like more than a couple of months like survival time you'll know how bad blood becomes for fps but there is a mod that is supposed to get rid of it so every time it rains it removes the blood that's outside which should help with performance uh, but it should just be something called like you know rain blood or rain cleans blood or something like that that's the only one that really comes to mind but i don't know of any mods that fix the zombie issues, you know, you know, having like a few hundred zombies on screen, you know, having your frame rate go to single digits. But yeah, the blood one is the only one I know of. Alternatively, you know, you can just put the blood in your display settings to none, but that's about as good as you can get. Did you bait the third one down? Uh, I don't know. Did I? Yep, they all look done to me. Yep, they all have the remove bait option. They're all done. 
Appreciate the follow as well, Maniac. You like running extra gore with the Rain Washes Blood mod? Fair. See, I haven't actually tried it yet because we haven't had a new game for like several months now. But when we start a new game, that would be one of the ones I add every single time. Because I love having blood in my game, and I'm really sad when I have to turn it off, because we literally kill too many. Suffering from success. Can't run blood, because there's too much blood in my game. So yeah, if that mod works exactly as it's advertised, that is a fantastic mod. I've yet to test it. The washing machines actually work? Yeah, washing machines work. You just have to power them and plumb in a sink. But yeah, as long as they have water and they have power, you can use a washing machine. The only thing with that is, though, unless you have, like, the fear of blood uh, trait, there's not really any incentive to actually wash your clothing. You know, beyond just the aesthetic and just looking clean. <laughs> there's no, like, practicality to it. But um, it is something that you can do. <laughs> no, I know, I keep blaming the game. I should whip out my mop and bleach and start cleaning myself. Like a responsible survivor. I don't know, Ultimate Flex. I haven't had to start, like, a new game in months, yeah. I started this character back in March, like, at the very beginning. I think it was the 3rd of March when we started. So, yeah, we have been going for just over four months now. Very spicy. Plumbing can, get, uh, plumbing can be kind of buggy. No, it always works 100% of the time. There's no bugs with that. Sometimes you need to leave the area. Really? You've had that issue? That's interesting. So what, you've plumbed in your washing machine, but it doesn't plumb in, but then you leave the area, come back, and then it'll give you the option to. That's weird. I've never seen that. I'll have to see if I can, like, replicate it. It always works first time for me, like every time. But I'll take your word for it. It's been reported. Well, fair enough. Is that just for washing machines or is that for like sinks as well? Because I've never had that. That's a new one. Never have trouble, so it just might be a washing machine exclusive thing. Well, that would explain why I haven't seen it then, because I don't tend to do that very often. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. That's a bit weird, though. But, uh, at least it, like, you know, like you say, if you just leave the area and come back, you know, you'll get the option sooner or later. So at least it's not like a, a permanent bug. That's, that's okay, then. Can you use ice uh, when in fever? No, you can't use anything like that. The best you can do when you are sick is lemongrass. That's all there is. Nothing else gets rid of sickness. And if it's caught, cool, like, we well, if it's battle. zombie sickness, like the zombie virus, then you'll, this you can get rid of the effects of it in terms of sickness, but you're still gonna die. <laughs> Appreciate the, uh, the heli as well. Find all of those hidden zombies for me. How'd you deal with the with a fever if it's not infection? Just lemongrass. Lemongrass and filling yourself with food. So, if you've managed to get yourself all the way up to a fever, you've already fucked up majorly, because that takes a lot of effort to get to that stage. Uh, unless you've eaten something really bad. Why they all must die. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is this the work. This is the work we were born for. Beautiful. Um, but uh, if you've got gone all the way up to a fever, the only thing you can do to, like, cure that ailment is take lemongrass. That'll, like, subside a little bit. Um, but if you're losing, like, a ton of health, you want to take the lemongrass to, like, bring that fever down a bit, but you also want to eat a ton of food as well, like, up to full to bursting, so you'll get a healing bonus. So even though you'll be still losing health from a fever, you'll be regenerating health as well from being full, so... It'll slow down the effects of you dying, and it might buy you enough time to recover. But that's really all you can do. Oh, wait. You're being sarcastic. He's fun. I like him. No sarcasm. I'm a medical professional, I promise. Got that level 10 first aid. You read it, uh, The other day somewhere. Looking for the source now. 
check the the wiki. Oh, if you want to like wait, which which part are you? If you want about like it being on the wiki as being bugged, I'm not gonna take that as face value then. <laughs> like I'm not saying that you're lying or that you're wrong, but if it's on the wiki, I don't trust it. The wiki has too much like outdated information. It might have been a bug in the past, but that might have been back in like 2016 for all we know. You know, there's some things on there that just get left for years without being removed. So no, I'd have to like see it for myself to believe it now. Oh, you're talking about dirty clothes raising the infection rates. Oh, no, that's real. Yeah, so I thought you were still talking about the washing machines and the bugs and stuff. No, the, the dirty clothing raises infection rates. It gives you a higher chance of it. Um, no, you are right with that. But yeah, the because the bacterial infection doesn't do any lethal damage, it's irrelevant. You know, you can just ignore dirty clothing. It doesn't have any actual real effect in the game. Not unless you're running, like, mods. Like, disinfect or die or stuff like that. But that's a whole different discussion. Uh, is this my turning? No, it was the next one. Yeah, you're talking about dirty clothing and wound infections. Yeah, I'm like, th I'm three conversations behind you. <laughs> no, my bad. I, th I thought you were still talking about the other things. Uh, right, you are. Also, did I go one too many? I don't know, where am I? No, I didn't go too... I didn't go enough. I'm one. One short. Exactly, I'm level 10 first aid in the video game. I've got this, okay? If I'm on an airplane one day and they ask if, if someone's a doctor, you're goddamn right I'm gonna stand up and say, I am. <laughs> This will be my finest moment. At least on multiplayer. Well, that's interesting, then. I'll have to have a look at that. Like, it's not like a super game breaking bug, but it is interesting. That's cool. But uh, as long as that's a work a workaround for it, that's a okay. Yeah, doctors only get level 3 first aid, I know. What type of, like, smart cookie is my character now that he has level 10? What kind of, like, fantastic things can he perform on the operating table? I'm seven, seven levels above a doctor. Like, oh. I am the smartest cookie. <laughs> I got a PhD in geology. <laughs> I finished top of my class. Fucking pops up his collar. I was homeschooled. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I worked on glass for two hours. I'm a qualified surgeon. I have the scars on the soles of my feet to prove it, okay? I'm a professional. Got all that first aid experience. them for a minute. And broken leg? Yeah, I've got this. I could set that back. <laughs> Ooh, 
Let's have a rest. Grab the car keys as well. You look spicy. The hood's a bit damaged, but yeah, you are a very spicy car. Let's go grab some more Zams. We'll ride into battle, and this will be our horse. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Griff. Oh, you sound like my fucking nephew. What is it? What is it, little Tom? It's a fire fuck. I'm like, eh, close enough. <laughs> it's like trying to mouth out his like first few words. Fire fuck. Like, ah, shit. I'm not sure how I'm going to explain this to my brother. <laughs> I didn't teach him that, I swear. It was an unhappy coincidence. Are you one-hit zombies all the time? Yeah, like, uh, uh... AC says. Gotta get those weapon levels up. if you come back as a zombie if you drink bleach after being infected. Yeah, you should. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. As long as you have the infection in your system, it doesn't really matter how you die afterwards, you come back. So, you know, bleach, gunshots, burning to death. Well, to be fair, burning to death, you know, as long as your body doesn't turn to ash immediately afterwards, then you'll come back, but... <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Bleach is supposed to be the cure. I know, we were lied to. We've been bamboozled. Yes, more helis, all the helis. Also, I should be over 2,000. Maybe? No, I've still got 370 to go. A little bit more of long blunts. Or we can switch. any mods on? Yeah, we have a couple. Not many, though. But if you want the mod list, it's exclamation mark mods. But yeah, we're only running six of them, I think. And then only, well, three of them all relate to the expanded helicopter mods, so we're only really running four of them. Seeing your strange addiction to, uh, strange addiction TV show. People who huff gasoline odor. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna judge, okay? They're, they're all adults, they can do what they want. Qual server? Uh, I don't know what you're asking me there, but this is single player. If you're asking if it's multi. Just a solo game. Okay, exactly. Who needs the asphalt? See... Local government has been trying to repair all the potholes with asphalt for fucking years, and it always degrades. It's time we try a more natural and organic solution. Flesh and bone. We'll, we'll test this method and see if it works better. 
We'll give it a few decades. We'll see if it lasts. Appreciate the followers well, Dev. Happy days. I think we're all clear back here. More or less. How strong should zombies be realistically? To collapse the government. <laughs> I... I wouldn't know. Because I know Walking Dead type zombies are nowhere near close to even threatening. I mean... Just to like finish the entire conversation with one comment. If we're going to try and apply real-world logic to a zombie apocalypse scenario, I'm going to die from cringe. <laughs> it's a really stupid conversation to have. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure there are more bullets in the world than there are human beings, like, probably a few dozen times over. I'm sure they'll be fine, especially if they were, like, shambling zombies. But no, I'm not a big fan of having, like, the conversation of what would you do in a real-life zombie apocalypse, because it's like asking me, what would I do if I died and I woke up in an anime world? That's the same type of conversation I'm thinking of. Like, I'm, I'm gonna die from, like, rolling my eyes too far back. Does uh, your overall encumbrance go up when you level up your certain skill? Uh, it levels up when you go level up your strength. So the amount you can carry before being over encumbered is relative to how strong your character is. So as your strength level goes up, so does your maximum carry capacity before encumbrance. But every character has the same. Um, why is my frame rate so fucking low? There must be a big group around here. Um... But yeah, every, every character has the same limit of 50. Yeah, where are you? Oh, there they all are. <laughs> Jesus fuck. I was wondering, like, why is my frame rate so fucking low? That explains it. Well, we found where all the zombies on this side of town are. Uh, that's gonna be spicy. Well, let me skedaddle and loop back around because I can't fight with my frame rates that low. Yeah, we'll loop back around on the west side. Is there a way to bypass the limit? Oh, if you mean like the maximum carry capacity, kind of? Like, there are some things that go over. So if you're doing, like, fishing, um, you know, if you catch too many fish, you'll just carry all of them, and you'll be over-encumbered, but you can go over the 50 limit. Taking parts of vehicles, filling up water containers, you know, stuff like that. I don't think there's a way to do it for every item in the game, but there are ways to, like, go beyond the 50 limit with specific uh, items and methods. Taking dirt with a lot of sacks. Yeah, you can pick up lots of dirt and go over it with, like, yeah, the dirt, the sand, the gravel, all of that stuff. That's an option as well. So we do that when we do our base building. Sometimes. Good stuff. You remember when you can make rifles that weighed negative weight? I don't remember that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Are there any really good places to find welding rods? Trying to build fences, can't find them anywhere. Uh, warehouses, typically, and self storage units. Like, anything that's industrial, really, so... If you see any buildings on your map marked in black, you know, as industrial... It's not gonna be every single one, especially in Louisville, but a good number of them will have industrial parts. 
You could also make rifles that weigh more than 50. When was that? And how did you do it? <laughs> I'm dead curious. Because I don't remember that. That's either, like, before me, or I just never heard about it, because that's hilarious. But yeah, I don't remember there being rifles that weighed less than zero, or more than 50. And there's a bug that got reported and fixed quickly, but yeah. But how did you do it, though? Like, what was the method? If you queued up putting on slings really fast. Okay. Well, why would that do that? So you could put multiple slings onto the same rifle to just keep, like, stacking reduced weight, but, like, buffs. Interesting. I don't remember that one. That's spicy. You just queued multiple actions with the with just one sling. Okay. Which build was that then? <laughs> I don't remember even I've never even heard of that one. Okay, let's go have a quick rest. I'll ditch all of you guys around this corner. Appreciate the follow as well, Major. Oh, and Darth as well. I missed that one five minutes ago. Will the character die of old age? Oh, one could hope, but sadly, no. Yeah. I wonder if they'll add that back into the game at some point. Because they, they never had an aging mechanic in the game where you would actually die of old age or have any symptoms as you got older. But you did used to have the age counter here. So your character would, you know, progressively get older. Because everyone started off as 27 years old. So every time you survived a year, you'd go up to 28, and then 29, and eventually 30. Yeah. But I think they got roll, uh, got rid of it for roleplay purposes. But I wonder if they'll bring something like that back. You know, like you can choose your starting age. Add an Easter egg in where your cat just instantly dies if you try and start over 80 years old. Hate <laughs> yourself for not playing the game sooner. Oh, very addicting. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. You will find it hard to play other survival games after this. It's very fun, very addicting. Spears have returned temporarily. Don't judge me. <laughs> Stitch all of you. Have another rest. Is there a way that I can see how long I've survived so far without dying? Yeah, so you need to get yourself a watch. That's what you're looking for. So if you have some way to tell the time, so you have the clock up top, so long as you have that one equipped on you, you'll have your survival time on your info tab. I know, it appears. But it is a bonking day, I know. I'm a bad boy, a criminal, a thug. Breaking all the rules. Today is now a spear day. It's been commandeered.
good stuff. And let's go back the way we came, just so I can pick up any of the strays I left. And we'll make our way back towards the van. You're on like your 200th character, never survive more than 20 days. Ah, oh, you'll get there. But if you need a helping hand, don't be afraid to ask any questions. If you're struggling with anything in particular. Eh, yeah, back to the box. Yeah, yep. You got a question? I'm sensing the sarcasm already. What's two plus two? Well, two plus two is four. But if you minus one, that's three. Quick mass. Everyday man's on the block. <laughs> and now never ask me that question ever again. Please leave me be, just for a minute. Okay, I'd much rather not lose my stool. Pretty much all of them. You understand why they all must die. Yes, this is the work we were born for. Murder everything. We shall finish it today. We shall not, but we will make we will make great efforts. Have you found a katana yet? Oh, we found tons of them. Like, so far we've had, like, what, 60 or 70 katanas? More or less. We've had a decent number of them. But yeah, they, they can't be repaired, and they never last too long, so... They're very short-lived, but they are good fun when we find them. <laughs> Smoke trees. look out for one. And as long as you are two months into your game, or you're playing on like, you know, six months later or something, they have a chance to spawn on zombies. And you'll find one sooner or later. Yeah, you, the world has to be at least two months old. Otherwise your only chance to find them are in containers, normally survivor houses. Also, sorry, 
uh, fish, so you missed that other question. What's the best way to maintain weight after the power goes out? That would be fishing, not cabbages. <laughs> Ignore the cabbage comment, it's fish. Fish is the easiest. And it's the most uh, time efficient in real life. In game time, I think traffic would be more time efficient overall, but... Yeah, fishing is definitely the easiest. Requires the least resources, the least time, and the least amount of skill to pull off. And then you couple that with a nice, big, chunky cooking level to get extra calories when you're putting all your food into roast pans and frying pans and cooking pots and all that type of stuff. And you'll find that you're getting fat, you know, constantly, even if you're doing exercise non-stop. Trapping is better for game time. That is the only compromise I'll make with trapping. I think overall trapping is better uh, for game time, but game time, unless you're doing like some sort of weird speedrun challenge where time is a major factor, it's completely irrelevant. <laughs> and I'm immediately backtracking on what I said. But no, fishing is like top dog currently in my eyes. But uh, yeah, but it does require that you are next to a water source. But yeah, fishing doesn't require as high of a skill level to get going. Doesn't require any, like, resources or any extra time doing any, like, extra character. Ex extracurricular? Well, yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, no extra activities like farming or foraging to get bait or anything like that. Just a spear and you're good to go. Nice and simple. Yeah, fishing is just easy to access, yeah. Yeah, true, unless you have no water. Yeah, if you have no water, then you got to wait for those fish to evolve and get on the land. But until that happens, trapping would be your next main source. Appreciate the follow as well, John John. Happy days. I can't actually remember where I parked my van. I think he's down over there. I'll have to make a run for it in a second because it is 10 o'clock. It's time for me to go. You watch football? Nope. I am one of the few British people on the island who does not have any love for football. I don't hate it, I just don't care for it. I find it really boring. <laughs> it's not my thing. Appreciate the follow as well, uh, Fesh. Happy days. Welcome in Leon as well. Hello, hello, all the people. Uh, I'm assuming my van's... Yeah, my van's down there if you're all going down in that direction. Let's grab all of you then. Get you out of my way so I can drive home. So I got to go. It's the end of the day. Off the van, please. Stop licking the windows and scratching the paint. My door is not closed, so that's a little bit spicy, but let me wait until I'm a little bit further away before I fix that nonsense.
Here we go. Yeah, we'll come back with these ones tomorrow. Already up to 405. Yeah, I'm just chugging along. So we've done, what, four, four or five thousand, give or take, so far today. So we're doing like just under a thousand per hour, so that's not too bad, but we're still like driving nice and slowly around the town, just trying to find where they're all, where they're all hiding. And we just found a major cluster of them. Where were you? Pretty sure they were here. Yeah, there's a big chunk of them stuck behind a fence over there. So we'll go down there tomorrow and we'll wipe out the ones who were around my truck before. And then we'll see if we can lure those ones out from behind the fence as well. Because that'll take us... Well, it looked like a lot. It brought me down to like single digit FPS, so... It should be a few thousand at least. At least, a th oh, at least 2k minimum. What skills can I learn? Oh, from the TV. It's trapping... Trapping, farming, foraging. I think foraging? Might not be foraging. I think you can, though. Um, yeah, fishing, carpentry, cooking. I think that's it. Yeah, 6 a.m. is always cooking, 12 p.m. Well, 12 midday is always carpentry. And then 1800 or 6 p.m. is always survivalist until like the last few days and i think there's another carpentry or cooking show yeah i don't rely too much on life and living but i'm pretty sure that part of the wiki is all up to date because the life and living tv shows haven't changed in their lifetime the tapes are you have mods and other stuff uh the tapes for like life and living and that they're exposed survival or exposure survival something like that yeah farming fishing foraging trapping buzz nothing rip <laughs> what other games do you play uh as of late i've been playing barity which has been hilarious. It's like a dungeon crawler. Rogue-like game. It's been very spicy. I was very sad yesterday. I came very close to finishing it. And I died at the boss. Because apparently he's incredibly squishy. But he hits like a fucking train. <laughs> so I didn't win. But uh, yeah, I've been playing that one over the weekend. With some friends. That's good fun. Because I'll probably play some more. Either tonight or later on. Appreciate the followers as well. Uh, Bidi? Fed? Bidi Philly? I don't know how to say your name. But no, appreciate the follow, Fed and Zinger. Happy days. And Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo Swaggins. Happy days. Coolest man in the Shire. Although calling you a man is probably a bit of an insult. I did not mean it. I swear he's. Do you use any mods? Yeah, we use a few. If you type in exclamation mark mods. Uh, I don't know why the command didn't work. I don't know, maybe it's because you were replying to a comment. But uh, yeah, that's the mod command. But yeah, there's not that many of them. We're doing like a vanilla plus run. So it is close to vanilla, but there are still technically a few mods. So it is a modded run. Yeah, we should have crossed over the 2,000 experience mark now as well for the long blunts. Oh, barely. Oh, we'll take one baseball bat with us just so I can cross over that 2,000 mark. And then we'll, uh, we'll also take some short blunts as well. And we'll start leveling those ones up. A 
this minuscule, yeah. So, I mean, I think there's one for short blade. I think there's one for guns as well. But yeah, they're one-offs and they don't give that much experience, but they do exist. Yeah, you're very close to breaking, so let me get rid of you. I'll keep the crowbar, because I'll use that one if I have to. And let's take a bunch of short blunts with us. So I'll use up all the miscellaneous ones first. And we'll do some fishing in the morning, and I'll do my meal prep then as well. Or well, at least I'll do a tiny bit of meal prep, it depends how much food I actually catch. Appreciate the follow as well, M. Happy days. Yeah, let's go do some fishing, get some food. And then we'll uh, head off, pop that 2,000 experience milestone for the long blunts. And then start leveling up the shorts. Golden. Yeah, it looks like we won't be doing any meal prep today though, because I'm not going to have enough fish. But I'll make a really quick meal. And then we'll probably do the meal prep tomorrow. Appreciate the follow as well, Sith. Sith Yoshi, happy days. <laughs> if only Mario knew. Do you need a... Uh, do you need bait to fish? Uh, if you're using a fishing rod, you need some form of bait, yeah. But with the crafted spears, well, any spear really, um, they have the benefit of not needing any bait. You just stab the water freely, so... They're super convenient, because spears aren't even that expensive to make either. So if you have a spear, you have a way to kill zombies and a way to get food, which is nice and convenient. But yeah, fishing rods, uh, whether they're homemade fishing rods, so crafted fishing rods or proper fishing rods, those two both require uh, some bait. Or, you know, at the very least, they need fishing tackle, you know. To be fair, I don't even think I need to do any cooking, do I? Because I'm not even hungry. I'll have one of these, just to keep his hunger away. Uh, Mario did abuse, the, <laughs> did abuse him. That is accurate. I can't say I blame him for turning. Yoshi did nothing wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's head off and uh, go do some more killing. Just getting started into Project Zomboy. It's a lot. It's a lot. A lot. Yeah, there's a lot of info. But the good thing is, a lot of it you can ignore until you're ready to learn it. As long as you learn the fundamentals, you know. How do I fight zombies? Where do I get loot? How do I take care of my food and water? How do I maintain my body weight? How do I find a safe place to sleep? You know, your basic survival needs, really. You know, food, water, shelter, done. Everything else you can take your time with learning, because as long as you're alive, you are technically winning, so... There's no rush to, uh, you know, build a base, get rain collectors done, find out what the best clothing is, repair all the cars. Like, you can take as long as you want for all of that. It's all luxury, you know. I understand why they all must die. Yes, killing is more important. Yes. This is this the work. This is the work we were born for. Yes, murder comes before everything. 
Also, hello, premium. Hello, hello. <laughs> New Indiana Jones movie is ass. I've heard nothing but bad things, but... I stopped watching Indiana Jones around the time of the Crystal Skull. I heard nothing but bad things about that as well. <laughs> so... <laughs> I will just leave it with my good memories. With Ark of the Covenant and such, I do not need to see the new ones. It's one of those trial by error games. It is, yeah. Every time you die, you'll learn something new. You know, there'll be something new to learn as to why you died, and you'll just know for next time. It'll be a little better, a little bit better. It's a rogue-like game without being a rogue-like game. <laughs> It builds its, like, high-level gear on game knowledge. That's its currency. The more you play, the more you learn. The more you learn, the longer you survive. Happy days. It's just sad. Just very sad. See, I keep hearing people say that there's... There's a female main character, and it's supposed to be another Mary Sue, but the term, like, Mary Sue gets thrown around so often now, I don't know if they're actually being serious, or if it's just an exaggeration. But I... Honestly don't care. Because <laughs> I don't I don't plan on seeing the movie. But, yeah. The Crystal Skull was supposedly, like, really bad as well, but I wouldn't know, because I don't... I haven't watched it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I will let my my childhood movie icons remain pure in my mind for now. I'll probably watch it, like, uh, eventually I'll probably end up watching it and I'll ruin it for myself, but for the time being, I'm going to keep my childhood memories alive and well. Crystal Skull was still good, though. See, I heard, like, like it wasn't as bad as what I'm hearing now, but I heard mixed things about that one. I heard diehard fans say it was, like, fucking awful, and I heard casual moviegoers say it was great. But I heard it was a mixture of, like, really bad acting in parts, really bad CGI parts in others, and then just a really wacky storyline. But, uh... Yeah, I know bits and pieces. I already know, like, I've had it spoiled for me, because it's, like, God knows how old now. But, um... Yeah, I haven't actually watched it for myself, so I don't really have an opinion on it. Die Hard's always gonna have reboots. God, how many are they on now? They're on Die Hard 5, aren't they? They haven't made them, though. I think they're done with it, because Bruce Willis has got medical issues now. Yeah, the last Die Hard was the one with his son, wasn't it? Like, they brought, like, like, they just revealed that he has a son, that his son's, like, a fugitive or something like that. Something along those lines. What's your favorite in-game car aesthetic-wise? The step van, because I'm a really big fan of cuboids. I like squares and anything like cube-shaped. <laughs> That's my jam. Oh, sorry, you were saying Die Hard's are always going to have... Oh, I hate reboots. Oh, I thought you were talking about Die Hard movies. Like, the Die Hard movies themselves with Bruce Willis. <laughs> God, I need to wear some fucking glasses or some shit, because I keep misreading things constantly. I know it's a lot to read, but goddamn, I, like, misread entire fucking conversations sometimes. <laughs> I go off on my own fucking tangent. I go on side quests with these conversations. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Willis, yeah, he's got dementia, yeah, so he's kind of like... Wrapping things up, which is completely understandable. But yeah, no, you are right, though. Die Hard fans are always going to moan about things. Everyone's got a perfect idea of what the movie should be like. You have to present your presentation... Oh, your documentation to your department in, like, 40 minutes. You've got this... Just have to believe. I'm sure that will work, right? Need glasses, Lamprey? Apparently so. 
Because while I'm trying to fight zombies, I'm skimming through chat, but I misread things, like, every few minutes. Because, you know, call me a creature of habit, but I do like keeping my ca my character alive. So I don't tend to spend a lot of time reading everything as slowly as I should. Why not loot buildings for more guns? Eh, it's just because we don't need them, you know. I'll loot them all eventually, but I'm not hurting for guns or anything in particular at the moment. I will go through them all eventually just to find all the hidden zombies and go looting for anything that I'm missing, but... At this moment in time, apart from like a big bag of yeast, there's nothing I really want in many of these houses. What traits do you have on? Uh, if you type an exclamation mark traits, that will give you the command for that one. And that will show you what my character build is like on day one. Right, we should be over 2,000 experience now. 2013, happy days. So we can switch over to the shore blunts now. Oh, already time to have a rest. Did you back up on your 10-year-old save? No. Like, I probably did have backups. I don't recall ever using any, though. I have introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. No, that 10-year game was done without any save scumming or anything of, of that sort. Not a big fan of save scumming. You know, doing it with bugs, you can justify it, but... Really don't like doing it. But no, I don't recall my character ever having any shenanigans on that one. But you are asking about a game that is... Fucking how old now? <laughs> like three years old? wielding pipes. Yeah, there's no real benefit to this. It's just so that I don't have to grab it from my bag in a minute. So when the pipe I'm using breaks, I'll just grab the one from my other hand. Just swap over really quickly. Good stuff. Worship and praying. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's all about that WAP. I'm all about that worship and praying. Fuck's sake. Is the map based on America? It's based on a small part of Kentucky in the United States. But yeah, it's not like the whole country or anything. It's just part of one of the one of their states. Yeah, like they take liberties with the geography and such, but you know, it's an isometric game that's based on like a tile system, so it's not going to be like perfectly accurate. Yeah, let me make my way back to my van now. Let's just grab a small chunk from here. Just do a few at a time. Hey, 
How does one acquire spear? Well, first you sign away your soul on the blood god. And then you sell whatever fragments you have left to the spear gods and the RNG gods. And then you grab yourself a plank or a tree branch and a knife of some kind. And then you can make a spear. <laughs> but if you want to know like all the all the tools, all the things you can use to make a spear, it's under the crafting recipe. So it's in the survivalist category, but yeah, it's literally just uh, this one here. So those are the like the materials you can use. So planks or tree branches, and then any type of blade really, anything that's sharp. But uh, I would suggest waiting until you're level three carpentry so that your spears are all in good condition. And preferably wait until you're level 4 maintenance, so they have a bit of durability to them. Just so they don't break instantly, because they are incredibly fragile weapons. So they're more reliant on having a high maintenance level than anything else in the game, really. Time to have a rest. Meaning the soul selling part. Eh, just look on Craigslist. I'm sure there's someone like <laughs> wanting to do like a swap. My soul for a spear. Can you repair items in this game? You can, yeah. So, like, weapons and tools and such, they rely mostly on wood glue or duct tape. But you can use adhesive tape, duct tape, wood glue, and just regular glue as well. And then it, like, stuff like uh, tailoring, so your clothing, you know. If I have, like, a regular t-shirt, I can repair it if I have a high enough tailoring skill. And a bit of cloth and some thread. And then, you know, denim for jeans and leather for leather coats, you know, material, same material for same thing. And then cars, you can repair parts of those with either replacing the parts completely or a high metalworking skill, a mechanic skill, and, you know, propane, propane torch, welding mask, all that good jazz, all that good jazz. When is the loose session? Not today. you passed up uh, that other streamer now. Oh, you switched to straight up killing. Yeah, that was a while ago now. But yeah, I had too many people coming into my chat and annoying me. <laughs> like, constantly asking me, like, when am I going to catch up? When am I going to overtake? Why am I being so slow with killing? And it's because we were doing a lot of base building at the time and stuff like that. So I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll do killing, okay? If we're going to be sweaty, I'll be sweaty. And lo and behold, I was sweaty and now I'm like nearly a hundred thousand ahead. Yes, but it's only really because I stream this full time, you know. A lot of the other people who do these types of runs, they don't stream it full time, they stream other things as well. So I just have a time advantage, not a skill advantage, you know. <laughs> I just play this a lot more. But um, no, now that I'm so far ahead, I'll probably slow down again and just go back to doing more casual base building and such. Like, I'll still do tons of killing and stuff, but I don't want to do more more looting and all that stuff again. I do miss the looting and the base building.
Oh yeah, and they also repair spike uh, spike baseball bats, yeah, and planks as well. Exception to the rule. Everyone likes the spike bats. Good fun. <laughs> Yes, kill, maim, burn, let chaos consume you. Yes, blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Three hits, you tanky bastard. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. And I'm almost back to where my van is now, so we should have another group waiting for us. Let's see what we're working with. How many more? Nice and chill. It's enough. God, I'm still used to that long blunt range. It keeps swinging way too early. <laughs> Again. <laughs> So I'm just going to ditch just a couple of layers because he's just overheating a little bit too much. Oh. Here we go. Panic, yeah, uh, fuck you over melee wise. Uh, cause I know it does range wise. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing for both of them. So the terminology is the high, well, the higher panic, the lower your accuracy. But in Project Zomboid, like the dictionary for Project Zomboid, accuracy equals damage. That's what accuracy means in the game. So if you have a high panic, well, if your character is panicking like a tremendous amount, it doesn't lower your accuracy in terms of, like, your chance to hit with guns or with melee weapons. It's the same either way. However, you will do significantly less damage with both of them, depending on how panicked you are. But I think it goes up to, like, minus 40% at peak when you're, like, at max. I might be wrong, because it's been a while since my character's had to deal with panic that high. But I'm pretty sure it's 40 you know, in the best case scenario, it's 20, but I'm pretty sure it's 40. Also, yeah, it's it's why you see people like myself taking the brave trait, because it just helps tremendously over the long run. Because making yourself, you know, as close to immune to panic as possible is hilariously good for combat, because you don't have to worry about dealing with beta blockers from now until the end of time. Your character's always as cool as a cucumber.
good sign there. And back we go again. Chronic Trays, challenge to overcome. Well, that's why taking things like Agoraphobic are just really bad choices. Like, long-term, short-term, doesn't matter. Like, th something like Agoraphobic is just dog shit. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, if I'm outside, I'm always going to panic. And if I'm always panicking, I'm always going to have a combat debuff. Like, claustrophobic's not so bad, because, you know, it's only if you're indoors. And over the long term, it, like, understand. slowly becomes better. Must die. Yeah, even having mild panic outside. Yes. This is the work it we were sucks, because that's what you do most of your combat. It's not a good time. And yes, everything has to die. Them's the rules. I don't make them, I just follow them. They were here when I made the channel. I just have to kill everything. Minecraft even means open floor plan base. See, it's not even that bad, like, later on in the game. If you take claustrophobic, like, after, like, several months of being alive, you only really panic if you're in a room that's 3x3. Three three. So it's like, really, the only rooms that are like that are closets and bathrooms. Not even all of the bathrooms, just, like, a handful of them. So it's incredibly manageable. It's not even that difficult at that point. It just really sucks in the early games. You can't sleep inside buildings unless you start, you know... Uh, using things like beta blockers or alcohol, you know, things to, like, kind of cheese your way into the house. But agoraphobic is just bad on day one, and then slightly better later on, but still incredibly bad. <laughs> you know, even though there's some from Weird Al's cover, <laughs> that's what most people know from now. Giving that Weird Al Star Wars cover. being sarcastic. He's fun. I like him. Now, Weird Al is a national treasure. No sarcasm. He is to be protected at all costs. Grenade would be nice. No grenades. No explosives. We will use the old ways. It must be intimate. We have to greet every zombie face to face like a gentleman. National more like global, yeah, accurate. <laughs> He's spry as hell for a guy his age. I mean, how old is Weird Al now? He strikes me as the type of person that's that's like in his mid sixties or seventies. Wrench in the last log? No, it was already on its last legs. Like, it already had only- it only had, like, one hit point left. It wasn't gonna last very long. That's why I got my, uh, my nightstick ready in my offhand, because I knew it wasn't gonna last a tremendously long time. But I'm not a big fan of waste. I like to use everything. Well, everything that's useful to me.
Maybe it's still. Short blunt time? Yeah, yeah, short blunt time. Yeah, we finished with our long blunts for the day. Short blunts now get to have their moment in the spotlight. Let's head home now, because it's almost 9 o'clock, and I want to try and get myself back on a normal sleep schedule. So we'll try and make 9 o'clock our cutoff time. When do you think was the hardest part of this playthrough? Uh, day one. Literally the second I spawn. That's literally the hardest part of every game. <laughs> but yeah, now after we survive the first day, it's not that bad, honestly. It's literally just getting out of the town initially. Which the first were more impressive? I always find the graphics a bit, yeah, lackluster. I mean, if you check the Thursday posts, they are changing the fire for build 42. Or, well, if it's not 42, it'll be a later build after that. But they, uh, they have changed the animations and such for them. Yeah, they do look mighty spicy, if I do say so myself. I should do. And we'll come back here tomorrow. Fucking cheeky answer. I mean, day one is like objectively the hardest part, really. <laughs> Unless you're running something like evolving zombies or something, where they like eventually turn into sprinters or something crazy. Honestly, the hardest part is literally just the start of the game, because you have nothing to your name. You have no skills, no equipment, no safe haven, so you got to start from scratch. Yeah, it's not that bad, honestly, because because nothing like gameplay-wise has changed in terms of like updates and stuff like that for quite a long time. I've got a tried and tested method for, like, consistently doing time 16 runs without too much headache or effort, really, regardless of the settings. You know, exception being sprinters. <laughs> I'll leave that one for another time. But yeah, it's not that bad, honestly. The Molotov- yeah, throwing the Molotov VX. Yeah, it goes back to the 2D sprite and stuff, and you can't really tell exactly where it's gonna land. Oh, hello, random helicopter. You understand why they all must die. Yes, this is the work we were born for. Hello, alive. Welcome on back. Yes, and everything has to die. This is our purpose. There's two ways to cure the virus, and we are definitely choosing the more fun of the two. Violence is almost always the right answer in video games.
then you will die braver than most. Yeah, what if the souls of the people are still trapped in there? If there's any consciousness. I wonder if there are braver zombies than others. <laughs> I wonder if they are in there. There are some of them that try and bite you just out of spite because they got bit themselves. Did you create these mini videos yourself? Did you find them on the site? No, I just make them all myself. It's only rotoscoping. And as long as the video is like relatively high res, you know, anything like at least 720 and above, it's not that bad because After Effects has a built in um, roto brush. So it's like the poor man's rotoscoping tool. So it's basically instead of going frame by frame and like cutting out everything with the pen tool and creating a bunch of masks. You're just using the roto brush to just highlight the things that you want After Effects to like actually uh, keep intact while it removes everything else. And it normally does a pretty good job of doing that. And then afterwards then you can clean things up with the pen tool to make it look all spicy and clean. But I can make one of those um, channel redeems in about like... Well now that my computer's been upgraded and it doesn't take a lifetime for After Effects to work out what it's doing. I can do it in about 30 or 40 minutes to make one of those. But it depends how long it is. And how scuffed the quality is. <laughs> Cause like doing like doing those channel redeems for like old movies, like things that are like clearly like 360 or 240p. Oh fuck, they hurt. Those ones, they you have to do that manually by hand. And it sucks. <laughs> Which is why there aren't that many of them anymore. Because they are very time consuming and they're not worth the effort sometimes. Right, but yeah, we'll do some of this in the morning. So I'll leave all of you here to defrost overnight. I'll leave them on the ground as well. And then we'll do some fishing when we wake up. And then we can do all of our meal prep. Uh, are these zombies actually looking older than day one? Or is it just you or your mind playing tricks? Uh, no, the clothing gets decayed, if you want to call it that. The longer you survive, so they'll have more holes in the clothing and such. I don't know if, like, if anything else changes visually, you know, if the bodies look more rotten or anything like that. I haven't noticed it personally, but I don't tend to look at them very often. But yeah, the clothing gets um, downgraded the longer your game goes on for. You'll find the clothes are in worse condition overall. Is After Effects really taxing? Eh, not really. I don't know if you if you mean like taxing on me mentally or taxing on my computer, but it's not that bad either way. You know. After Effects used to struggle on my PC because my... My SSD was a big hunk of mess that was dying. And After Effects did not like that. <laughs> so, it took like... Trying to, like, render, like, a couple of frames or trying to edit, like, one or two things would make it crash constantly. Which is why I didn't, like, add channel, like, extra channel redeems for, like, such a long time. Because it was like, oh, I, I can't, I can't mentally be doing this. This was not our destiny. Times change. Times have changed. But yeah, now that I've got my new SSD and everything's running nice and smoothly, I can just pump out channel redeems like one a day if I want to, if not more. So it's not that bad. It's nice and chill now. You seen the scary movie? I have indeed. Long time ago, but I have seen scary movie. Yep, stabbing and you still get socks. Not only do I get socks, I get socks that are in perfect condition with no holes. <laughs> He's a master at catching those rogue socks in the river. Appreciate the followers, Mel, as well, Mizu. Hey, we were born on the same year. Happy days. 96 for life. <laughs> the last of the millennials. 
We will outlive the rest of them. It is our destiny. What the fuck was that? Glorious purpose. You gotta challenge the zombie to oh the, the Makora. <laughs> as long as it's one on one, like one on one melee combat, yeah, I've got this. It'll be fine, you know. Or one on one with weapons, I like my chances. You know, so long as they're not allowed to bring all their friends, we're good to go. It'll be fine. Like in a loop for both. I I dare not question this man's methods. He he has tricks up his sleeve that we dare not think about. <laughs> Maybe yeah, let's do our meal prep now. Appreciate the follow as well. Cream, <laughs> cream pie, rosebud. Nice. I'm sure your name does not mean what I think it means. I'm just being very childish. I'm childish as well. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Love the name. And one luck. And we're good to go. Is that gold? It is indeed. I love gold. He has been stolen from the cemetery because dead people, surprise, surprise, are very bad at guarding their ship. But yeah, it's one of those little Easter egg items. But you can grab him from the, one of the mausoleums. He's just sat there waiting to be taken. But you can grab him if you have a sledgehammer or if you want to risk burning the building down with fire or anything of the sort. But it's a reference to the good, the bad, the ugly. The cheeky ecstasy of gold. It's very nice. Is your Xbox name for 20 years? Fair. <laughs> you gotta stick to, uh, to, to tradition. Can't break that. Uh, fair play. On average, how many zombies do you think you kill in a day? Uh, well... We know from my character what he does, because we have a mod that tells us. But so far we've averaged 412.4 kills. Uh, on average, like per day, from day one up until this point. So that includes all the like early days as well, where we, we, where we weren't killing anything. In real time though, like per stream, it depends. Like If I'm going all out on killing with like really efficient weapons and I'm being really sweaty, we can kill up to about like... 12 to 15,000 in one stream. If we're just doing like a really laid back stream where we're just kind of, we're killing but we're not going really hard on it, about five, five, seven thousand. Because like so far today we've done about four or five thousand, but um, we've still got at least two and a half hours minimum. But we'll probably go for at least maybe three and a half today.
What's a surprise? You still have electricity? It's because I got all my generators outside. All of these little ones. The power went off years ago in game time. But I keep everything powered with my own generators. So we have... Oh god, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight generators, I think, running my base. Like, it's completely unnecessary. Most of them are just running lights, honestly. There's only one that's actually powering something useful, and that's that one there. That one powers all my ovens and fridges and stuff. But, um, yeah, the other ones are outside, just powering all the lamps and such. Solar or gas powered. There's only gas at the moment in vanilla. Yeah, there are mods for, like, solar panel and wind turbines and all that stuff, but we are doing a pretty, well, pretty much a vanilla run. So, let me just grab one snack. Uh, so yeah, they are all powered by gasoline. Yeah, let's go get some more kills. <laughs> you normally mod every game you run, so good to know. Yeah, fair. Yeah, but I got one generator over by the fishing shack, the bass of operations. <laughs> There's another one. Here's another one there, just to power all the lights on this side. There's another one over there, to power the lights over here. And... There's, god, how many more? Like, five more generators on the main road through here, just powering all these street lights and the floodlights and such. But, you know, all of these ones are, like, completely unnecessary, but I like... I like my giant uber base. And so I want to power all the lights inside the military base and such. Make it look all proper and fancy. Means mass graves? No, it's not mass graves. <laughs> it's just, um, just buildings that we've looted. Hello, hello. I didn't even see you. Cheeky shoulder bump. But yeah, on the map, anytime we go through a building and we loot everything, we just mark it with an X. So, like West Point, for example. All of the buildings that are marked with an X, we've gone through and looted everything in those buildings. All the ones that have circles. I've been inside of them, and I've looted maybe a few bits of pieces, but there's still loot in those buildings. And then any of the ones that have black Xs, I've gone inside the building, I've killed everything, I've looted everything, but I've also dismantled all the furniture as well, so there's no more nails to be got, because... Base building gets a little bit out of hand sometimes in terms of, like, getting nails. So, instead of relying on, like, finding boxes of nails, you'll usually start dismantling all the furniture to get them in bulk. Because you can normally get about, like, 50 to 100 nails per house, depending on size. Appreciate the follow as well, Super Jolly Green. How often do you refuel them? Once a stream. Like, at the very beginning of the stream, I normally go around and refuel all my generators and repair them all to max. And then I can just forget about them for the entire stream then. I don't have to look at them, because I know they're not going to go down to, like, less than 25% condition. So they're not going to explode. And I don't have to worry about them running out of fuel either, because the stream only goes on for, like, 10 to 12 hours. Which I know is a huge amount of time, but in game time, that's about 15 to 20 days. Which is not enough to, like, deplete all those generators. So it's nice and, uh, nice and under control. And, uh, Fow as well. Happy day. Fow Darza. Appreciate the follow. Level up. I don't even know why you're asking, Lodi, because you've been here so long, you're well aware of what leveled up. <laughs> Stop asking questions that you know the answer to, Lodi. You can't even say it's because I lurk. I know you know the answer to that one. <laughs> you need to stop asking questions you know the answer to. Because you ask the same few questions every single stream. And it's getting a little bit irritating. You prefer the mass graves? <laughs> Markings you got. Like you got tired of burying them. Fair. 
Just want people to talk a bit. Yeah, but don't. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Stop. It's really annoying. Because, <laughs> like, every stream you ask the same few things. Am I going to repair my car? Am I doing my axes today? What just leveled up? How is the trapping looking? It's like, you're here every day. <laughs> you know exactly what's going on. You know all the answers to these questions. Just silence. I'd rather my chat be completely dead than you and like keep asking the same questions over and over again. Because I don't mind when someone new asks if they like are completely oblivious, but you are here literally every day for the entire stream. And it's been like four months of you asking the same questions. You live here. You literally do. Like, I, 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 I go through all my analytics. You are, I think, the third most talkative person in my stream. Of everyone who turns up, you have made the most comments in my chat. You're in, like, you're on the podium. You're number three. <laughs> so, I know you're here all the time. Like, I have analytical data to back it up. <laughs> so you just need to stop, like, asking the same things. Like, I'm not, like, having a go at you, but, my god, you need to chill, please, for the love of god. Otherwise, I'll have to start timing you out some more. <laughs> Four months, yeah, in real time, not game time, real time. So it's like, I'm a really patient man, but, my god, I, I am a mortal creature, I have limitations. <laughs> Is this game, say, four months old? I thought it was two years. No, two years is the in-game time. Four months is, like, the real time. We've been playing this since, like, the 3rd of March, 2023. <laughs> Third, you could do better. You better watch out or I'll make the list. And almost there. It's only going to be a half day of killing anyway, because we spent the first half doing meal prep. Yep, on the wrong, wrong road. Who's first and second? Those are- those be secrets. I will not reveal any more information. <laughs> Classified. Done the locking key. Pro is La Lamprey's mods. I have no mods. I'm a one-man show. I do everything myself. Oh. To be fair, that's a lie. I don't have any moderators, but I don't technically do everything myself. There's so many of you who know the commands off by heart now, and you beat me to it, like, half the time. <laughs> so, I can't even say I do everything myself anymore. And a lot of you get the, uh, the settings of the traits commands, like Kiona and Ali and such, and Sparrows. But no, I, I don't have a need for moderators. Not at this current time. Can you write words on the road with bodies <laughs> and the position of the bodies by killing them? You can. I'm not going to, but you can. No. Normally, like, tradition dictates that we draw a massive cock in the road. We normally do that at some point, and we haven't done it on this run yet, so I'll probably draw a massive phallus at some point, but not right now. <laughs> I'm in too chill of a mood to be drawing giant penises in the road today. I'm just vibing, just letting my character level up a little bit. Just enjoying how chill everything is. You've been bad. Oh, you've been timed out, Lodi. I've timed you out one time. No. People who get banned don't get second chances. <laughs> I'm not the type of person to do, like, unban requests. No, I do like small timeouts if you're a handful, but very rarely, but no. You're normally not that bad, Lodi. Cheeky little head pat, you know. You're an annoying little turd, but you're an acceptable turd. <laughs> I 
Well, I uh, appreciate the follow as well, Flame. Happy days. No mods, because you can't be fuck paying them. I mean, I'd give, I'd give a record, but that's actually the answer. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of accepting help unless I'm giving you something in return. And it usually has to be monetary value. So if I was going to have moderators on my channel, I would like to pay them. You know, it wouldn't like, it doesn't have to be a lot of money, but there has to be something financial backing it. So I know that at the very least you have incentive to do your job properly. You know, even if it is only like, you know, a part-time gig when you happen to be here. But no, giving moderated privileges out randomly to just people who are here constantly, I'm not a big fan of that. I've been there, I've tried it, it was a terrible idea, it backfired immensely. <laughs> and I won't do it again. No. I will, uh, I will stick to how things are for the time being. Because anyway, don't even need moderators to be honest, like... If, if you guys step out of line and get too rowdy, when I tell you to shut up, you normally shut up. You know. I, I take off the belt and I raise it above my head and you start behaving then. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, generally I don't need to do any moderation because you're all pretty much good as gold. You're all nice and chilled out. Which is fantastic. It's the best type of chat. Nice and relaxed. Ain't channel points. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a few extra free redeems. You get to call in one extra helicopter. Yeah. The streamer need advice. They're surely not backseating. Oh, don't even start with that. <laughs> it's like making your friends cops just because you're your friend. Yeah, similar idea, yeah. No, I made a few people mods in the past. Two of them didn't really do anything, which was fine by me. That works out nicely. But the third one, like, went all fucking tyrannical, changing all my chat settings and stuff. And that is a big fucking no-no. Because it wouldn't have been so bad if they asked me beforehand, but they fucked around with all of my chat settings without even asking me. And it's like, oh, no, you can't be doing that. That's a big fucking no-no. And then they uh, threw themselves a pity party and tried to guilt trip me when I took away their moderator privileges. So yeah, <laughs> not a big fan of it. No, I'd rather do more work and do it myself. Some mods and some channels. Yeah, some people just like having the power. They let it go to their head. Less mods, the better. Yeah, it's quality over quantity. It's... I mean, you don't really need to have any moderators on your channel. Like, it, obviously, it depends on what type of channel you have, you know. Having a channel that has, like, 100 or 200 plus viewers, like you guys, is very much different to having 100 or 200 if, you know, I was one of those uh, more reactionary streamers, you know, where it's always, like, streamer versus chat, and, you know, it's always pretty fucking rowdy. It's different ideas then, but for you guys, you know, even a channel of this size, it doesn't need any moderators. You know, the chat's not that rowdy. You guys are pretty well behaved. And anyone who does come in and start spamming stuff, it only takes like 10 seconds just to ban them. So it's not even that much effort. Nice and chill. It's fun clicking on things. You will never be my mo moderator ever again. You fucked with all of my chat settings. I have told this story so many times, Farmer. Yeah, I was not happy with you. Not happy. There's a profanity filter. What else do you need? I mean, that takes care of, like, a bulk, the bulk of you. Gets most of the bots, uh, done. Now, I'm not gonna ban him. I gave him a big fucking slap on the wrist and told him to stop being a silly cunt. But, uh, no. It's done, it's over, it's finished. I'm pretty sure he apologized. <laughs> but yeah, you fucked around with all of my settings when you shouldn't have. And that's the reason I got rid of all of my moderators. Never been a mod here? Is it not you? Oh no, it's because you got fucking Farmer in your name. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Farmer, why have you got to say shit like that? You got me confused with someone else. No, it was Drunken Farmer, not Muck Farmer. 
See, I'm being like, I've got a stigma against farmers now. Anyone who's got a farmer in their name, I've fucking got eyesights on you now. I'm locked in. Like, <laughs> I'm on guard. No, I thought it was you for a second just because of what you said. But no, it was someone called Drunken Farmer who did it. No, you had me fucked up then. I was like, wait, was it you? You got who it was for a moment then. <laughs> well, no, appreciate the follow as well. Uh, uh, Pleaflix, happy days. It's farmer. No, it wasn't Muck Farmer, though. It was someone else. Someone else who had Farmer in their name. No, do not do not shame this man. This man is... He may be a farmer, but he's an acceptable farmer. He's just doing honest work. <laughs> yeah, just, just gonna blame Muck Farmer. He's the only he's the only farmer here now, or someone's gotta take the rap for it. You catch the wrong person off, so release him. Now we're about to plant some charges on him. <laughs> My farmer's going away for a long time. I gotta save face. I don't make mistakes. It was definitely him. <laughs> Take him away, boys. Take him to the Shadow Realm. change. Goodbye, farmer. <laughs> Got to time this man out for a year to save face. <laughs> My farmer planted the cocaine found in the White House. He waits here and comes back. I didn't hear no fucking bell. Let's go for round two, motherfucker. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> He's gonna become so powerful that the timeout button just doesn't have any effect on him anymore. Farmers are patient people. That we are. I will wait for a very long time for my revenge. It will be biblical. Also, my frame rate is starting to hurt a little bit. I may need to relaunch my game, I think, because my game keeps stuttering, and that ain't good. Yeah, let me give my game a very quick, very quick refresh. He's just not having a good time, but he's been running for about, well, almost eight hours, so just a very quick refresh should uh, fix that one. It might fuck up my game audio, but it should be fine. It'll only be like a two-second fix. Right, let's relaunch you. Seeing a lot of quotes from movies. I haven't seen it in a long time. I haven't seen it too long for... Uh... Yep, game audio is still A-OK. -okay. Fantastic. But yeah, my game shouldn't start now. And we've only got a few more hours anyway, so it should be pretty chill. Gotta love how 90% of the population is hiding. Oh yeah, there's a massive group nearby. So, we drove down there earlier. Like, a few hours ago in stream time. 
but there's a tall wire fence just slightly northeast of where we currently are, and it tanked my frame rate down to like less than 20. I think it was less than 10 at one point as well. So I don't think we'll be killing them today because I don't have a tremendous amount of time left, and it looks like a few thousand. But I would like to at least free them so I can start chipping away. We need to, oh, the game was rigged from the start claim. That could probably work, actually. That's not a bad show. I might have to look and see if I can find, like, a nice high-quality version of that. A groovy baby. Oh, that's another one. I need some, uh, I need some Ash. <laughs> ash has got plenty of good quotes. Also, I am already overheating. Let's go see how many more we have around the van. Who knows? If the van is pretty clear, I might even go through that giant group that we saw. Maybe. Possibly. You remember Ashmore and Austin Powers? Oh, I need to add some more. I need to, well, I say some more. Any Austin Powers. There's plenty of good clips from that one. You are quoting Austin Powers, but Ash is also very sexy. Fair. Yeah, they're both pretty good, yeah. You only watched Army of Darkness? Well, I'll have to rewatch it all again. I, I didn't even finish watching the show, because the, sh the show got cancelled, didn't they? I think on like its last season, I think they uh, they didn't finish it off, did they? Like Ash vs Evil Dead, that is. <laughs> They're coming to get you, Barbara. No, I won't have that one. <laughs> it's a good one, but no, D Jackson's got that on his stream. I don't want to like start copying his channel reviews. Feels a little bit cheesy doing that. Also, hello, ants. Hello, hello. Yeah, we are clear back here. Well. Let me go and have a gander. And see how many zombies we have, because it should be... Yeah, not this turning, but the next turning. They should be all stuck on the wire fence. Yeah, keep an eye on that number up there, because it should start dropping as we get closer. Yeah, it's already going down to like 40s, 30s. <laughs> Getting lower and lower. 20s, 30s, 20s again. I 
it's really shagadelic, babe. <laughs> Fucking love Austin Powers. I've lost my mojo. Yeah, that is very spicy. We'll have to find a little nook that I can pop a hole in the fence and let you guys out. And Jesus Christ, my brother in Christ, what have you brought upon this cursed land? Lots of zombies. All the zombies. Yeah, let's take care of all of these guys first. And here's sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Yeah, it's pretty chill around here. Let's make sure the van is still cool. Yeah, the van's still pretty cool for the most part. That's a Black Friday sale or something. Possibly. Maybe. I'm not even that familiar with Black Friday. How old is Black Friday? It seems like a really modern thing. We will ride into battle. And this will be our horse. Ooh, the helicopters is well. Spicy times. Had to help gather the crowds. Appreciate it. I think we pretty much have everyone in this area, though. I don't know, unless there's like a small horde making its way to me. Apart from the one stuck behind the fence, I think we have everyone. And I don't think they can find their way out, so I don't expect them to come down to this area. We'll just grab these ones first. And I'll pop a hole in the fence afterwards. Because there's bound to be a little spot that I can lure them out at. And as soon as I let them out into this area, tracking them down tomorrow will be nice and easy. Very calmly, very politely, tell the risk assessors to fuck off. Yes, it'll be fine. Tell all the risk assessors to fuck off. What's the worst that could happen? We're only going to pop a hole through a fence that leads to a few thousand zombies while our frame rate is completely tanked and there's significant input delay. It'll be fine. Uh, you gamble points... You gamble... Wait, you gamble channel points... Wait, what? <laughs> You've lost me. Oh, you can gamble channel points. Oh, sign me the fuck up. Yeah. We don't tend to do the gamblers very often. Just because we like something to be, like, high stakes, or at least out of my hands. Because we used to do it just for, like, will I get this many kills per day? But the answer was almost always yes. Because it was always... It had to be, like, a reasonable, like, achievable n um, number, but... Because it was always too achievable, we always won. So it got a little bit boring. Appreciate the follow as well, little Irish guy. Happy days. Did your message go through? Uh, depends which one it was. I don't see anything. Rude question, how many kills are you on now? We are on 405,702. In the bottom right corner. Just that one over there. Did you surpass Stalin yet? Not quite. I'm working on it, but... In my defense... 
I don't have the same resources he had. My people are less cooperative with my Italian rule. My Iron Fist does not reach that far over Kentucky, apparently. I don't know, maybe I need to equip a scythe as well, or a sickle. <laughs> Appreciate the followers as well. Lucky Ducky, Retro, and Mech. Mechtus11, happy days. Let's skedaddle, because it is the end of the day. It's my cue to go home. You're off to play games? Have this uh, run on your phone? Hey, no worries. Appreciate the luck. I'll catch you later. Oh, you are hogging my van, you little bastards. So I'm not going to be able to get you back. Not right now. Yeah, I should be able to. Maybe. Just need to get you before they catch up. <laughs> Make someone look easy. I do try. See, so they keep spamming Q, otherwise they'll go back to my truck. Ah, oh, don't be a bunch of little bastards. <laughs> they just want to stay near my truck. So if there's even one next to my truck, I can't get in safely. Yeah, that's far enough away. I'm a skedaddle. I'm out of here. Yeah. Spicy groups. We'll come back out here tomorrow. So welcome back, Night Hunter. Hello, hello. Nice to see you, Grook. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the hand scythe is amazing for the 10 seconds you get to use it. Fairly accurate. Yes, small horde. Baby horde. Little, cute, adorable horde. Beautiful. Gotta pretend like a, si like a horde of that size isn't troublesome. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I could definitely kill them. I just choose not to. Yeah, I'm just going home voluntarily. <laughs> now, that hold is a bit of a handful, even for a character of my level. Uh, that is a good few hours, if not half a day, of chipping away at them. Spicy groups. Appreciate the followers as well, Garbage Boy. Happy days. Yeah, it's just, he's got one giant right arm. His left is just puny. Swinging that weapon all day. But what the hell is working? Definitely brought a few more of them in, definitely. Throwing zombies are nothing more than an inconvenience. All I see are more assets. More numbers to add to my kill total. On the, on the long road, that is my beautiful progress. Your neighborhood sirens just started sounding. It sounds like someone in your neighborhood is trying to, like, lure a horde in and do some killing. You should probably go watch. <laughs> sounds troublesome. Someone's definitely trying to lure a horde into your street. Yeah, I might have to check my tires legs. My car just feels a little unresponsive. Feels a little bit slow. Like, I don't kind of expect to make amazing turns at 70 miles per hour. It just feels a little bit off. It's normally tornadoes. Well, 
I know it hasn't worked before, but if you see a tornado, make sure to shoot at it, because that will definitely work. Well, you know, at the very least, blow your hair dryer at it. <laughs> Maybe you'll divert it. <laughs> Have you ever flipped your car from corpses? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Like, I'll do it now on the way back. There should be some dead bodies on the ground. But yeah, rolling a car is, like, of no consequence, really. As long as your car doesn't roll into a tree or a lamppost or anything silly, you're fine. But, um, yeah, you don't take any damage from the ground, neither does your vehicle. So on that front, you are good to go. Yeah, there's not enough bodies on this road. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to do it for the military checkpoints, there's too many fences around there. I will take damage in that area. But yeah, it's not that bad rolling your vans over. It's only really bad if you're in the middle of nowhere or if you're surrounded by zombies. But, um, it's really easy to roll cars back over. And, uh, just to prevent them from rolling in the first place. Yeah, I should be able to roll you over here, actually. Can I roll you? Apparently not. <laughs> Ah, well, maybe next time. But no, I've rolled my cars over many a time. The suspension's not helpful when driving over corpses. I've never bothered testing it, to be honest. I think the car becomes a little bit more rigid when you have good suspension. Like, you know, your car's not going to bounce around as much. But I couldn't tell you if it's actually worth investing your time into. I've not really ever looked into it. And personally, I don't really notice too much of a difference either way. So I'm not too sure, honestly. Are oh, we getting some Black Friday lore? Happy days. Uh, with regard to retail, it started in in the 1950s. Oh, it is old then. I thought it was more of a modern thing. Well, like, when I say modern, I mean, like, post-2000. Fair play. Due to a specific football game in a large city during the afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> that's a really weird reason. That's hilarious. Uh, some say the term was a race based. Oh, fucking, of course. <laughs> right? I'm not going down that rabbit hole any further. I've lost interest in the conversation now. Shit. Like, pull the alarm. It's about to get political. <laughs> fucking go red. Divert. Turn left. They, ch they tried to change it to the Big Friday, but it didn't catch. Yeah. Fair play. Alright, let's drop off some of this stuff. Let's get rid of you. And I'll leave the chipstone over there as well. Yeah, that's good to go. Let's get a few extra calories. Cyber Monday start of 2005? Fair. America political? I know, fucking shocker. <laughs> no, I love, like, joking about politics, but goddamn, the second, the second I read that, it's like, ah, oh, no, it's about to, like, fucking kick off if we go down that avenue. No. No, please, no. <laughs> it's too late in my day to be talking about that shit. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> so much effort. I don't want to walk on eggshells. Your mum called you uh, over to kill a stick bug. They're poisonous to cows, are they? Well, today I learned.
<laughs> Gotta get rid of the stir that pot. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Let's not do that. Anubis tried to eat a stick bug once. Uh, ever seen a, a cat try <laughs> to back away from its own mouth? That's hilarious. Yes. A pet knows that if it exists and it moves, it has to be at least attempted to be eaten at least once. That's the rule. If it moves, I have to eat it. Today I learned lots of, yeah, lots of strange trivia today. A cat named Anubis, I know. There'd be a lot of gods, like, floating around as of late. We've got Anubis, we've got Jeremy. <laughs> They're all just hovering around, kind and benevolent gods. You need obelisk. Maybe. Maybe we need that. Well, that sounds like a lot of effort. Wasn't sure what his name was. Oh, would be. Shelter had named him Blackjack. But Anubis, uh, the name, came to you in a dream the night before when I picked him up. As the cat just telepathically telling you what his name actually was. <laughs> like, my name is Anubis. Call me Blackjack at your own peril. There will be consequences. Grave consequences. On a self-serve, you need an attendant to pump your gas. They are way too enthusiastic about their jobs. I'm a strong, independent man. I don't need no attendant. Please. <laughs> Let me maintain my masculinity and the smell of gasoline. It makes me feel proud and strong when I pump my own gas. Let's make sure there's no zombies back there. One zombie over there. Is there any way to see how much fuel's left in the gas station? No. There are mods for it, as always. But in vanilla, it's just... You pump it until it drains. You know, there's no way to actually tell. Just making sure that one's empty. St. Jersey, get the fuck away from my car. <laughs> uh. Might be in debug. Yeah, it's... There, there's a mod for it, and I'm pretty sure you can do it in debug, but in vanilla base game, you can't tell how much gas is left in the station. All the pumps have their own individual values. But, 
there's no way to know. Which is a shame, because you can't actually tell in real life. I used to work at a petrol station for a very brief moment in my life. It was the worst job I ever had. Um, but now you can take the readings really quickly. It's literally just a little metal stick that goes into the ground. You know, same way you would check your oil for a car. Just a bigger version. <laughs> yeah, every gas station has one. So it would be nice if there was a way to actually see how much they all have. It would be pretty funky. No, it's all independent, so... If I, like, if I drain that gas pump there, I've still got three more at the station I can use. Which is quite handy. And because there are so many gas stations with so many gas pumps all across the map, you know, you're never gonna run out of gasoline. Like, on this run alone, we haven't drained a single one of them. Now, there's probably a few that are probably getting close to empty, maybe. But we've not actually emptied any of the gas pumps yet. Despite running, you know, nearly, you know, half a dozen generators. Well, just over half a dozen generators and running cars constantly as decoys and such. They have a lot of gasoline to offer. Damn, I'm like barely through like 500 experience. I thought I'd be a lot further by now. <laughs> Slacking. Yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be short one for the rest of the stream, I think. At the rate we're going. bunny room. Oh, the house sometimes lose track of him. He just pokes out. <laughs> it just gives you a heart attack. <laughs> Got that real life Project Zomboy jump scare from a rabbit. Happy days. If you were to consolidate all that fuel, I bet you would have drained at least one or two stations. Maybe one or two pumps, yeah. Maybe. So then we could always install the mod later on, like far down the line, you know, to see how much uh, gas is left left in the pumps, just out of curiosity, but you'll know in there. No intention of doing that anytime soon. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, it's literally just... Just for, like, curiosity, really. But yeah, I doubt... Many of them are very close to being drained. But even if they are, there's so many, like, other gas stations around. It's not as if we're gonna go without fuel anytime soon, anyway. Big numbers, Springo Brew. Yeah, let's see if we can cross the five, uh, the 406 mark next. It's only like 250 kills. Yeah. My car got tired. He just needed a very quick, brief power nap. Oh, 
car's got that nimble turn. <laughs> just, my van just wants to flex how, like, nimble and flexible he can be. My van can touch, like, bend over and touch its toes. <laughs> Did really take a flip from the other side. Yeah, as long as you don't let the car settle, you're A-OK, -okay, really. So when the car loses all momentum, you're kind of fucked. You can't flip it back over from there. But as long as the car still has a little bit of movement left, as long as you, like, wiggle the steering wheel a little bit, you can kind of flip it back over in the same way you can in GTA. You know, where, like, if you fuck around with a steering wheel and you hold down to one side, you can roll it back over. Kind of works the same way. It's just that if the car stops, you know, it's, it's done. You'll have to flip it over with another vehicle. stuff. And we should have all the zombies now from yesterday. Just cuddle up around my van. Yeah, we can just chip away at them. Yeah. 202 kills to go. Plenty. At this point, I wonder how big the quarantine zone is and how many people were in it. I mean, the quarantine zone is like the entirety of Louisville, isn't it? It goes around the entire south side. And I wonder how far they moved it back after it was breached. <laughs> I never really look into the into the uh, the lore of the game, but it would be kind of curious to know, like. How quickly it spread. Find a hiding spot inside the lazy boy recliner. As you do. What's the worst that could happen? Seven hundred and eighty-nine thousand. Assuming no one got out of beforehand, so we're making progress. <laughs> we're getting there.
I just realized my switch focus has gone back to nothing, so we have to reload our game. Just gonna have a quick look for some chipstone. It's one. Oh, there's another. I'll come back for that one later, though. Is there any reason to keep looking for chipstone once you got a decent supply of other knives? Uh, yeah, because you can't use knives for stone axes. That's what we're using them for. So, it's not going to be today, but tomorrow, once we finished with the short blunts, if we don't do it today, and we finish with the short, bl uh, short blunts and short blades, then we'll be doing the axes, getting them 2,000 experience. And as many of you who've been around for a while know, I strongly dislike hand axes, fire axes, pickaxes, all of that stuff, because they're all way too heavy. Stone axes, uh, for life. <laughs> Yeah, they do require tree branches and chip stone though. Also, I spy with my little eye a fucking weeaboo stick. Golden. It's been a while since we've seen a, another weeaboo stick. A kanene has been acquired. I keep finding chipped and regular stones. I'm like, do I really need to keep grabbing these? Yeah. it's You only really have to grab chip stone if you want to do stone axes or if you want to have a backup supply for your knives. So make a bunch of stone knives to make your spears. Beyond that, it's really, there's not really a reason to pick up any stone, honestly. Just spears and stone axes. Nice and chill, nice and simple. Also, very convenient to have a bench there. That works out nicely. Hey, Jay. Can't wait for both fully two crafting. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. More craftable weapons as well. Hopefully. They haven't shown any weapons off yet, but I'm hoping for more renewable. Because, I mean, they're adding blacksmithing and such, and they're adding crafting stations, like workstations and such. So hopefully we get some more the word I'm looking for, like refined weapons, you know. If I can make spears, maybe have the possibility of putting like, you know, a steel iron tip at the end, you know. 
I don't know how they would balance it, like, game-wise. They'd probably have to nerf the shit out of the regular crafted spear first to make that one, like, <laughs> uh, be balanced. But, um, I don't know, maybe things of that variety. Or at the very least, being able to, like, repair some of the weapons that can't be repaired, like crowbars and uh, katanas and such. But yeah, we'll see what they do. Yeah, I am, too, looking forward to the crafting rework. It's gonna be very spicy. It spears me entirely of metal. I want a completely impractical, like, over-the-top, weighs a thousand fucking pounds spear made of tungsten. That's what I want. <laughs> Just a flex. I can swing it one time and it burns through all of my, like, all of my stamina. Just fully exhausted. Pole. Yeah, we could probably make that work. <laughs> I imagine it would only be good for like one use, but we could make that work. Or better yet, just use it for its original purpose. Let me pole vote over like a massive gap between buildings. <laughs> I want that fucking Looney Tunes cartoon shit where I just launch myself from one building to another. Slowly getting there. The Sarissa. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Let me, uh... Have a quick Google. Let's see how mighty impressive it is. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that is a chunky fucking rod. <laughs> and I think that'll do. What's your max range? Well, I can attack zombies in Mulder while I'm in West Point. <laughs> Little wipe for you down there. Still got a bench over there I can use. But ah, well. Oh, I'm there. Is there any point to. Cr oh, it's a crouching. It reduces the amount of noise you make. And... That's pretty much it, really, at the moment. Because sneaking is currently broken. So, in terms of, like, line of sight and zombies being able to see you visually, there's no difference between really crouching or standing or having level 0 sneaking or level 10. 
or inconspicuous or conspicuous. It's all broken. Um, but yeah, crouching does make you quieter though, so until you get your light footed leveled up. It is useful to crouch run after you break line of sight with zombies, because jogging and running can be quite loud. Swing and a miss. So when you want to lose zombies, after you break like the line of sight they have on you, that's when you would just crouch and have a little jog further away. Just so they can't hear you as you run around the corner. But that's pretty much it, really. Didn't know, didn't know it made it... Oh, didn't, you didn't know it made you quieter. Yeah, it make, makes you nice and silent. Do note, though, if you're crouch running everywhere, it does use more stamina. But you are pretty much silent when you're doing it. Which is nice. It's near a joustic weapon. <laughs> This crouching near zombies give a boost in life, but it's the only way to level it up. So you don't have to be, like, ridiculously close to them, but as long as you have zombies in proximity to your character, and they're not actively, well, aware of your presence, you'll gain experience for it. And it does scale off the amount of zombies you have, so every zombie's giving you more experience. And it doesn't matter if one of those zombies spots you. The one zombie that sees you, you know, if you're crouching around... That one won't give you any more light footed experience, but the others still will. Um, sneaking, however, even though it's pointless to level up, if you do want to try and do sneaking to level 10, um, if any zombies see you with that one, you just stop gaining any experience. You have to be completely undetected for that one. But, like I said, there's no incentive to level that one up currently. Like, we've only done it with our character for shits, shits and giggles. Like, <laughs> not for any actual reason. That's why you never see me crouch running anywhere or trying to sneak past anything. It's because you can't. <laughs> Which is sad because sneaking used to be fun. But maybe they'll fix it in the next build. Because it's always fun to have like a stealth function. Sneaking broken too? Completely. Yeah, you can't sneak in the game. So, in terms of, like, sound, you can sneak completely. Light footed works, and um, all of that good stuff. So you can make it so that zombies can't hear you as well, but it's the eyesight that you can't fuck around with. So it's everything to do with the eyesight. So, in terms of the zombies, like, their chance to see you, they're gonna spot you instantly the second you come within range. So, conspicuous doesn't work properly, inconspicuous doesn't work properly, sneaking from level 0 to level 10 doesn't work properly, the crouching doesn't work properly, and changing the eyesight of zombies from eagle eye to normal to poor doesn't work. Everything to do with the zombie eyesight's broken. It's very sad. But it is what it is. You know, they'll fix it sooner or later. Also, there's not that many of you left now. Let's get rid of all of you. We should be close to a thousand experience now. Hopefully. Finally got sick from the bodies. Uh, you've been lurking. The sneak being broken explains why I've been getting aggro so much the entire game. Yeah. So, just to like clarify some more, like, as to what what is broken exactly. Sneaking technically works, 
but it's it's busted in a way that statistically you're never going to succeed in sneaking. So every zombie is exactly the same in terms of like how far away they can see. And it's about 19, 20 tiles. It's one of those two numbers. But if you're within 19, 20 tiles of a zombie and it's looking in your direction, it can see you. You know, there's a chance that it's going to be able to spot you. But it's not one of those binary things where it's just yes or no all the time. The game has to roll the dice on whether or not the zombie can actually spot you first. And that's where having conspicuous or inconspicuous or having a high sneaking level would usually come into play. So if you took, like, inconspicuous so you're less likely to be seen and you had a high sneaking level, every time the game rolls the dice, you're going to have better odds. So just for argument's sake, just to make the numbers really easy, let's say by default you had a 1 in 5 chance to be seen. You know, if I'm stood in front of a zombie, if I have a high sneaking level, that might go to, like, a 1 in 10 chance of being seen. You know, I'll double my chances of, like, going undetected. The thing is with that, though is no matter how high you get your character in terms of sneaking, and if you take, like, inconspicuous and all that stuff, the game rolls the dice so quickly in so many times in quick succession that the second you step within range of a zombie, you're going to fail almost immediately. Because even if you have, like, a 1 in 10 chance or a 1 in 100 chance of being seen by a zombie, it rolls the dice so many fucking times that you only have to fail that one and it sees you. But statistically, you're only going to last maybe like half a second, a second at most, and it's going to know where you are. So you can't really sneak around them. Um, it's why you see lots of people who've been playing the game for a really long time take Conspicuous at the moment, because Conspicuous, it makes you more likely to be seen. But you're already pretty much guaranteed to be seen the second you step within range of them. <laughs> so it doesn't change the outcome to anything. And it's why Inconspicuous is a waste of points at the moment, because, you know... Although it, like, actually makes you less likely to be seen, statistically you're almost guaranteed to be seen within, like, a second. Which is a little bit sad, but it is what it is. You know, I'm sure they'll fix it sooner or later. But that's why it's broken. Like, that's the actual reason behind it. Yeah, we are all clear back here. So what I'm going to do next is... I'll park the van down over here, but I'm going to try and pop a hole in that fence now. And I'm not going to kill them today, because obviously it's near the end of the day, but... If I can try and lure them out of that fenced area, I can fight them tomorrow. So it's literally not worth sneaking. Yeah, you just can't sneak. Yeah. You just can't do any sneaking in the game currently. Let's get rid of these guys first. Uh, so is there any point of crouch walking and running? Uh, sound. That's literally it. So, let's say for example, like, I lost all of these guys and I ran, like, let's say this was like the corner of a building. If I ran away from here now, and I'm crouch running, my character's not really going to be making that much sound, as opposed to running normally, you know. Jogging makes a surprising amount of noise. So that's really the only circumstance where you would really crouch or crouch run. It's just when you want to just lower your character's volume when you're running away from zombies. Well, you know, you might be going through a building, you know. You might be looting something that you haven't cleared out completely yet, so you don't want to be making a ton of noise inside the building. So you might prefer to crouch. Crouch walk or crouch run around this place. But yeah, that one is purely auditory, so just volume. Appreciate the follow as well, Rum Gremlin. Happy days. I mean, running inconspicuous in those is essentially worthless. Yeah, good to know. Yeah, live and learn. Yeah, there's no way you would have known that otherwise. Because I used to run inconspicuous all the time. I always used to think it was like the bee's knees, but alas. <laughs> Twas all a ruse. That's a big reason. Yeah, you're playing with pinpoint here. Yeah, you'll love it then. Yeah, crouch running everywhere. I'll be fine for you. So you justify them in the end? Yeah, I mean, if there's a hole in the fence somewhere, that'll be preferable, but... Just depends where it is. And if it's awkward to get to.
we are 899 experience in now. Getting there. So we're doing about like four or five hundred experience per day, so that's not too bad. Gone blank. It's like put only leveled when you're crouching. Uh, crouching and combat stance. I think it's still combat stance that does it as well. But yeah, if you're in some form of sneaking mode, uh, you'll level it up. I think you still gain a. L I don't know actually. I can't remember if you still gain a little bit of experience if. Oh, that's the wrong one. If you just go undetected. I can't remember if you have to be crouched or not. It's been so long since we did any leveling for it, I can't actually remember. <laughs> yeah, combat stand should work, yeah. That used to be how you would sneak anyway, in general. Because the, the crouch button was a 41 edition. Which is uh, spicy. Yeah, let's go see if we can find this hole in the fence. It's, it's pretty much time to head back home now, anyway. Yeah, let's see if we can let those guys out, because my frame rate's about to chug. Twelve FPS, beautiful. Oh, there is literally a hole right here. <laughs> yeah, play. God, imagine like being stuck in that fucking alleyway. That'd be great. Yeah, let's give you all a chance to come out. FPS now locked at 20, yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a large nugget. That is a large nugget indeed. Where, where are they even going? <laughs> what are you chasing after? I'm dead fucking curious, like, what are you going after? There's nothing down there. Yeah, well, as long as I let some of them out, that's fine. And that should do. Where did that hole come from? Oh, they've just been stuck behind the fence the entire time. The zombies, they they not be smart. They don't have, they don't have the intellect like you and I. You know, we got those big brains, haven't we? <laughs> but no, they can't work out how to get around the fence until I get close to them. But they're out now, so well, at least most of them are. So we'll be able to track them down tomorrow and give them all a good old cheeky bash on the head. You are for now. Ooh. You are, you are. I is a proper farmer. <laughs> oh. How I do like my tractor in my field. Petting my dog. Planting my taters. <laughs> play with respawns on? No, we normally play with respawns turned off because we normally do really high populations. So, because we have like hundreds of thousands and literally millions of zombies in the game, we don't really have any need for respawns. So, we do it, like, every now and then, but not for the Time 16 games. Never for the Time 16 games.
Yeah, I think it's been a very chill day. Also, did I cross the thousand mark? Or no? No, 900. That's not too bad, though. we still got like 400 experience a day. So that's not too bad. You like the idea of high pop, no respawns? Yeah, you get that sense of satisfaction when, like, you finally clear through an area. It's like, ah, yes, there are finally no more zombies here. <laughs> We've wiped out the majority of Louisville, but we're still, like, finding large chunks like that every now and then. But eventually, if we just carry on killing them, they will eventually run out of zombies. And then we are laughing. We've got an entire city to ourselves. Do you think you can survive every zombie on the map closing in on your location, ignoring performance? It depends. How cheesy am I allowed to be? Because if I'm allowed to be maximum, like, supremely cheesy, I can survive indefinitely. <laughs> but if I'm not allowed to be super cheesy, eh, pretty much a slam dunk, really. But with no cheese or no shenanigans, no, I'm fucked. Because <laughs> there's, like, literally millions on the outskirts of the map. And if they're all, like, slowly converging onto my position, you know, I won't even be able to kite them or dodge them because they're literally going to come in from every single direction. So that I would, I'd get squashed between all of them. What's the cheesy method? Well, the super cheesy method would just be building a flying base. Um, or, you know, building a, a base on the river. The less cheesy method would be building a bridge that goes across to, like, the grasslands, or the greenlands, across the river. Because there are a few zombies that spawn over there, but it's basically nothing compared to the rest of the map. And then the other zombies won't be able to work out how to get there. And then not being cheesy or pulling shenanigans at all would just be accepting your fate and staying on this side of the river. <laughs> but they would squash you sooner or later. I think your best bet would probably be hiding in Louisville, really. Just because you have the perimeter wall, the perimeter fence on the south side, that would keep most of them away. That would be the best you could do, really. Try and, like, tunnel them in, Spartan style. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all you could really do. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And give me my watch. No, that's on four. That's fine. Give me 30 minutes then. Appreciate the follow, Krim. Happy days. Kill them with fire while living on rooftops. Oh, yeah, if we're going to involve fire, yeah, definitely. We could definitely do it. There's no limit to how many you can kill with fire. And if they're all converging in on your position, you wouldn't even have to, like, really put in too much effort. One campfire. Just spend all of your time stocking it up with bloody uh, logs. And yeah, just wait for them all to like slowly come to the campfire. And eventually they'll burn themselves out. I wonder how long that would actually take for the zombies to get from the edge of the map to like Mulder. Or like west of Mulder. Like dead in the center of the map. It'd probably take quite a long time, I imagine. Yeah, but fire kills don't count exactly. We will use the old ways. Yeah, the hive mind mod, yeah, they all know your location. I think that's the one you're on about, right? They all know your location, but I think it. Oh, the range is like 400. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't think it'll take that long. Two weeks in game time? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Kind of curious now. 
Depends if they're like slow shamblers or fast shamblers as well. Yeah, be interesting to see though. <laughs> Should have a decent number of zombies waiting for us today. And it should only take about two, maybe three game days. And then we should have our short blade, or short blunt, sorry. Uh, 2,000 experience ups. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's nice, a nice big chunk, you know. And tomorrow we'll probably do short blades and axes. Oh yeah, just get them all close to level 9. Which it would be nice to finish all of our weapons to level 10. That would be pretty, pretty spicy. Turn that one on temporarily as well. Every time we drive back, this like, that little area always just fills up a little bit more. Every time. <laughs> one day, one day it will be empty. over now. Gotta find out where that group has run off to, because they shouldn't be that far off the main road, I don't imagine. I reckon they're probably, what, like one street south of where we were last time? They, they would have chased my car, well, the sound of my car, southward. So, if I go one more street, you know, they'll all bow one day. I will bow myself, I will raise two of my hands to cup together, and atop my hands will sit God King Jeremy, pleased <laughs> with the work that we have done. We do it all for him. Oh yeah, wave to the 400,000 kill. Goodbye, 400,000. Yeah, they should be around here somewhere. Yeah, they might be further north, maybe. We did grab them from one more street up, but... They should be around here somewhere. My 400,000th was near your 500. Oh, fair. I had to bury them outside the Spiffle headquarters. It felt like the right thing to do. There they all are. Where were you all going? <laughs> well, they all decided just to go down towards the baseball stadium for some reason. Yeah, let's let all of you come out to this area. And we'll start chipping away.
You're doing great near your base because you don't care for the text on your map. <laughs> Only symbols. But, um... Find me more zombies. Everything has to die. off. <laughs> That's a lot of them. There should still be plenty chilling by the car. Where the helicopter? Did it not fly over? I was concentrating on murdering zombies. I don't know if it flew over or not. It did not. Ah, I'll just call another one in then. There's no indicator. Hmm. Fair. You gonna turn up? Are you broken? Like, I want to press the button again, but I don't want to call in, like, too many of them. There he is. We broke it. I think he did. I think he's stuck. Because I can hear him. There's gonna be like three of them now flying by. <laughs> yeah. It's very loud, but I can't see the indicator. Spicy. Hmm. And that got quite spicy. It's very spicy. Yeah, I think you've worn the helicopters down. I think they're all going back to refuel. I think they're all a bit sad. <laughs> yeah, let's just pull small chunks off the nugget now. Just chip away at them slowly. Nice and methodical.
Yes, nugget. Delicious. Yes, the beautiful nugget made of an assortment of random unknown meats. Delicious. It looks like we're grabbing all the zombies that we lost yesterday, though. Yeah, we're over a thousand experience now. Good stuff. hundred percent chicken. Bullshit. I bought Tesco burgers. I know the taste of horse when I taste it. I'm not complaining, it was delicious. <laughs> Just, but call it as it is. You know, rebrand it. Call it the Barnyard McNugget. <laughs> it's, like, it's got a bit of everything in there. There's a bit of swine, there's a bit of horse, a bit of cow in there as well. You know, Farmer Joe is prone to accidents as well, so it's probably part of one of the farmhands in there. Delicious. All the protein. <laughs> and, you know, maybe just a little tiny sprinkle of chicken in there as well. <laughs> just a little bit. It's a hamburger with a chicken patty, cheese, bacon, egg, <laughs> a fried egg. See, that sounds pretty good, actually. I would happily buy that. I'm a gangbang. See, I think that might need to be workshopped a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Maybe like an aft after 10 like menu item. Happily, a horse, as long as it's not so ill, that's going to make me ill. Exactly. Meat is meat. Simple man. See all the corpses will happen. Well, we're just doing our good Samaritan deed for the day. I have found these magical hammers, and when I bop them on the head, all these zombies get a well-earned rest. It's just my, my night night stick. We're just helping all the zombies get some slumber. Because we care about our community. <laughs> Appreciate the follow as a well demon. Happy days. Calm down, Dharma. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I may have chosen my words poorly. <laughs> See, when they finally try to, like, criminalize and, like, in, like, put me into an institution, these are the clips they'll point to. I'm like, ah, yes. This man makes a lot of cannibal jokes. Look for like someone who claims to be normal and sane and sound of mind. Like, I'm not saying that I'm a cannibal. 
But if our plane were to go down in like, you know, the Alps or somewhere, I'm not one to waste an opportunity. <laughs> I mean, if they're already dead. Oh, wait, they had to already be dead beforehand? I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. I found them like this. I promise. <laughs> We're on several watches now for possible cannibalism. Don't want to waste the meat, you know, exactly. Why are you not using guns? Not enough ammo in the world. There's only so many bullets that we can find. And most of our ammo comes from cops now. So from, from police officers and their shotguns. The group is slowly getting smaller. Appreciate the follow as well, Lobo. Happy days. You cook the meat raw. Oh, you, well, you cook the meat first, silly. No! Gollum knows best. We likes it raw and wriggling. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> Appreciate the follow as well, Sim Soldiers. Happy days. Hey. It's hard to digest, it causes ulcers. See? You guys are getting a bit wary about me making my cannibal jokes, but you guys seem to know a lot about consuming human meat. Like a lot. <laughs> like very specific details on the consumption of humans. I don't know, I feel like you're trying to encroach on my territory and steal my food. Appreciate the follow as well. Dizax. <laughs> Wow. I wonder, I wonder who you may be trying to imitate. all of you for a moment just so I can have a quick rest and then we'll finish you off and then we'll head back in the Netherlands it's legal is it now so just why do you know that <laughs> why do you all so why do you all know so much about it I was memeing god damn it why do you all know so much about eating humans <laughs> you know you've done way too much research on this No way it's legal. I don't know, it seems like the type of thing that would be legal there, if it's consensual. It sounds like it'd be like one of those like legal nightmare things where they make you jump through a ton of hoops to make it like actually legal. Why don't you know as much as chat? Clearly I'm not as enthusiastic about being a cannibal as the rest of you. I am a slacker, I am a fraud, and I have let you all down. I'm sorry.
Oh, where have all of you come from? The more, the merrier. I think we might just spawned in a whole new group. Yep, looks like we did. <laughs> yeah, like, looks like we're killing a lot more zombies today. Got some Mexican sweetbread. Nice. Making me hungry. I'm gonna buy the chunkiest kebab in a moment. Let's go have a quick rest. So the way the building zombies work is the buildings are empty until the game judges that you can see inside. Yeah, so you have to be like within the same proximity to it. Yeah, you don't have to explain it, Goalie, but I'm well aware. I don't know if someone's asked for you to say that, but yeah, you already know I know. <laughs> That pastry on organ meat. You know things. I know. Surprise, surprise. In my nearly 10,000 hours, I did somehow along the way learn how zombies spawn inside buildings. <laughs> it's a miracle. You're in winter now? No, we finished winter. Uh, winter ends at the end of February, and it is currently the 18th of March. 20, well not 20, uh, 1996 in game time. Is this modded? It is modded, yeah. It's vanilla plus, but there are mods. Only a handful, but the command is mods for the, the link. Let's head back the way we came, though, because I would like to track down all those zombies that we missed. Are you guys still talking about fucking eating people? <laughs> I thought, no, I'll stop talking about it. I'll ignore it for like five or ten minutes. It'll, it'll die down. No, it's still talking about eating people. What's your stats to one hit kill with just a hammer? Well, we are currently level eight. And level 10 strength. Well, that's what our stats are currently looking like. You kick the hornet's ass and the second I started talking about, like, cannibals, everyone's ears perked up like, oh shit, I've been waiting for this conversation. Got you, lamb. Oh, 
Coke and little Pepsi. That's Coke, always. Always. You're a madman if you choose Pepsi. Dr. Pepper. Well, some of us want to live. So, <laughs> Dr. Pepper is not one of the options. <laughs> Have you had a Dr. Pepper? I have. It was fucking rancid. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. I don't know what's in it, but it tastes grim. I don't see what people see in it. I'm judging you. I won't tell you you can't drink it, but my god, I'm judging. It's basically cherry cola. See, I don't remember ever tasting cherry cola either, so I'm going to assume I wouldn't like that either. Appreciate the 400 as well, Barefoot. Happy days. How many streamers have you killed as of late? The murderer himself. The one who's loved by all. <laughs> you know. What's, uh, yeah, he is hungry. Lots of meat lying around. You could just have a little nibble. What's the worst that could happen? You know when it's supposed to taste like cherry? Well, it tastes like shit, is what it tastes like. <laughs> Does zombie respawn on? No, this is time 16, so respawns are off. But no, I'm not a fan of Dr. Pepper. It tastes like shit. <laughs> you can't change my opinion on that. It just, I just do not like it. But yeah, the whole, it tastes like cherry cola is not an argument either, because I've never had cherry cola, so I don't know what that tastes like. But I'm assuming if it tastes like Dr. Pepper, it tastes like shit. <laughs> oh no. When, when did you taste shit? Probably as a child, and it's probably become a core memory. You know, it's like, ah yes, put all the things in the mouth. Taste all the things. Ah yes, I have made a grave mistake. <laughs> Mother, please assist me. Two whiffs back to back. Rip. Cherry cola does not taste like Dr. Pepper. Oh, we're gonna have a whole different argument now. <laughs> no, if you give me a choice of any drink, any carbonated drink, I'm gonna go with a Fanta. You give me Fanta, any flavor, I'm happy. But if you make me choose between Coke or Pepsi, I'm not even going to answer your question. I'm just going to look at you condescendingly because you already know what the answer is. <laughs> Orange Fanta, acceptable. Regular cola is the best. You can't go wrong with regular cola. Can confirm flavor not the same. Happy days. You drinking a new strawberry Dr. Pepper? May God have mercy on your kidneys. Now, to be fair, I have no idea if that's bad or good. <laughs> good stuff. You have to tell us if it, you have to tell me if it's any good or not. So I have. I've only had the regular. And I thought it tasted like ass. I was not a fan. You didn't care for regular? Fair. Cola and Pepsi too mainstream. I don't know, but it's like... They're mainstream for a reason. Coca-Cola is meta, okay? It's in rotation this season. <laughs> it's, it's in rotation every season. Everybody loves cola. Sparkling water. That's chaotic evil right there. <laughs> Panda was created by Coca-Cola Deutschland. Yeah. I don't know it was created by, uh... Deutschland? 
there. Enough. No, I do like Fanta. Because, yes, I am indeed a giant fucking child, apparently. <laughs> we need carbonated tea, you're a sociopath. <laughs> if you're looking for the settings, by the way, it is man settings, not config. That's the link you're after. You're 100% sure they sell carbonated tea? It sounds like it's something that would exist. Phantom Fruit Twist is great. I mean, fuck, I had one, like, the other day ago. What have I got next to me? The bottle is still in my room. Oh, yeah, there you go. Fanta Fruit Twist. It's literally the one I had. Yeah, uh, one of those giant 1.5 litre bottles. I was like, oh, go big or go home. The tiny bottle is like £1.20. The big bottle is like £1.50. I'm like, easy choice to make. Your boy is about to have all of the sugar. In college, we get three little balls. That is a very American size, apart from the liters part. You wipe out the liters and you measure it in, like, you know, jugs. You, you're there. <laughs> I don't think they do bottles that size here. I don't think you can get anything that large. I don't know, maybe, but... I don't recall ever seeing anything above a 1.5. I don't know, jugs. I don't know, random measurement came to head. It's like, oh, fucking American measurement. I don't know, barrels, jugs. <laughs> we measure by the gallon. <laughs> See, when you say measured by the gallon, I'm just picturing you cutting it with a jerry can. <laughs> it's like, uh, give me four gallons of cola, please. I'm stocking up for the night. Can't risk running low. Can you buy a jug of cola? I fucking hope so. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Golden... Yeah, it's getting more and more quieter. Should be able to make my way back to the truck soon. You bet they sell jugs of cola? Oh, yeah. 
grunty. I used to buy jugs all the time, but I used to be scrumpy. It's like, oh, you want to go out for a night of drinking after college? Fuck yeah, what are we drinking? Scrumpy. What is scrumpy? It's cider in a glass jug. <laughs> it costs a fiver. It was great. It's like, oh, yes, I want to get drunk, but I don't want to spend a lot of money. Scrumpy Jack, fuck yeah, Scrumpy. You think you've had some of that before? Oh, Scrumpy's great. It it tastes, it's really low quality cider, but it's so fucking cheap. I used to live off that as a college student anytime I wanted to go get, go out drinking with people. It was like, oh, you're there with your fancy shots. Well, fuck off, because I've got a glass jug. <laughs> I look like a fucking hillbilly. I can play a mean tune after I'm done drinking. It's strong too. Yeah, it's not even a weak cider. It's great. Yeah, I think we are golden. I think we're done with this one. Let's make our way back towards the truck. <laughs> Getting drunk on a budget means drinking cider. Hey, if it works. This college me did British stereotypes very proud. A southwest farmer in college drinking cider. Oh, sounds like you're writing a bad joke. They can play catch up. I'm not gonna wait for them. You break the bubble yet? I have not broken the bubble yet. Yeah, man. But now we found another massive group of zombies just chilling out. And we're in the process of just getting rid of them. Yeah, every day there's one. One group fewer, chilling in Larivo. We've done about, what, five? Five or six thousand zombies so far today? And by the end of it, we should end up with like six or seven thousand kills, which is, you know, pretty good, you know. Seeing as we're using all of our lesser weapons, it's pretty spicy. Made a surprisingly uh, decent wine with grape juice, sugar, honey, and some simple yeast. You're a braver man than me. I don't think I would trust anything that I make from scratch. I think I'd probably kill myself. <laughs> How's the stream? You passed out listening? Yeah, it's all good. Where are you? Are you back there? And we're nice and chill, as always. Decent amount of kills, a little bit of extra progress moving through Louisville. And we've had a lovely few conversations about some game mechanics, about what's coming in Build 42, about, you know, cannibals and what humans taste like. Standard stuff. It's been very chill. <laughs> I was going to say, why are the streetlights on? It's my bloody car. I was like, I don't have a generator around here. There's not even that many of you left. Nice and chill. <laughs> you have a similar question pertaining to <laughs> cannibalism. Yeah, very hot showers. Do you think that mildly cooks you? I don't know. You're probably, probably blue. Got quite spicy. 
I bet it's technically edible. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Hold out your arm. We'll have a cheeky nibble. We'll see what it's like. You know, if it's not good enough, we'll throw you back in there. Put the temperature up a little bit. Let you roast some more. Your local doesn't do scrumpy. Ah, oh, shame. To be fair, it's probably for the best. For a cheeky little nibble, wouldn't they have to be his face? Hmm, I don't know. Can't think of any, like... <laughs> I don't want to put a lot of thought into it, but if I was going to eat a person, I think the face would probably be the last place I would go for. <laughs> I don't imagine there's a lot of good meat on there. Your face is mostly muscle, isn't it? You know, barring like the, the very top of it, the surface. I don't know, maybe face would be good. I don't know. I have to find someone who's like always frowning, who's got like those hardcore facial muscles. Someone who's always smiling or someone who's always angry. <laughs> Which one tastes better, the smile or the brow? Some sleep. Because it is almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to be late going home. And then we'll come back tomorrow for all of these guys. Michael, good steak. You have a warm red center. Nice. <laughs> You'll kill a uh, hundred thousand easily before your ten-year survival. I mean, looking at my kill count, I fucking hope so. <laughs> but no, yeah, a million, yeah, we'll definitely do it before ten years easily. Because it took me about ten years to do seven hundred and thirty-five thousand. But um, that was on default apocalypse. So there's kind of like a upper limit to how many you can actually kill per day because obviously on default apocalypse it's only 1.5 max pop and then you have to wait for the respawns to count like get kicked in every three days so things are a lot slower and they take a lot longer so i think on that the math works out to be like 195 or 200 kills per day more or less over 10 years you know which is like less than half of what we're currently doing and we're not even going that hard on the killing currently so yeah, we'll definitely do it. We'll probably do it before, like, the five-year mark, honestly. At the rate we're going here, we'll probably crack a million before five years survived. Yeah, six mo six years at the most, I reckon. You got a fan in your streaming room? Or do I need a new headphone? Uh, it's probably picking up my fan. There is a fan in my room. I don't know if the mic is picking it up. It shouldn't be. But it might be. Appreciate the follow as well, Alex. Happy days. Do you prefer 1 million kills or 10 years survival? A million kills. Hands down. No competition. Appreciate the Roman guy. Happy days. Welcome on in. But yeah, 
Like, 10 years survival sounds really impressive, but you can cheese that if you really want to. There are ways to, like, just survive, like, almost indefinitely without any risk to your character. But you just don't get any kills. But doing a million kills, there's no quick and easy way to cheese that, unless you install a bunch of mods, which, you know, everyone can always see if, like, straight away that you've cheesed it by using lots of mods and stuff. So, getting a higher kill count is preferable over survival time for me personally. It's more prestigious. It's harder to do. Yeah, sleep first, cook, repeat. Yeah, pretty much. And just make sure you're living in somewhere that zombies can't get to. Boom. Done. You shall live forever. But yeah, with the killing, there's only so many you can kill per day. So if you see someone with like 100,000 plus, you know they've been playing that character for like quite a long time. No matter what their game settings are. You know, they've been going at it for like at least oh, like a hundred or oh, a hundred plus hours, probably longer. Will there be another half million left when you're done with Louisville? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I reckon we'll finish Louisville before we hit the five hundred thousand mark. That's what I'm betting on. But. uh yeah, the entire map has about, like, 1 to 1.1 million in total. Like, the base map, that is, just like the center where you would normally go to. So, we'll hit a million easily if we stay alive long enough. And then the outskirts on the rim, you know, that adds, like, an extra 3.5 million. So, we're not going to struggle to find zombies. We're always going to have more than what we can handle, which is going to be spicy. So I'm in no rush. You know, even though we're racing against the like racing against the invisible clock that is build 42, I'm not busting a gut trying to get the highest possible number. Just let things progress naturally for the most part. You're telling animal uh, that's better to kill 5,000 zombies than survive 5 months. Yeah, like, especially with sprinters as well. Like, killing 5,000 sprinters is a hell of a lot more impressive than surviving 5 months with sprinters. Like, he's already done 4,000. That alone is, like, fucking insane. Like, I did 4,300, but, like, I am not the best sprinter player. I think Bonsai's done... Oh, God, what did he do? 2,000 and something on time 16 sprinters, which is, like, fucking insane. Like, mean, you don't really see people get really high kill counts on sprinters, but you always... If you watch the right people, you do see people get, like, pretty high survival times with sprinters. If you watch enough of them. But yeah, the, the kill counts. Pretty spicy. That's what it's all about. But, you know, preferably you want a nice combination of the two. A nice big chunk of time with, with a nice big chunk of kills. Right, give me some food. But to be fair, let me do my food in the morning, because it is one o'clock. I should be going to sleep. All right, and how much more experience do we need? 621. It's not too bad. It's about a day and a half of killing men. k sweet yeah it's a pretty tidy sum also i'm gonna get rid of that machete because i don't need you anymore yeah it's a pretty spicy number and we are on our way slowly towards 500 now oh, sorry i haven't been doing my trapping this entire time because i've been lazy <laughs>
Right, let's go kill some more. Definitely a fan of something buzzing. Ah, let me turn it off. Just in case. It's probably the... It is probably my fan it's picking up. It's your kidding or hearing in real life. Nah, I'll turn my fan off for the last hour or so. But I'll have a listen to the VOD later. I'll see if I have to move my fan somewhere else. So I don't want that blowing in my mic the entire time. Don't hear a fan. Well, that is because it's off now. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to mess around with it. If you still hear static or buzzing, there's no fan on currently, so it'll be something else. But no, I'll leave that one off just in case. So it's not even hot anymore. It's almost 20 hundred in the evening. So it's nice and chill already. And don't die? No promises. I'll promise I will try my best not to die. That's as good as you're gonna get. I will try not to eat shit and trip on my own shoelaces. Appreciate the follow as well, call me. Oh, call me TK. Happy days. You thought it was the in-game van engine sound? Turns out you're wrong. Fair. Game is a love-hate relationship. Accurate. Eight hours in, you've lasted two days. Can't get the damn aiming right. <laughs> but, uh, I can give you a pointer if you if you're looking for advice. And the pointer is aim at the feet. I'm gonna show you right now. But just pretend like everything's two-dimensional. So I'm right here where my feet are. That's where they are. So you just want to put them between that, like you and your cursor. So you never aim at the torso, never, ever, never aim at the head. You're always aiming at the feet. That's what you're looking for. And if you do that, you never miss. You're always on target. But yeah, the isometric view can be a bit misleading sometimes. But yeah, as long as you aim at the feet, you'll be a-okay. Nice and chill. That does help, yeah. No, I always sound like fucking Quentin Tarantino when I give that advice. <laughs> How do you aim? Well, have you heard about these magical, beautiful little things called feet? <laughs> Fucking turn into Tarantino for a day. Best advice in PC? Accept the fact that you're gonna die. Try not to overthink anything. Take your time with most of your actions. It's pretty much it, really. So don't rush, you know, you got all the time in the world unless you're on a multiplayer server. You know, none of the loot's- none of the loot is going ev anywhere. The zombies aren't going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. So, try not to, like, rush everything all at once. And, uh... Oh, fuck, what's the other things I was saying? <laughs> yeah, don't rush anything. Try not to overthink things as well. Normally, the simplest answer is usually the right one, so... You know, in terms of like, you know, sorting out your weight and your hunger, you don't have to count macronutrients or keep track of how much you're eating. You know, there's simple methods like just looking at your weight and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, I'm bleeding out. I need all the antibiotics and all the healing and all the first aid stuff. No, just throw a bandage on it and forget about it. You know, try not to panic. And, you know, last thing, just know that you're going to die. Get that existential crisis locked down and ready, because everybody dies eventually. Me, you, everybody loses their character sooner or later. 
So try not to be like too disheartened or angry if you keep dying. It all it happens to all of us sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, let's not have a conversation about feet. Yeah. Now cannibals, a okay. I'll have a, I'll have that conversation. I won't talk about feet though. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. I got my fucking my finger is on like hovering over the timeout button right now. Don't fucking test me. <laughs> I will I will turn this entire chat to glass before we have a conversation about feet. No spears today, only the bonks. Yeah, good stuff. Moodles matter sometimes. Yeah, not too much though. Like, as long as you have, like, a general, underst uh, general understanding of what's happening based on your moodles, you're fine, you know. Being over-encumbered isn't too bad if you're in control of it. Being hungry isn't too bad if you're in control of it. Thirsty, exhausted, drowsy, you know. As long as you know what to do in those situations, you're pretty much A-OK. -okay. You know, don't panic if you see a little bit of red pop up on the right side over here. Things normally look a lot worse than they actually are. Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, Jordan, happy days. What about cannibals that eat feet, feet? I mean, there's a bit of wiggle room there, but we, we better let that one, we better let that one lie. Does the stream that the guy died in the back of the character? Yeah. <laughs> if you want me to make an excuse, no, we used a backup for that. Yeah. No, that was because my character died to a bug. Big sad. But that is why the devs name all their betas, I will back up my save. It's got that name for a reason. <laughs> What's the cause? Bug. Oh yeah, if you type in exclamation mark ground jank, that will give you the clip for it. But you'll see my character stab the ground when there are no zombies on the ground to stab. It's... it's really scuffed. And we haven't, like, worked out how to replicate it exactly yet, but it's just really, really dumb. But yeah, that's the one ground jank. Not a fun death. But if you watch it in 0 0.25 or 0 0.5, you'll see my character stab the ground with the spear instead of attacking the zombies as he should. So it's a little bit janky. But... There have been people with multiple different theories on, like, the targeting bug, and I think Bonsai has a few that he's talked about with, like, sprinters being a bit janky on fences, but honestly, I just don't know what the reason is. I don't know which one it is. That's the honest answer. So I've tried replicating it, but I can't get it to do the thing. So I'm a bit lost on how to get that one to proc, which makes me worry, because... I don't want to fight near short fences until I know exactly how that one works. So I don't know if it's just a mishap with the targeting, or if it's something to do with tall fences joining short fences, or if it's the fact that they were crossing over a fence that was destroyed. It's like there's so many different stupid reasons why they could have done that, and I don't know which one it is. So I am just going to avoid fences completely until I figure it out, or the devs patch it, or someone else comes up with an answer. But yeah, that was a really janky death. It was sad. Looks like exhaustion is the real killer. Oh yeah, definitely. Exhaustion kills new players faster than anything else in the game, really. It's because when you play most other survival games, you th like you have that thing where you can just run around and do whatever you want. There's not really a limitation on where you can go and what you can do. But in Zomboid, if you get exhausted, you get punished hard for being even slightly tired. It's not a good time. Uh, what's the time for in-game or in real life? That's game time. Yeah, so our character has been alive for two years, eight months. 
And it's the same, it's exactly the same as the info tab. It's just saves me having this open the entire time. It's hilarious. No, it's not Vic. <laughs> it's fucking awful. <laughs> like, like, I didn't even know what happened initially. I thought my character shoved. Like, I thought the, the zombie was too close to me, so I thought I shoved, and it did the thing where instead of shoving the zombie that's directly in front of you, you shove the one behind. So I thought I fucked up, which is why I was just laughing, so like, I'm so dumb for doing that. But, uh, we looked at the clip afterwards, I was like, wait, what? He fucking, he stamped the ground, like the man saw a penny that he was really enthusiastic about grabbing, apparently. But yeah, we'll work that one out, though, eventually. Anytime there's a bug or an exploit, it always gets found out sooner or later on how to replicate it. You know, whether you can use it to your own benefit, or you can just avoid it completely. They all come to light sooner or later. Uh, what did you say? Oh yeah, survival time. It's just game time. Not real life time, just game time. So we've been playing since about March in real time, but this character's been alive for two years. But yeah, it's just the same as the info tab. Both the kills and the survival time. It's all the same. And we're doing one hour standard days. I see. Appreciate the follow as well, Vincent. Happy days. It's like the zombies fell down, but the sprite was still upright. Like, that's a theory, but if that was the case, why would he, like, he, he attacked me immediately afterwards, like he would, like any other zombie. So it doesn't, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> it's really annoying me, because I don't like not having the answers to things. But it doesn't make any sense that the game would think he's on the ground. I don't know, maybe he, like, maybe the game did think the zombie was on the ground, but why? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> why would it do that? <laughs> I don't understand it, because I don't know how, like, I'm not a code diver, and I don't write my own code like uh, the devs. So I don't know how the game, like, prioritizes, or, you know, dictates when it would do a ground attack like that. And adding on to it, it shouldn't have done a ground attack in the first place. It just shouldn't have happened. It's just, I don't know. But like I said, we'll figure it out sooner or later. Some boy, yeah, and the physics. It's a bit jank, but it is what it is. But that's why we have backups, just in case stuff like that happens. Because it doesn't happen all that often. You know, it's once in a blue moon. Like, we don't get stuff like that very often. Like, maybe once or twice a year in real time. It doesn't come around all too often. That just super cool. Appreciate it. Must be very hard to get the 400,000. Yeah. It's more time consuming than anything else. It's more of a, just a time commitment, really. <laughs> like, how long do you want to play the same game for? Yeah, it's good fun, though. I have had my moments where I do burn out a little bit, but we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, just let me check something really quickly. Yeah, that's all cool. Uh, can I ask, maybe know the name of the mod for the drawings on the minimap? Uh, this is vanilla in regards to that. Like, if you want to see all your map symbols, like, on the minimap, it's just the little S button there. Because by default, it's always off, but you just press that one and it just comes on. But that is a vanilla feature. Yeah, and yeah, like Lodi says, to do your map markings, just pens and pencils in your inventory. And then you can write all the doodads, all the markings. Got 300 hours, didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, it's surprising how many people miss that one. But it, it's quite an easy thing to miss, to be honest, so... Don't feel bad. Quite a lot of people have missed that one, which is kind of funny. Let's grab all the people. And I'll take you all back down south again. I've already cleared out that road, uh, road multiple times. So we know it's going to stay more or less clear. Yeah, plenty of you over there. Let's wait for most of you to get around that corner. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, let's let all of you go to the van, and I'll just cherry pick small groups afterwards. Yeah, let me just chill back here for a minute, because as soon as they lose line of sight of me, they'll go back to the van. show symbols not text yeah that is correct no text will pop up in the minimap just symbols i saw you and let's go and start killing zombies off my van It's over 500 at least. Spicy times. Now zombies are trying to turn microphone noise. No, that would be cool though.
And let's ditch most of you. Or at least some of you. And I'll pick you up in a minute. St. Bonking's Day. Ah, yes. Celebrating all uses for hammers and nightsticks. Thanks for liberating me from this state of good, sir. Well, I didn't realize I was killing a fucking Englishman from, like, <laughs> the 18th century. Yes, it was my pleasure, sir. <laughs> now, <laughs> be gone with you. Once you get the bar to update it constantly. Uh, well, the survival time and the kill count are both part of the Twitch stats mod. The helicopter, that is my personal doodad. And the spear counter, that one only happens manually. I literally update that one manually every time we make spears. Let's just run around and just see if they're still back that way. They probably moved back on towards the van again, but let's have a gander. Yep, they're all gone. Just trapped inside, seeing everything. That would be pretty spicy. I mean, I don't know, I wouldn't mind. If I was a zombie, I wouldn't mind be able to see everything. You know, as long as I don't have to feel it, like, A-OK. -okay. Tag me along. <laughs> be a passenger along for the ride. I can root for the survivors when my zombie tries to, like, track them down. You want to fuck me up? Sick him. Release me. Hey, Thelo. Well, come on in. Never been able to make it more than three days. You'll get there. Every death is a learning experience. Appreciate the follow as well, Felly. Happy days.
See where they start and see how they got you. That'd be interesting. God, that takes so fucking long though, like after multiple years. <laughs> and to be fair, zombies don't travel that far. I mean, unless you're playing with like pinpoint hearing, it'd be a lot, like, it'll be multiple years of that zombie just shuffling around like the same neighborhood. <laughs> until I eventually, you know, drive into it and then get munched. It would be kind of cool though. Appreciate the follow as well, Thaler. Happy days. Let's go have another quick sit down. Let's run back a little bit closer, and then I'll have a rest on the bench on the way back. Read incoming. Spicy. Damn it, Zangus. Spoiled the fun. <laughs> no, fair. Holy zombie bodies. Nah, no holy bodies. Only heretics. They deserved all of this. If they didn't all have so many skill issues, we wouldn't have to kill so many of them. Shame. Shame on them. <laughs> Time to ban. I hope they raid someone else now. <laughs> like, just because you ruined the surprise. I didn't reveal Hugh. Oh, Hugh. That is... a valid point. <laughs> Points still sound you spoiling. Craig is out for blood right now. <laughs> oh, it's the non believer. Hey, it's Wick. Appreciate the read of 74. Well, you're a better man than me. That's always been true. Yes, it has. It's okay. We'll forgive you, Zangers. We have enough time. <laughs> oh, welcome in, Wick. How was the stream? What's that clip from? That is Margin Call, I think. Margin, yeah, Wick. <laughs> Wick knows it instantly. Yeah, that's Margin Call. Fantastic movie, yeah, great movie. Lots of like scenes that you can clip from it as well. You should watch that, yeah. It's definitely worth having a little gander at. Technically 75, I jumped before the raid. Well, I can't see that you're part of the raid now, so no bueno. You are an outsider, Bussy. <laughs> you abandoned them in their moment of need. You were too eager. Shame. Shame on you. <laughs> no, fair play. You've had better streams, figuring it out. Oh, was it like a, a game issue or an OBS issue? It always seems to be one or the other.
You know, the 74th. Huzzah. Yeah, I missed out on those extra channel points. Yeah, I gotta get those redeems. I've been searching for so long. Forgot how to play regular Zomboid. <laughs> You're like running around. Why can't I make a mask? I'm gonna die. Or am I thinking of the wrong mod? I think I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm thinking of susceptibility. I know. The surgeon's the other one. That's the one where you get air dropped in randomly, isn't it? You get like a pretty beefy character, and you get like just thrown in randomly on the map. I think that's the. That's the insurgent one, isn't it? Lots of cocktail would look real cool being thrown down by that van. Oh, you always all say the same thing. Burn the zombies. No, I refuse. I will use the ways my ancestors did. I'm going to bludgeon them all to death with my bare hands. Just to let them know I care. You got bit fishing. Oh, rip. Mr. Spacebar on a shove. Oh. Well, condolences. I'm hoping that you weren't too far into it. Unless it was the run that I saw last time. In which case, big F. Yeah, it's like you start off as a Chad. Fair. Yep, gotta get that kill count higher. Can't be using the fire. But no, Molotovs are entertaining though. But at the moment, we're just getting a little bit of extra experience on our short blunt. Because today we're just putting about 2,000 experience on most of our weapons. But I'll be wrapping up shortly myself, because I need food and rest. We're just getting them a little bit closer towards level 9, so that when we pop them in the future, it won't be super tedious. Axes be looking low. Axes are going to stay low. Axes are going to stay low until, like, all the other ones are done. <laughs> Neither run was oh very fun. Oh, that's fine. No, it's not too bad. As long as you're not like super far into a run, it's not as bad. Is there a military base? There is. Yeah, it's down on the southwest side of the map. It's just west of Rosewood in the woods. I'll show you in a second. I'll pull up my map and show you. And then you also have the military checkpoint. And all that good stuff. More of a research base? Yeah, it's not really much of a military installation, is it? Yeah, the military base is just all the way down. All the way down over here. In the middle of nowhere. But it's just west. Or, you know, west-southwest of Rosewood. But that's all the way down in this area over here. But honestly, it's only really worth going out there if you just want to kill zombies. It's not really worth it for anything else, honestly. Like, you can get military backpacks, but... There are easier places to get military backpacks. Why this hate for axes? Because axes just aren't very good for time 16. They're too heavy. Stone axes are fine, but the other axes, they just weigh too much. They end up using too much stamina without making that much progress. But, you know, it's just because they're not made for, like, this style of play. Doesn't mean they're bad. It just means they're not good at this specific job. Yeah, plenty of zombies, not much else. Yeah, pretty accurate. Where'd you get the best loot? Depends what you define as best loot. It's not like a normal game where it's like, you know, X, Y, and Z are objectively the best thing, so you always go for those ones. It depends what you want to do, you know. Depends what you're after in particular. 
<laughs> best loot, ba best decoration, yeah, base decorations. Where can I find a good amount of gravel for my pathway? You saw a minigun? That's a mod. Yeah, that's probably British gun mod. No doubt. <laughs> No, if you want about weapons, for normal settings, you're looking like fire axes for your axes or your axe skill, crafted spears for your regular, well, for your spear skill, night sticks or like metal bars for your short blunts, crowbars or spiked bats for your long blunts, uh, hunting knives for your short blades, katanas for your long blades. Clothing wise, Personal preference, and it depends on the season, but generally long johns and having a tailor uh, level 10 tailoring skill is, like, fantastic. You know, if you find a needle, hang on to it, because that's what you need for tailoring. Um, what else is, like, the best? Well, all your mechanic tools, so a lug wrench, a wrench, tire pump, screwdriver, and, um, a jack, you know, you're always going to want those, and a gas can. Car battery charger as well for the late game. How to you how to regenerators generator and fuel again so you can actually drive your cars <laughs> I don't know there's like there's so many like things but they're all good at different like specific jobs you know it really depends on what you're after Yeah, let's grab all of you. Come and get some! You're all gonna die! And fortunately not go, because it is 21.30, and that is my cue to fuck off somewhere else. Also, can you get unstuck? Because I need you to get away from my van. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I know, shame on me, but my character needs to do the do, and he needs food and sleep. <laughs> So I am gonna- I'm not gonna ever- I'm not gonna retreat, which simply advancing in a different direction. But yeah, we will come back for all of these ones. I oh, know, shame on me. My ancestors are thinking very poorly of me right now. Hope you can make Twine in the next update. Yeah, that would be a good change. Like, for game balance, I like the fact that Twine is rare, but... It would be nice if there was a way to make it. You know, even if it was, like, you make it really difficult or require a high skill level, I don't care. But yeah, it's nice having renewable options for most things. Why don't, yeah, there's, there's a mod for everything, but it's always nice to have it in vanilla. Yeah, please form a nice meatball, Zams. You'll die tomorrow morning. At some point. I don't know when. Exactly, but it'll be sometime tomorrow. Probably midday. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we did too bad today, though. But we killed... Either about 6,500 or about 5,000-ish? Somewhere in that ballpark. What's your next skills now? And uh, next skills are like maxing out my last combat skills. Or getting them to level 9 at least. Because the next big milestone kill-wise is half a million. Getting to the 500,000 mark. But on our way up there, we are still leveling up the last of our skills. And today we've been doing mostly combat skills, so we did 2,000 experience for the long blade and the long blunt, and we almost did most, well, we, we got most of it done for the short blunts, but, um, yeah, they're getting there, and then tomorrow we'll probably finish off the short blunts, short, short blades, and then do axes as well, in uh, real time, that is. But yeah, that's very good, and we might even hit level 9 sprinting before we hit the 500,000 mark, so that is less than 1,000 experience away. And, you know, we're chipping away at traffic as well. Yeah, gotta get that aiming experience. Oh, yeah, we know that's gonna happen, right? 
Yeah, I am chipping away at it slowly, but goddamn, that debuff after level 5 is very spicy. It's taking a very long time. It took me, like, I think 400 plus shells just to get level 6. And I don't mean, like, from level 0 to 6, I mean literally just from level 5 to level 6. <laughs> it's so much ammo to go up now. And the reloading, we do a bit of reloading every now and then, but Jesus Christ, it's so slow. But we'll get there. You know, if I stay alive long enough, eventually we are going to do a reloading stream where I just do nothing but reloading for like a good 10 hours. <laughs> but I'm leaving that skill until the very last, because if I level my aiming up to level 10 and then I die afterwards before leveling everything else up, I will physically fucking cry. That is a lot of time. <laughs> So yeah, not planning on doing that one anytime soon. Gonna watch this in the background while translating Sims mods. Fair play. It's very specific. I have a friend who would love you. She absolutely loves the Sims. Why not ramming zombies? Cause there's no need to. You don't get those, uh... Any, well, any kills that you do with vehicles don't count towards your kill count, so... You know, if I bump into them, you know, it's fine, but... I'm not going to purposely run them over, because there's no incentive to. You know, I'm just damaging my car for no reason. Yeah, even on Insurgent with max XP boost, you still never maxed it. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. But I will... I am going to make the greatest of attempts, but... Realistically, I don't see it happening, because... We did the math on it before. Um, in order to get to level 10 from level 5... I think I had to find... God, how many? I'm trying to remember which one it was now. 500? It was 500 or 5,000 police officers that have shotguns on their backs. It was like a chunky number, you know. <laughs> but it was like based on experience for the shotgun shells. And um, if I optimized and hit four zombies per shell as an average. But um, yeah, it was a pretty pretty tall order. So, we would literally have to kill millions, like, most of the map, I think, to get that much ammo. But who knows? Love that GTA San Andreas music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just casually skipping my comments. I definitely did that on purpose, 100%. You have know, the long drive. Ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> no, I didn't need to skip over your comment, but... I'd rather keep my eyes on the road. I have a habit of bumping into things in the dark when I don't pay attention when I'm driving. I know. Who would, who would have thought that taking my eyes off the road would lead to me bumping into things? What are some recommendations? Uh, you have to keep the game fresh while you're playing oh, so long. Uh, just have objectives or have an ultimate goal. You know, you have to have something that you're aiming towards. If you're surviving for the sake of surviving, you are doomed to fail if you're going for like an extremely long run. Because there needs to be an end goal. You know, you have to have like a number in mind. You know, how many kills is enough for you or how much survival time is enough before you're happy. And then, you know, once you got that number sorted out in your mind, are you going to level everything to level 10? Are you going to build bases everywhere? Are you going to try and do, like, specific challenges, like little mini goals along the way? You set, like, little mini milestones for yourself. Like, we make a habit of, like, celebrating every 100,000 kills and burying the body and all that stuff. You know, we celebrate passing other people's PBs, you know, waving goodbye as we pass them because they are some pretty spicy, chunky runs. And then, you know, powering all the gas stations, building all the bases, leveling all the, all the skills, trying to find all the collectibles. You know, lots of mini goals along the way. But the longer it goes on, the fewer and fewer of those we have, because we are just slowly ticking them all off. What are you settled in? Oh, we're just chilling at the military checkpoint. Like, I've, like, fully converted this area. I've terraformed this land that is now mine. It is beautiful. I don't know, Lawn Bay is expecting for a flower garden. We will eventually. I 
But yeah, that is the end of my stream as well. I'm going to take all of you and everyone from Wick stream, and I'm going to fucking slingshot you onto another one, because I'm tired. <laughs> and it is 20, 2030. So I'm, I'm in my normal time to, like, wrap things up. But I can feel myself getting really drowsy. But yeah, I appreciate you guys dropping by. Appreciate all the conversations and all the lurkers as well. Happy days. Appreciate all the subs, the bits, the follows. All that good jazz. And the raids from Wickhammer and such. Uh, animal earlier. It's greatly appreciated. But yeah, for those of you who are new, I will be back tomorrow. I'm always on Monday to Friday. From 1000 to 2000 at the latest, and then 2200 at the latest. Yeah, 2000 at the earliest, and then 2200 at the latest. Words are hard. <laughs> but yeah, you can join the Discord if you want to keep up to date with notifications, or if I'm not going to turn up. Or you can just follow. Either way, it's all the same stuff. That's all up to you. But yeah, let's find somebody to read before I kill my character by mistake. Who is on the board today? Who do we have? Uh, who do I follow? So I got Toddy, Buzzers, Mark Martins. Who else is there? So I raid those guys quite often. Also, everyone who follows does get a jet, so claim your victory. Happy days. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate the follow, uh... Svens? Svens? I'm hoping I'm getting your name kind of right. Yeah, who's got a spicy title? Uh... Need to find someone who speaks English as well, preferably. Living well for now. Tempting. Oh, I can't decide for once. Surviving Kingsmouth Island. Uh, I'm interested. I don't see many play many people playing Kingsmouth. Let's throw this man a raid and see how he's doing. Because, to be fair, I can't remember the last time I saw someone playing Kingsmouth. And I will catch you all tomorrow at 10 hundred. Happy days. You don't get to, like, slide that follow in there, not everyone gets a jet. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, I will catch you all tomorrow at 10. Happy days. <laughs>